What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Painkiller Already. <laughs> we have our guest. Yeah. I kind of turned on. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a female on on the show today. It's not a Saucy's Fest. We do have a couple really cool sponsors, and the first one is actually going to be a letter reading that we're supposed to read out to you. So we're going to go ahead and kick this off. I'll start. All right. Hold on. Are we? Get <laughs> damn it. Awkward. All right. Are we ready for this? <coughs> I'm ready. All right, Kyle, you you pick it up where I leave off. Oh god, hang on. Well then let me make sure that I've got all of the this thing viewable because this gentleman wrote uh a little letter. <laughs> Go ahead. Dear Woody, Kyle, Jordy, and Lefty. First, let me introduce myself. My name is, and then he asks us not to tell us I've used his name. I'm an 18-year-old entrepreneur from the Netherlands, and I'm still attending high school at the moment. I'm writing to you guys because all four of you have helped me tremendously over the past couple of years. Just at the age of 17, I made half a million dollars. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this because I want to show off. I mention this because all of you have helped me become successful. All of you have helped me in one way or another becoming the person I am today, and I honestly see many of you guys as my idols. Woody, the parent figure. You always give out great advice. You share the same passion for working as hard as I do. You guided me through tough times, and you always make me laugh when I hear that laugh of yours. Keep up the great work with your Minecraft server. Thanks, Woody. Now, Kyle, what, what can I say? You are one funny motherfucker. But seriously, though, you should make more videos that include stand-up comedy or stories. You really are talented. I could listen to your stories for hours on end. And I don't, and don't, uh, don't, let's see. And don't let me forget your prank calls. You, sir, made me piss my pants multiple times because I, uh, because I was laughing too hard. You're always a great friend for helping Jordy uh, lose weight. I wish you the best of luck. Wings, the sweet one. Okay, sometimes you say some dumb shit. But that's why we love you. You want to take my time and wish you the best of luck on the boot camp. I know, heck, everybody who watches PKA knows you can do it. And when you're done with it, you'll feel like you've never felt before. Keep working hard, and you'll be rewarded. And last but not least, Lefty. You, sir, I really respect you. Although your branding sucks ass. Yeah. I love your so-called intellectual touch on PKA. I, uh, I love you when you use, or I love when you use complicated words, so please keep using them just to fuck with the haters. <laughs> I hope one day you'll get your own radio show, because I'd listen to it the whole day. Well, thank you. All four of you guys. Oh, even all four of you. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really hope that I could meet you guys someday, grab some dinner and chat. Yep, that sounds fun. I'm sure you guys have some awesome stories to tell, and maybe I can tell mine. Who knows what the future holds right. Now I'm done. Sorry for interrupting your show, and keep up the good work. I love you guys. No homo. No homo? Why don't we waste our time with these people? <laughs> See, folks, that only cost him two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank you for that. Was quite nice. Next that was very nice. Homo. That was very it's nice. I'd have read that for another, free. <laughs> another part of this one, like something about a picture that we're supposed to upload. It's on there. I got it covered. Uh, okay, I'm just letting people know that there's a picture that they should look at. <laughs> okay, the picture. To it. Wings is just saying that because it's of him. He's like, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I was going to say, the picture is of Wings, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why he wanted to make sure. Wings is Batman. Um, all right, so where should we start this week? Yes, should can we, we talk a little okay, bit about so... the YouTube comments? Can I, just, can we, can I interject? in it? Because I want to I ask Woody about that. Wait, about what comments? The YouTube comments. Oh, oh, okay. The Google Plus integration. Because the last time we talked about it, a lot of these exploits and things weren't known. Like, mm -hmm. it was a lot of the... I know myself, I was like, man, I, I just... I really don't like it when things force me to sign up for something else. I don't like to have to do that, but okay. Um, but a, now it's come to this... There's a lot of abuses and exploits of the new Google Plus commenting system that you can make an argument for they've made the YouTube comments worse than they were before. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when YouTube makes these changes, the entire internet gets fussy. You know, oh my gosh, the homepage isn't what it used to be. I hate this. I hate that. When in reality, it, after a little bit of time, I feel like they grow to accept it and like it even more than before. It just takes a little bit. You know, the YouTube homepage now, my homepage is filled with like surfing and fighting videos. And you know what? It's not that horrible, you know, it, it's, I think I find content by YouTube search algorithm and related videos algorithm 
almost makes me as happy as the people I sub to. You know, as a content producer, I wish that, you know, my subs would get all my stuff. But I, I can see both sides of it. And if you just YouTube, trying to show video, it's not so horrible. I think that a lot of the changes they make, if they actually gave us the four-year-old YouTube that people, you know, pretended never got any better, we'd look at it and be like, this sucks. You know, this is not nearly mm -hmm. as good as it once was. Um, heck, just the dynamic... Uh, resolution quality remember you used to change it from 480 to 720p and it would like stop and reload and do all that stuff mm -hmm. and um uh, now you change it and it sort of like smoothly just morphs into a higher resolution it's nice it's better they, they, youtube improves on the comment thing it's actually worse you know like that's one that i'm not getting on board i understand youtube you want this sort of like one account to rule them all kind of thing. And I think that's the bulk of it. They want everyone to have this Google Plus account and that will be the center of their online lives. It's going to be their YouTube account. It's going to be their social media account. It's going to be their Hangout, their IM client, their this, their that, their Gmail account. They, they just want all this stuff linked so that they can track you better. You know, they want to know about what you're saying, what you're doing, so they can give you targeted advertising. And me, like my own feeling on that part there is I'm kind of okay with it. Targeted advertising is not the end of the world. Um, I am as pushback, you know, fuck the NSA as anybody else is. But with regards to Google, which is basically a big advertising company wanting to show me photography and fighting and surfing ads instead of like women's hygiene stuff, I get that, you know? You know, like, go ahead, target your stuff appropriately to me. That's not a problem. But the I comments... think you're missing out on the best part of the new comments. Bob. Bob. Bob needs... A What's his army at? What is, how big is it now? It's got to be huge, right? He's got tanks, he's got air support, he's got RPGs, guns, <laughs> um, some Italian guy, but he still hasn't got nukes. Bob needs a nuke. So here's what I want. I want two things from What is this Bob this. thing? Maybe I haven't been watching the comments. <clears throat> I, I, so, so what are those pictures called that people make out of... ASCII. ASCII art. Okay, yeah. there's an ASCII character named Bob, and Bob has been sort of on an arms race... And he's been threatening Google um, as it goes. He st it started out, and he was just an angry person. It was, it was like, this is Bob. He hates the comment. Change him back. And later on, Bob got a gun. And everybody was a little scared. Mm -hmm. But then Bob started. We realized that Bob knew what he was doing. He was some sort of trained professional. So now Bob has, like, RPGs and tanks. And first of all, get Bob a nuclear weapon. Bob needs an ICBM. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you listeners out there. Bob needs to be everywhere. He already is, but, but, but even more so. And then, and then. If you're someone who has a couple of years of animation experience, I want in on the Bob animated series. I'll voice a character. Let's make this happen. <laughs> let, let me tie into what's wrong with the comments, though. <laughs> like, I accept where they're trying to take this, but there's no length maximum on the comment. So you get tons of ASCII art. You get to, My top comments are so often like, hey, check this out. And then it's like pedo bear underneath it. Um, instead of the top rated comments, the things that reflect like how most people are feeling there's like the most active comment thing happening there. And a lot of times that's, you know, for a YouTuber, someone writes something hateful and then a 300 people jump and say this guy's wrong and like, you know, attack him. So now your top rated comment is that guy. And like Boogie did a thing on this. If you guys don't know Boogie, he's a really popular YouTuber, but he's also a heavy guy. And the top, the comment that gets the most replies will be something like, you should die, kill yourself, you fat fuck. And then everyone's like, you should die. You suck. We love Boogie. Boogie's fantastic. And now his top comment every video, you should die, kill yourself, fat fuck. And um, it's, it's just worse. It's worse than it used to be. It's not the registration. I can cope with that. It's not the, you know, I don't know. It, 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 it's the fact that there should be a length limit. Oh, links. Now you can mm -hmm. put links in it, right? Yeah, it's terrible. <sighs> and you so can disguise the links as, uh, you know, as other things. So I every think link is, go on. I think, go is on. a damn screamer, right? That's what I just want to say. The, the, that picture of the scream and the flashing clown mask or whatever that is, it's all over YouTube comments constantly. I think the worst thing is the community interactions gone. Like uh, Optic Midnight was saying the other day, you know, that because people have now found out about all these exploits, that's what they're doing. Like they're watching their YouTubers and then they're typing, you know, they're doing the Bob artwork or swastikas for Lefty or whatever. And um, what's happened is now they're not commenting about the video, so the directors aren't getting the feedback or that interaction with their viewers that they had before. So that kind of 
community is almost gone because we do like to interact with subscribers and and now that's you can't do it because the cussing people out who were doing all this Hitler art or whatever is is top comment. Hmm. And I uh, can also add that I think it's getting too easy to share your stuff. What do you mean? Like like everything you do is like linked to your account. Like like say I post something on YouTube, it goes to Google Plus, it goes to like the Messenger, or it it goes to a number of different places. Let's take a scenario. Let's say like Kyle's watching his tranny porn. Does Kyle want to share his tranny porn over Google Plus? Yeah, you know, sometimes I'll be watching my tranny porn, and then there's that link at the bottom that says share this on Twitter. I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> like, it's going to get to the point like maybe they start doing that mandatory. Like, yep, Kyle likes this. Maybe you'll like it too. <laughs> exactly. That's hilarious. Once. I clicked that thing once, like the, the tweet out the video you're watching, and it was not a video that I wanted to share with everyone that I was watching. And thank God there was a fucking confirmation screen because my heart when I was like 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 my worst dreams were just happening I was like no no oh my god what, what was the video what was it I, some, I mean it was just a guy and a girl doing their thing but oh okay. uh yeah I was just like if I tweeted this out you know all of a sudden like every hater is gonna like dog. retweet me and and oh my god it's just and it doesn't take much. Like, what happens if you click that stupid Reddit link? Why is there a Reddit link? Here's what you do. Mm. Here's what you do when you accidentally tweet a porno link. You tweet ten more back to back to back. Then you wait an hour and you go like, "Sorry about all that craziness, guys. Got it. Got a hold of at Twitter. They took care of this. We we got the account back. It's now secure. <laughs> this will not happen again. You can't just tweet one though. You got to like what? Anthony Weiner tried to pull that shit. No, it wasn't Wiener. It, there was some politician who accidentally he tweeted a picture that. of his yeah. dick or something. That was, and, Wiener did that, he, but he was in underwear. A, a, a pro basketball player did that recently. He Instagrammed yeah. a video of himself, you know, give him, giving himself a hand, let's say. Yeah, <laughs> what you got to do is, is upload like five more of those. Like, and and they'd be like, glad got the account back. You can't just do one, though. Yeah, no, all right, I got a plan now. I got a plan. Yeah. I didn't have a plan at the time, and I was just, oh, my God, this this would be the end. I personally would just blame it on Lefty and say Lefty hacked your account. Everyone yeah, that, would believe it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, computer genius master. But the worst part about these comments is that it's like, how do you at Google, how did who put who sat in a meeting and was like, yeah, let's give everybody on YouTube the ability to post links. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Because like you said, have never been a good idea for any comment. Section. Never. There's a reason why you weren't able to do them in the original comments. I don't think it happened like that. I I, I imagine the thought process is more like, hey. Let's make the comments, instead of just you do comments, which go into the YouTube cesspool of emptiness and, and lost, let's make them Google comments. We'll use the Google comment system for it, the Google Plus comment system. And it just turns out that the Google Plus comment system is more robust. You can have bigger comments. You can have links. You can do this. You can do that. It's like we'll use these much better comments and stick them on YouTube. But the problem is, and don't be offended, YouTubers, when I tell you this, a lot of you aren't trustworthy. If I give you the ability to make a link, you're going to post a screamer. And the day you guys discover Goatsy is the day YouTube changes their damn policy. Um, but you post links to screamers, you, you post, you know, pedo bears, you post ASCII art, you post... Uh, I have Viruses. Um, viruses. I have ASCII art to naked women in, in my comments. Um, like, there are a lot of people... The, the YouTube community is one of the fowler ones out there. Right? It just is, right? It's worse than form. Like, I, I'm on Minecraft forums a lot. They don't act that way. You know, I've been on woodworking forums and off-roading forums for ages. They don't act that way, you know? But you go on YouTube comments, and it's almost a sport to say outrageous stuff. and Something inflammatory. Something inflammatory. So when uh, when you give that crowd this stuff, then that's what you get. Oh, and by the way, that was one of YouTube's objectives. You know, they want you to, like, have your name on your comments in hopes that things clean up a little bit. You know, if we could get YouTube comments to the level of Facebook comments, dare to dream, then, you know, at least people would sort of have their name attached to what they're doing. But that's not what's happening. Am I the only one who would have supported this much more if it was integrated with something like Facebook or Twitter and not something stupid as fuck like Google Plus? I don't like even... if there were a positive to have from all this, like how big is your Google Plus, Woody? I don't, Google Plus I don't is know. like origins. Of I, yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> that's nice. I like that. None of us yeah. do. We're, we're all in the business of social Facebook. media. None of us know. 
<laughs> Google Plus is to Facebook as Origins is to Steam. Like, yeah, I guess they're kind of that. I don't know. And the thing is this, like, even Facebook. Are you are you guys excited about Facebook anymore? Like, I know, like a lot of us have made big time investments in developing Facebook pages and stuff like that. But I I feel like Facebook is a 2012 thing, man. You it's know, and kids are leaving Facebook for for. From what I read on Reddit, they said something about kids were leaving Facebook just just as their parents were learning how to use it in preference of like uh, messaging apps. But Twitter like to Snapchat. me is the big one. To me, Twitter is the one that people are interested in now, and you know, there's huge. Twitter's huge. Twitter's easier to spread, express your ideas on. That's why I used it over Facebook for so long. Yeah, I'm kind of wordy, Twitter. so sometimes I'm I I miss my tweet longer and stuff like that, but. Um, that, actually, that's what I tend to use Facebook for most lately. Like when I when I when 140 characters just won't do, I make a Facebook post and it tweets it out automatically. Yeah, that, that's how I use it personally. But um, yeah, I dude, Google Plus, if they're actually pursuing trying to beat Facebook at being Facebook, they're wasting their time. Facebook mm-hmm. will die off. Facebook is is Halo. Facebook is you know I don't know. It, it, it'll die, it'll it's as itself. established as it can Facebook be. Facebook is my space before Facebook took it over. You know what I learned the other day, and this is mildly similar, but I was thinking that, that like of comparing Facebook to Coca-Cola, and then I, I read that Coca-Cola is like eclipses Pepsi by a huge margin. Like I always thought it was like 50-50. Coca-Cola is it's more like 90-10. Like Coca-Cola crushes Pepsi, and not just Pepsi. It was like it crushed the sales of Pepsi. And like four other colas combined. Not that it, mm. not that this is really relevant, but Pepsi is actually pretty good as a company because it owns a couple fast food franchises too. Mm-hmm. The Yum brand, right? Like um, KFC, Taco Bell. I think Wendy's might be in there. I'm not sure. Pizza Hut. I think, I think. you're right about yeah. Pizza Hut. I, yeah. I think their headquarters are in Kentucky. I think I've been there. Like, like not. In, I didn't visit. That sounds like the. The they coolest the trip tour. ever, though. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. But I like drove past the thing, and I was like, "Oh, so that's it." And they've got like the flags of each restaurant flying out front, which was cool. Yeah, as a soda, Coca Cola's light years ahead. As a company, Pepsi's you know strong too because they do more mm-hmm. than just soda. Makes yeah, sense. it's Pizza Hut, Taco Bell. And I bet Kansas, if you were in the business of supplying the pallets for a company like Pepsi, you would just be so well off. Did you have the whole list, Kitty? What's who? I think it was literally just KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut, and then obviously Wing Street, which is part of Pizza Hut. Hmm. Okay. Hey, They're uh, not as big as you think. I don't think it's Wendy's. Pepsi headquarters is in Purchase, New York. Okay. No. I was wondering because, like, I know in the cans here, or when South Carolina says "born in the Carolinas" on Pepsi cans, I was like, Kentucky. I could. Oh yeah. Through. This soda talk has me thinking of soda. I don't really drink it, but. So I, I am a soda connoisseur. I, I love soda. I like all kinds of weird funky sodas, like weird root beers and ginger ales and that stuff. That machine, what is it called? Freestyle. Oh, called a freestyle. Oh. I'm I, drinking Iron Brew right now, which only British viewers, well, Scottish viewers primarily will know what it is. But is it a beer? No, it's it's a soda. It's a Scottish soda. It's called Iron Brew, though. Yeah. Okay. More like it's it's to turn young Scottish children into alcoholics. Wings is so drinking they can make water. Make Scotland proud. I'm, sorry, <laughs> I'm drinking <laughs> some nice Fiji water that's been refilled probably about 45 times with the finest Georgia tap water. Yeah, we we buy him the really nice bottled waters, and then he fills them from the sink over and over. It's all about the Nalgene bottle, noob. Yeah, like I got I got him this bottle just because it looked fucking cool. <laughs> I got another one here, and then this is my sports bottle. Yep, I got them. Get him that Jeez, one. Wings, what do you do? Like piss in those when you? you know, no, I because I, I got him drinking water. a lot of water. Like any time I got to like, drink like a gallon water, half a day. Drink water, man. Drink some water. Do you guys I want to drink water. You guys want to talk boot camp? We could. Got that's, it. That, I think that's one of the main reasons uh, we got Kitty on here. I know she's only on here for uh, for a couple hours or so. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kitty has to go in. Because I want to get her. I, I think I thought it was gonna be great to get her perspective on some of the stuff. So, do you have any questions, Woody or Lefty? Uh, I well. Oh, go ahead, Lefty. You, I, I would love it. I want to ask Katie and and Kyle, what is it like living with the one, the only, Wings of Redemption? I don't think like? you can sum up the experience in the time we're allotted here. So let's <laughs> narrow it down to like one specific thing. Is there any way you could do that? Um, 
uh, like, okay. like something like My what's the, the best says, thing or the most interesting thing or the what's, what's the most interesting thing you've learned about Wings of Redemption from living with him? Oh, no, oh. he's very comfortable leaving the bathroom door open when he pees. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. yeah. There's that. Kitty's part um, of that thick six. <laughs> let's see. What's what else? I thought I knew the bathroom thing would come up first. <laughs> yeah, like this is legit, legitimately hard because it's not like Wings he's... actually cares about truck so much that it's painful. Oh god, he was teaching me how to drive the other day while he was at the wheel driving me to somewhere, and I was like, Wings, I don't care. Let, let me point this but out. But he was very passionate about. I was pointing out. Me. I was pointing out that you know when you're behind these big trucks on these interstates that you need to be able to see the mirrors because if you can't see the mirrors they can't see you. A lot of people don't know that that, that and they don't use it on the road. Wings, how fast do you go on the interstate? Seven. I usually go four to five miles over the speed limit. When are you going to start doing that? <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did it today. <laughs> so Wings drives 60 miles per hour in, on a 70 mile no, no, per no, no, hour no, no, interstate no, 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 highway. No. Let me no. You drive eighty, eighty-five. I drive seventy-five I drive, in a seventy. I drive eighty to eighty-five miles per hour on the 70, 75 mile per hour highway, and I break no at every highway. speed trap because I know where they all are. That oh is a goodness. seventy mile per hour interstate I eighty-five, but that drive goes right through the middle of the southeast. You go sixty miles an hour. Did we or did we not have to pull over to like wait on you to catch up today? You didn't have to. I know how to get back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, no, the reason I've got you it. pulled over was just because you you made a left hand turn without a signal because you came to an intersection. I know we were going left or right. You decided not to use your signal at all. Turned into traffic while there's like five cars coming each way, and I got stuck. <laughs> that seems like not what happened at all. That's very <laughs> likely with the way you drive, actually. You... But anyway, no. The most interesting thing is. When Wings is driving you in someone else's truck, he is like a truck doctor. Oh, you hear that noise? That's the XRB bolt not tightened properly. No, or... no, no, no. Yeah, he goes CSI <laughs> on your vehicle like it's helpful and it's just I insulting. don't even drive. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. He's speaking like, like you Like you hear the engine sound like it's hitting rocks at Spark Knock. I, I don't know. Okay, so, so next question. Lefty? Um, did you guys get the Cooper Tire thing resolved? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know no, about that. I, I told him just to mind his own damn business, and, I'd, uh, and I'm just driving my car. Because the when Cooper I... Tires drive really nice on it, and what I've noticed is it's a little bit slicker compound. I can now spin tires, which is something that the car would never allow to happen before. It's not something I do, because I don't want to be buying tires all the so time. Wait, it will do Coopers? it now. Yeah. Hold, uh, hold up. Oh, I've never seen you drive that car since I've been here. I drove it drove all it yesterday. Yeah, I drove it all day yesterday. Okay. So yeah, it's been a it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting experience living with Wings Redemption. There's a lot of things that just... that you don't see coming. <laughs> so look, last <laughs> night or the night before, this is the elephant in the room. Wings put on a Facebook that he was going to quit the boot camp. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I didn't say quit the boot camp. The word quit wasn't in the in those texts at all. Uh, I don't know. You the imply... word quit was all over the text in my mind. Yeah, you seriously implied you were going to quit. Wings had a really rough day, and it was like, I know he says it was day five, but it was day four of him not losing any weight. Um, and, and it's tough, but, Wings, you weren't eating properly. You weren't eating enough, and and he wasn't seeing that as a problem, but like when you don't eat, obviously your metabolism kind of just stagnates, and it's very hard for you to lose weight. And you know everyone has good well, days and bad days. Like replacing the blame on me. No, the blame is, no, no, no. The blame's on you. Yeah, the so, blame yeah. is directly no, blame, on you and on you. The blame is not on me. When, when you what? condition me for two weeks to eat like 500 calories, not what and then happened. I go into a situation where I forget to eat. Wait, wait, wait. There's the key. There's the key to it. So here's what happened. I told Wings many times from the very beginning, you need to eat a minimum of five meals a day. And mm -hmm. if you were eating seven meals a day, that would be awesome. I know that's a lot to ask, but seven would be top of the top notch. Five for sure, though. He would. We got and, and here's the thing: we don't. I'm not up. If I'm not there to like feed wings like he's a child, 
then it doesn't get done. And it's and he, you're a, he's a grown man, and he just has to take responsibility for himself. That for breakfast, he has five or one cereal. Two and a half to three hours later, he has a banana or a yogurt. Two and a, two and a half to three hours later, he has a side salad. Two and a half to three hours later, he has grilled chicken breast and rice or a piece of wheat bread. Two or three hours later, it's another yogurt or banana. It's it, That's how Wings Day is supposed to go, and that's exactly how I told him from the beginning, and I've supplied him with everything it takes to do that, and I've taught him how to make four different dishes um, with grilled chicken and a mixture of vegetables. So there's there's no excuses, and all the blame's on him because he's a grown man, and he has all the tools. I'm going to tell you this. I'm never going to do that, so we need to work around another way. There isn't another way. We cannot baby you because when you leave I'm here... Tell, I'm telling you this. That will never happen in Wings' life. Well, then Wings' really? life is going to decline again, and Wings is the only person to blame for that because Wings has thousands of people rooting for him, thousands of people supporting him, and hundreds of people that have donated. And Here's if you're dumb enough to not take that support and listen to it... Wings, you tell me you're you're hungry a lot. You tell me you love food. Then what the fuck is the problem with you eating? We have a fridge full of beautiful food. And you know what? If you can't be bothered to cook, I'm here. You can be like, Kitty, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'll be like, I, you know I what? I've forgotten to eat today. I can't, I can't rely on Kitty to cook for me. What I'm saying is let's structure it a different way. Instead of having Jordy eat seven, five to seven meals a day, which I'm never going to do that. I sleep for 12 hours sometimes. All right? So that's out the outside the window. Why don't we structure it so I can find stuff that I can put in the microwave or I can, you know, make cold? We even did that. We do it. Like, like we're doing it. We did that. We got you the healthy choice, the steam fresh meals. And that's what I've been eating. These last couple of days. And how many meals have there, you had today? Those microwave meals have been in there, a part of the program from day one. I've had I mean, two. Have. I've had two meals. All right, and what time is it now? It's, it's 25 past nine, and you've had two meals today. Will you come into my office so I can slap you, please? I want everyone to hear <laughs> it's it. Silly. It's silly. <laughs> and, I mean, we had this talk yesterday about how important these meals was. I literally told you last night, like, the key to doing it would be to set a timer on your phone and to write down on a piece of paper it's, every it's meal not, for the it's next not that day. I forget to do it. You're acting like I forget to do it. It's like, oh, I, I no, I know it. you didn't forget. You just willfully didn't do it. I mean, that's like, why it's that's why it's an upsetting thing. If 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 I actually thought you had some kind of short term memory loss, I would forgive that. But like we sat there last night, and I, I I talked to you about work ethic, and I talked to you about the the key. I gave you the tools and the keys to success for today which were writing down what you were going to eat today, every single meal, so you knew going into tomorrow what it was going to be, and you could make it happen because it had been visualized. And I and the other key was setting a timer on your phone so that you could not forget your list. And neither one of those things happened. They're not going to happen. I, I don't want to live my life that way. Well, then you're a fucking moron. So you almost quit the other day, right? You... I didn't quit. You're using the word quit. I was ready to leave Kyle's house. Uh-huh. I mean, I feel like, like, like me, Kyle, and Kitty, we don't know enough about nutrition to get me through this weight loss thing, the uh, this this plateau, because it's been about five or six days now. You've I lost felt, weight the last two days, if you say so. But I, I felt like it would have been better, more beneficial for me to go ahead and start with a physical trainer, somebody that lives his life with nutrition, and be back in an area where I'm more comfortable. Than it was to be, you know, feel like a like I was just a sore thumb or something sticking around here, and I feel like I'm leeching all people when I'm in here. But you, why? you told me they're, they're, they're you were you sore you and you were starving and you were homesick, and I said, just wake up, well, and do most the right of thing every day. You know, if you don't, the world will beat you down. If you do, the like, world will sing your praises. Hold on, there's more. And you're like, I'm not built that way. I said, rebuild. Weak moments like this happen to everyone. You're about to decide if you're a winner or a loser. Do you remember what you said? I said, I'm born a loser. I've you never said, been successful in anything in my life. I'm a loser. It's all I've ever been. I said, stick it out so you can be proud of yourself. And you said, I would be proud if I stuck it out, but I would be just as happy to leave. That's why I decided what I did. Here, but the, the way of thinking is entirely different. You're looking at it as, as quitting. I can't quit now because I don't have I don't have an appetite right now. But like at the same time, if I stayed these extra ten or twelve days, what's to stop me from from doing what pe people are fearing is going to happen now? People act like if I leave here with a high, that it's going to generate something different. 
It will. The, if the you end, go the end the result next... is myself has to go through this, it, whether it's eight days from now or 45 days from now. It all boils down to I'm the one that has to make these choices. And no matter, and I'm not, and there's nothing you can do to give me the tools needed to in the time allotted other than getting me off of sugar, which you've done successfully, and making me strong enough to be able to work out on my own. Those are the two goals that you don't know what achieved. success feels like. That's what we're trying to do. You're so lazy that you won't even like attempt something that's so simple because I was trying to teach you a lesson. This is what that's what last night was about. It was about you making the list, setting the timer, and then doing it today and seeing what that felt like for once. To plan something, to plan to achieve something, to achieve it and to be proud of it. That's what I was trying to teach you. But but once again, you were I mean, god, I can't imagine that kind of like uh, you, you played Dragon Age or something last night instead of taking five minutes to write down a list. Like I just wrote the list just a moment ago when I like spouted all that off. Like that's the list. I didn't the list write the list. I didn't write the list because I didn't want to do it. I write the list because I wasn't going to do it. There's two different. There's two different meanings there. But you see that I talk about that a lot on my channel. Like you know, of course you'll never win anything. Of course you'll never accomplish anything if you're the if you knock yourself down before somebody else does. Right? Like you, you don't even let yourself start on the road to success you say i'm not going to do that because i won't do that i'm the sort of guy who fails at things so i won't start my motto I'm is anything you, know you right can now. do i can do better i'm gonna like, let you know this a... <laughs> i am never going to eat seven meals a day so with that out of the question if you're, you're, you and, and you see then that, this is something you do too that. you just went to the complete end of, um crazy end of the spectrum of what i had said and, and, and made it sound like i was offering asking something unreasonable you don't have to eat seven. You have to eat three, though, or you're just not giving a fuck. You're just spitting in our face. If you I, don't I, eat three I, meals a day like a normal human being. When you I've eat four, I can see you're trying. If you eat five, then you're on the program. That's how it works. That's that's how this graduated scale goes. And right now, you're like, I don't give a fuck. It's like you're not even giving yourself a chance. No, like you, you want me to do it a certain way. I'm looking to be able to do it the way that I can continue to do it when I'm not here. You the can continue to do it however you actually want to. We're not saying, you know what, Wings, you should be running 20 miles a day. We're telling you to go and have a yogurt two or three hours after you've had some cereal. Then we're telling you to eat lunch. We're not saying run 20 miles a day with a 50 pound pack on your back and then bench press lefty 150 times. That's fucking unrealistic. Unreal what we're telling you to do is eat. You call me fat kitty. Is that mm -hmm. what that was supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and totally. I'm telling you, I cannot <laughs> stick to that eating regimen you have. What can you stick to? I can stick to two to three meals a day, and they have to be stuff I don't have to turn the stove on for. Shoot. You could walk to the refrigerator from your office to get a yogurt every once in a while. Can I don't you? like yogurt. It's 30, it's 30, it's 30 steps. steps. I don't there's, like yogurt. I don't even really like the cereal. Yogurt. The cereal tastes like cocoa puffs because we got the chocolate version. It's it, it's still it's it, it's it's bland and monotonous after you've ate, eaten it so many times. We also have the got the raisin bran that was the same thing. And wait, we, you don't always have to go bare minimum for calories. You don't yeah. always have to do yeah. that. The low calories have never been a thing. I said from the beginning that we we needed to do fifteen to twenty five hundred, and it's just it, it's 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 me trying giving him small meals and then him not following through with the middle meals that have caused the calorie deficiency. Which have caused the weight plateau. And it, you know, we he talks about the cereal, whatever. And, and we the have... weight plateau is this: it's 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 his metabolism locking down. It's his body thinking, "Oh shit, we're not. There's not enough food around for me to survive. Why would I burn this energy all willy nilly?" So it's locking down, and it's using energy as efficiently as it can. If he's getting seven meals a day, his body is tricked into thinking that there's just so much fucking food around that I need to burn the that I need to start burning calories and turn my body into a calorie furnace, which is how I try to live my life so that I can eat cupcakes and drink milkshakes all day. Which is what, Wings, what do I eat? Cupcakes and milkshakes, right? I've seen, I've, you're, you're inhuman. Like, this man has cooked like 25 cupcakes. He's eaten at least 12 of them in the last two days. And yeah. he drinks like a gallon of green tea a day. And, like... and the so washes it down with soda. 
eats cookies, bakes and He's lost cookies, six or seven pounds since I've been lost here. Lost six fucking pounds. <laughs> he's an asshole. I look at what he wow, eats and indeed. I gain 50 pounds. It, but, I mean, the thing is, things, right, if, if you did go back today and you went to a personal trainer, they're going to tell you exactly the same that Carl's telling you. If your I'm metabolism totally isn't thing. working like, overdrive, shush. Don't interrupt. If your metabolism isn't working overdrive, you're never going to ditch that weight. You came here because you're wanting to lose weight, but you're stopping yourself from being able to do that because you're a stubborn fuck that won't accept help. That is your problem. And I don't know whether you won't accept the help or listen because you're scared of failing or you're just an asshole. No, I, I, I think he's given up on a lot of it and he's, he's doing what he thinks is the right thing and following through because he's, you know, we, we, we said we do this thing. And it shouldn't be that. He should want to succeed because it, it's bettering his health. I, you said I, you were homesick and wanted to go home. I do want to go home. I want to go home right now. He's you're, probably just sick of me nagging him. You're a honest. grown man. You, like, you're not allowed to be homesick anymore. No, what? Well, where, where's that rule written down? Fair, yeah, that's, I, I, dude, think, I, I really? don't think that's He doesn't have a wife <sighs> and kids at home. He has his uh, mom. Yeah, and he but loves he's his not mom. Being he away loves from his family. Home. I mean, I don't. I, I just. I don't think it's entirely. I miss, I miss. I miss the country. I miss flat ground. I miss <laughs> some familiar streets. I miss the smell of the swamp. I miss a whole bunch of different things. I miss. I miss Ginger. I miss Chevy. I miss. You know, I miss the way the damn dew hits the damn truck in the mornings. I miss just normally. I miss my room. I miss my office. No, I, I can understand in my own that. Bed. He's not been away from home very much, so I can understand how that's a thing. I, I mean, I like, that's never I, no, been a thing for me personally. No, it, look, I, I, I left my house it. at 19 and didn't come home for six months. I feel it too. I like being home. I like being in familiar roads. I like being around my wife and kids and dogs. And I have, I have a nice life. Sometimes when I go on vacation, it's not as good as real life. But you have an opportunity to upgrade, to reinvent, to rebuild. And I'm hearing like, ah, you know what? I really like the dew and the flatness of my yard. So I'm not going to stay here anymore. And it's like, no. Well, but it was, see, you're looking at it two different ways. You're looking at it like you do something to completion. I'm looking at it like if I do it to completion, I'm not going to be any better for wear. And I'm just wasting people's time. Trust me, it, I'm it blunt enough like, to tell you if you're wasting our time. It's a quit, dude. It, there's no other way to, to phrase it. it. It's a quit. It's a, I give up. It's going through the motions. Yeah. No, I giving up would be like me. It's going through the motions. It's a half-assing. Well, I half-ass stuff. That's the way I do it. You never I watch know. YouTube that's, videos. That's exactly what I said last night. I, I went on a rant with you about how you, you half-ass everything because, like, you handed me your portion after I sat there and edited everything to, to the best of my ability. I felt I'm not. I'm no editor, but I tried my best, and. And you handed me your end, and both things you handed me were completely half-assed. One of them, you had a, a fan blowing right into it, like an air purifier, yeah. and it was it was whirly, and like like un unlistenable. Then, then I you, redid it, and then somebody called me in the middle of it, and I took the time to edit that out of it. And he it. told me, I asked him, why didn't you put the the phone on silent? He said, I don't do stuff like that. And 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 there it is. And, but you didn't edit it out. It's right in the middle of the video. In the last oh, yeah, minute, in the last minute, there's been hey half-ass. That's how I do things. I half-ass it. And you know, hey, I don't do this. Why? Then when then the only portion of the video that you filmed that was the time lapse. It's it's completely out of focus, and it's the lower half of your body time lapse for 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 20 I'm, I'm minutes. I'm sorry. I have a I have a new new gadget. I was trying for the first time. Nobody was there to help me. And like I thought, I had it in focus. But Nobody's there to help me do anything. I, every little adjustment I make is an, if 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 anything's out of focus, it's all on me. It's and, and I take full responsibility. I would never say, "Well, Kitty wasn't there to show me how to focus the camera." Like it's you, you know. It's it's just a my bad situation. It's cool. I'm not mad at you, but it's just an example of where you should, instead it's of giving me an example. Because part, I'm sorry, Kyle, to cut you off, but like it, partly I feel like we're ganging up on you, and I feel guilty for that. Partly I feel like we're calling you out on your bullshit, and you badly need that. Uh, yeah, nobody's trying to hurt you here or attacking. We're not mad at you. We're disappointed, and we want more of you. Uh, I'm, the I, days truth, that you I don't want to do YouTube. I don't. I'm I'm losing this weight right now to get out of YouTube. That's okay. So I don't want to change my work ethic on YouTube. There's nothing wrong with. It. All right, so there's two different things. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with you working 
and your goal being getting off YouTube. Because we, what we talked about last week sounds like a good scenario for you, you being some sort of firefighting, softball-playing, weekend guy who maybe ends up with a family and enjoys the rest of his life and, and starts learning what life's about. But, but, but that the, And everybody will be cool with that. But you don't half-ass your journey because you're never going to be – are you going to half-ass being a firefighter and half-ass that stuff? No, because that's stuff you care about. So you shouldn't half-ass this because people have vested time, money, effort, and everything else into it. I'm not half-assing it. it. You are half-assing. You just admitted it. You literally just admitted it. You said the words, I'm a half-asser. That's what I do. I, it's okay. We're not, we're, not, we're not trying to like beat something out of you. It's okay See, that you're I want to go home. We just want more of you. Why do you want to go home? Because there's nobody there to sit or bitch at me. There's nobody to call you out on on, on, on where you're lacking. We're not we're not doing this stuff to be to be bullies. I, I want you to understand that. I well, am who I am. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm who I am. If you have that attitude, we're not saying you have to change. I don't want to fix it. I mean, I, I like who I am. So you like being overweight? No, I didn't say I like being overweight. And trapped like you on YouTube. Well, I gotta disagree with that. This being how you are, because I remember watching the first video of boot camp, and you 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 were quick to tap out, quick. And now I've, I've been uh, no, watching no, no, these no, no, videos. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I gave my hundred percent the entire I, time no, in every workout I've done. And no, hold on, let me finish. And now, Kyle thinks you're done, and you say no, I got more. And when you started this, I I'm think stronger. I that's. I know, but you're willing to you're willing to do more, to put up with more, to push yourself. I I just I get the feeling watching you that first video. I didn't get the feeling you weren't exuding confidence. You weren't like, yeah, I can do this. Now you are. There has been a change in you. And when you wanted to start this, you wanted to start it to change your life and to change your business, to change your YouTube business for the better. I think this, I don't want to do YouTube, I want to leave YouTube, all this stuff, I think it's like a default position for you. When you get, when you feel overloaded, you default to, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm, I'm, home, I'm scared, I don't want to do this, whatever it is, whether it be the boot camp, whether it be um, uh, the, eating the meals or, or, or doing YouTube, you default to... Uh, I am who I am. I don't want to do this anymore. And I, I, I think you need to over... I, I, I think it would be in your best interest to look at that honestly and... Ra look at yourself honestly and rationally and be like, you know what? Yeah, I, it's kind of a default just, to, just to, to remove myself from the situation, to put up a barrier between what I feel is threatening or bad or looming and myself. Because I think I think that's what you. I'm not a psychologist. I play one on YouTube, but mm. I think that's what you do. And I think it would be in your best interest just just to I don't know, inner monologue, call it whatever you want, but take an honest look at what you're saying and why you're saying it. You don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to be publicly like, yeah, it's it's, you know, it's actually because of this. I say this, but be honest with yourself and and take a look at what you're really saying and why you're saying it. Because I don't think a lot of the things you're saying are actually how you feel. Because they don't mesh up with how you went into this whole thing. You were excited. You were on Kyle. You were bitching at Kyle. Like, let's do this damn thing. I want to get on here, and I want to start this thing. I want to get it started as soon as possible. And now that's that's completely changed. And I don't I don't see a reason for it. Yeah, Wings was totally the driving force behind this thing. Like, this thing could have... It, it, I was willing from the time I offered, but if Wings had ever been like, you know, I, I don't know about this whole thing. Uh, yeah, I get homesick and all that. You know, it, it was going to be a dead issue. All he had to do was say no. I wasn't going to force him. It was an offer. But he didn't and, and say he no. Was, he said when. No. He said why not sooner. He said, you know what? If this hadn't, if this had started already, we'd be nearly done by now. Let's do this. Yeah. And now it's let's stop this. I wish you'd just value yourself more. Like it, it's it's painful to watch you beating yourself up like I look back at the first few days of boot camp and you're like what's the plan today let's go you were smiling you were laughing and whatever and I know you suffer from depression so in my head I'm putting it down to you're having a low moment that is probably brought on by you starving yourself firstly because your brain doesn't have the right nutrients right now and secondly it's probably been brought on by the fact that there's been no mega improvement and you're, you're getting stagnated on that no mega improvement in the last five days but what you're negating is you lost 22 pounds. And what he's what he's really forgetting is, and what you guys should should realize that you don't see is his strength, his stamina, his cardiovascular system, everything, all that stuff. Even his, you know, his hands. 
everything is tougher now and stronger and faster. I use, I always talk. I look at things this way, and I told him this. I've shared this with him. When I'm working out, I, after a week goes by or a month, I think to myself, could I kick my ass a month ago? If there, if I could, if I could go back in time with some sort of machine, could I kick last week's me? Could I kick his ass? And if I could, I did a good job. And, I, and I'm like, wings, you would beat the shit out of the Jordy bef- that, that was that was before this. Remember, wings, remember how tired you got from that first walk? How exhausting and terrible that was. And now you're you're rolling around the floor with Jeremy trying to choke him out. And when you got up, you weren't even out of breath. He was more out of breath than you. Of course, he was getting choked. But when you got up, you weren't out of breath. You were laughing and and, and talking about you know you liked the way that went. You've got stamina now. That's 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 comparable for someone your size. You have you have decent stamina now. Like you can do stuff. You're you're so much stronger when you're lifting weights now. You know you're moving around. You're you're curling 75 pounds, like five sets of eight. You're stronger. You've gotten so. You, when you got here, you could barely lift 120 pounds above your head more than two or three times. Now you're doing that. You're so much stronger. You're so much faster. You've got such better cardio, and you're. Twenty some some odd pounds lighter, and your weight you're much smaller. Your pants your your pants and clothes are fitting looser. There's so much sign. There's so many signs that you're succeeding and that you're winning, and you're focusing on this one little one, which is the fat loss, which isn't even that major. We're not even accounting for the for the muscle uh, the muscle gain. You must have gained muscle because you just weren't doing shit before you came here, and we've been working every muscle group in your body. Yeah, every morning he goes out for a walk and I'm usually in the office answering emails and Kyle's usually asleep and, you know, the first few days were very short. Now, don't get me wrong, every time Wings comes in from a walk, he's hot, he's sweaty, he's out of breath. But that walk time has trebled. Trebled? Are those those little monsters from Star Star Trek? Trek, Oh, my God. No, those are tribbles. Yeah, do, do you say times by three? How do you imagine? Triples. What about the base? Triples. How's the base oh, yeah, been doing well, the, walk? the walk hasn't tripled. But I, I do the same thing every day. No, let me say it, it's not. It's not about the. I'm talking about your conditioning. The first day. Let me let me tell you what happened. The first walk that that me and Jordy went on. We walked a very short distance, just out of sight of my home, like around the corner. And his pants broke. His pants broke. They couldn't take it. So we went back to the house, got new pants. He walked a uh, point. Seven miles total, but in a stretch, he walked about half a mile, and he was borderline going to pass out. He, he, he burst into the house and said, like, clear the way. Like, here I come. Like, I'm going to crash out on that couch, and that's how it was. And he had a cold sweat on his brow. He was completely out of breath. He was pale, and, he, and I think I have, I have it recorded somewhere. I, I should include that in the next video if you're cool with it. But, but you, were in, you were in terrible shape. And now you go out for that morning walk for like 10, 15, 20 minutes before you get back. And when you get back, you're just, you're not huffing and puffing. You're just like, <sighs> you know, you're just like, you just went for a little jog. I saw you jog two days ago when we were playing Frisbee. That's the first time I saw you jog. I don't yeah, understand but- why you're not excited about, about all these things. Because I am. When I see them, I'm like, there we go. That's good. That's important. You're excited about this, but I'm excited about that. I'm still 200 pounds overweight. And another thing is, I can't get I can't get behind the eating program because I know I'm telling you right now, I will not succeed on that program. How do I know? I've done that program before. I've been to dietitians. I know me, and I will not do that. So well, what's the solution? Like that, so the solution is to maybe tailor a program to something I will do. Then will you, you need do a three new a day. We do three meals a day. It's not even about doing three meals a day. It's about I'll, I'll do three meals a day, but it's just got to be something I can do. Like I don't like cooking. I don't like standing in front of a stove. I don't like you know preparing meat. I don't like doing any of that. I don't want to do any of that. And I don't like that either. I don't fucking cook. Okay, I don't cook either. <laughs> have you ever you, you have you ever seen me come? She's like, hey, cow, can you cook something? No, I'm not going to do that. I haven't heard the answer yet. Wings, you know, like. Propose something that will work, then. Um, first off, I mean, it has the money. The ability to eat has to go way down, like money-wise. Like we spent something like seven hundred bucks on three month, three weeks of food so far, and like that has to go down to like a hundred and fifty dollars. So I, that like, seems like it's on the really high. In my professional life, I mean, any jackass can come up with reasons things will fail any jackass I'm, I'm can not point to, to say hold on i'm not fail. done yet you just stop this any idiot can point to what they don't like about something 
if you want to do this right, point to what can be better. But like, it, come up with, an, with a change that improves this. All I'm hearing so far is, you know, like, this, oh, here's a problem. All here's you're, a problem. All you're here's hearing a problem. are all you're hearing are excuses, and that, yeah. that's another talk. Like, me and Wings have had a, about three like major talks like this. We talked about work ethic. We talked about half-assing things, and we also talked about um, excuses. That was the third one. That was the third talk we had, and I said that you are always able to come up with an excuse why you can't do something. You're a master of it. You can come up with an excuse why you cannot do anything I could I could possibly name, but I have never seen you come up with um, a reason why you can do something. What makes you special? That that yeah, I can do that, and I'm gonna do that. Like like never be like you know if if I were saying, you know, we're not going to do this, though. And you're like, no, 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 that's me. That's what I'm good at. I can do that shit. Every I'm bump in the that. road is Never greeted that. with a quit. Oh, there's a problem. Quick quit. Oh, there's something that could happen wrong. I give up. This will never work. <laughs> do the opposite. Here's a problem. I can solve it. Where's that? The confusing exist. thing is, is he's no, it, passionate about the end goal. He really is. Everyone's and when passionate he's passionate about now, end goals. Yeah, I want to be rich. Fuck it. I'll be younger, too. I don't have a plan for that shit. You don't have a plan for it. <laughs> You're not executing on this shit. That it doesn't count for anything. Who's not passionate? I'm passionate about six pack abs. That sounds fucking wonderful. Your dream about being a firefighter has to be strong enough that you make a bit of sacrifice to your lazy mentality. Because what we're saying can get you to your bunny rabbit is quote marks dream isn't much effort on your part. You're pulling things that are really not relevant. And and, and, and the other thing is like it's it's just not that hard. It's really not. It, yeah. It's it's really not. We're not asking for much. I don't want you to be a pro athlete. It, if if I were going, it would be much. It's much harder for a normal guy to go out there and and be like, look, I need you to be fucking Stallone. You got to get on that right now. It you have to do so much to to go from normal to superior. But to go from where you are to normal is is the easy step, you know. It's it it's just maintaining a balanced diet that isn't extreme and and isn't completely devoid of of vitamins and minerals and nutrients and the things your body needs, while at the same time being moderately physical physically active for half an hour a day. That's all that you're, that, that that's required of you. Are there are there what works? What what Kyle? What is in his diet now that he could get that's more readily? Well, see, I, than... I, I, that that's that that's on him because you know I, when we did our shopping, I pointed to each item and I said, "What about this? What about that?" And I only picked items that he agreed on. I didn't pick anything that he was like, "Ah, I don't eat that." Because there's several things that wings won't eat. Wings will not eat any any eggs or any fish, and and I like fish a lot. Normally, my diet when I'm when I'm getting in shape is half grilled chicken, half tuna. So you know, there's no tuna in Wings diet, which I which I like. But anyway, we we pick, we pick things that he he agreed to agreed upon, 100. Uh, percent um, I don't know. Uh, when we've talked about food a lot because we both love food, and you know we talk about liking things like Zaxby's chicken fingers, and there's just no way to incorporate Zaxby's chicken fingers or hot wings into a diet plan. It's almost there, like the skill Wings need isn't eating. It's several meals a day. It's not even exercising. It's perseverance. It, it's the underlying thing that holds him back in everything, right? And why is he half-assing some of his videos? Why is he quick to quit? Why is he saying, oh, this will never work? It's like Wings won't get anything done unless he has Kyle grabbing by one arm and Kitty grabbing by the other to make him do it. He's lost his confidence, and that it, it's sad to see. But I don't know why, because he's he's he all those reasons I listed earlier for why you're you're a winner, you're why you're doing well. You should have a lot of confidence. Just uh, that's why, like months ago, before any of this was discussed, I told I, I tried to suggest um, weightlifting for you <clears throat> because you see s such dramatic gains in weightlifting. I thought that seeing progression and seeing gains and accomplishments would be good. And you're seeing all those gains, and I, and I guess I was wrong. So what's going I, on in your head, Wings? What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking I'm ready for 12 days to be over with. But Wings, I think if you asked any person if they'd lost, you know, let's say 22 pounds in under three I, weeks, I have lost they would 22 be pounds more times than I can count. This is not new to me. 
I've lost 80 pounds in 2011. 80. And I backslid off of it. I'm not at the point where I've even made a success yet in my life. And, like, I want to gain the tools needed to, to get that success. I want to get the tools needed to attain that 22 into 122. And I feel like if I don't do it your way, I'm doing it wrong. And I and you're 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 blocking me out, so I'm going to block it out right back. I'm going to keep working out, doing what I got to do, and I'm going to go home and then work on the plan I set for myself. But the plan you've set for yourself is eat once a day, and uh, and and just fester. But he won't eat once a day when he gets home. There's going to be a bag of Lay's on the on the counter, or a box I, of donuts. I don't eat chips. But it's, that... it's a euphemism. Yeah. You're eating something, Wings. I eat mainly fast food. You can't do... That's, that's probably going to have to stop. It is going to have to stop. And that's what... And that's basically what I need help for. He got me off the sugar. I, I no longer have hunger pains. I can sit here and I eat for two days now, and I wouldn't get hungry because my body has gotten used to eating like 500 calories a day. I can forget to eat right now. I will repeat that neither me or Kyle have recommended yeah, that he no. cuts his calories no. to 500 no, is, a day. Like, like what we he's do not know where that came from. And like, and like what he's I, describing he, is the weight plateau that he's, that he, that he's talking about. He's and like, like they're, 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 they're sitting there talking bad about me, but I ate before PKA. Why? Because I'm like, well, if I don't eat before PKA, I'll pretty much won't, I'd only have 400 calories today. Well, congratulations. Right. That is the most minimal effort I, I can feel that you could have possibly exerted. To stay on the seven meal a day optimum program, that I is what. I'm not and, and, and look, do it, that. No, I, it's okay if you don't do it. It's a goddamn window. boot camp. That's the point. It, the point is we're gonna like we're gonna give you a giant leap forward in a month. That was that's the point. That's what the boot camp's about. It's why you're working out a little bit harder than you normally would. It's why you're eating food that you normally wouldn't eat. It's a boot camp. It's a 30 day program in which things are really hard and really strenuous so that you get a leap forward into a a life changing weight loss goal. That's the whole point of the program. You should know that. So it's okay if you don't eat seven meals a day when you get home, as long as you try your best to be fucking healthy. But here, you should be exerting. You you should be trying harder. You should, this this should be my A one game. This should be I, everyone's looking because they fucking are. I feel like we're bullying you. Yeah, I, I've said that repeated, repeatedly. That yeah. Like I want to be bullying you by making you pull me around the. Garden in in a wheelchair. I don't. <laughs> I'd rather pull you around the garden in a wheelchair than cook my own food. But we've 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 gone like above and beyond to give you a huge variety of food. Some that just needs nuking. Some that you can just pop off a lid. Some that is cooked by myself or Kyle for you. Like we have gone above and beyond on that. Whether it's the soups you liked, the type of garlic stuff you liked, the insane, like this fetish you have with yeah, yeah. chili peppers. I, I think what we're getting is, 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 I don't make no mistake. This thing is has been made as easy and pain free as could possibly be. We call it a boot camp, but it's really been let's make this easy on this guy and let's get this done. Let let's do let's let's try to make this as tailor fit to him as we can, and you know try not to like culture shock him. But it, but but still not good enough. We want you to succeed, Wings. We we really do. If I didn't want to succeed, I wouldn't still be doing the workouts. I'd be like, fuck it. I'm just gonna sit here and just and ride out the rest of the boot. But as soon as it's something you I don't it. like, you you just shut down. As I understand it, the eating part is part of the boot camp. That's part yeah, it's, of the. That's it's the part main the part. It, it's the main part. Yeah, the but workouts are the highway. I'm telling them the seven days is not going to work. If they were personal trainers, here's what I, my answer to a personal trainer would be. He goes, "You got to eat seven meals a day." Well, look here, I'm paying you money. I'm not eating seven meals a day. Figure another way out. And but he you've would go got and figure another way out for me. Not when it comes uh, to things like that, Wings. What you're asking is for it's is analogous a to telling body. your it, it's analogous to telling your doctor, no, I can't take two pills a day. You guys need to go back to Pfizer. Tell them one capsule a week. I can probably manage that. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's doctor, simple, man. It's 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 so simple eating a banana. Like like, like there was a, that day you got all these cramps and we had to stop working out early. And I was like, well, you've been eating those bananas. You shouldn't have been. And he's like, oh, we ran out of bananas. I was like, why why don't you go get more? 
and, and any time that comes out, like we run out of bananas, I'm like, you're a grown man. You have your vehicle out front, and you know where the grocery store is. And the grocery store from my house that has bananas is, God, you, you could walk to it. Wings, what's your favorite meal that you've eaten at Cobb's? What's your favorite thing to eat, your favorite small meal? What's your favorite one that you like the most? I don't really like any of them, to be honest. I mean, I'm eating them just to eat them. So you don't like the grilled chicken? You don't like... My turkey the, bolognese. I mean, you don't uh, like the bananas, the yogurt, none of that? It's, they're not foods that make me happy. What makes you happy? Fried foods. So basically, I'm giving up my major love in life, and I'm not getting credit for that. Like, when you take eating away from me, that's all I have. I have YouTube and eating. Eating's gone, now all I have is YouTube. And that's pretty much my whole life. And I, I'm not sitting there trying to tell you to feel bad for me. Like, oh, well, I did this to my fucking self. But I'm telling you that the, the plan you have invested to me doesn't work. That's why I wanted to go home. And like, you this isn't going to work. I, I'm not, I'm not going to let it because I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it tomorrow, today, or 45 days from now. It's just not going to happen. I mean... There aren't many people in your situation that would be so stubborn as no. to turn down something no. like this. No, it's shocking. I don't know of anyone who has tens of thousands of people rooting for him who can sit there and say... Yeah, well, opening a yogurt is just too much effort. <laughs> I don't like yogurt. I don't like it. And then you don't no, make me do wait, You're wait, picking wait, on it. I don't backwards. like it either. You've got tens of thousands of people cheering you on. And in response, you're like, ah, fuck yogurt. Dude. <laughs> I worked a lot yesterday. I had a hard day. I probably put in 18, 20 hours yesterday. It was a long day for me. And there were moments where I thought, man, what do you know? You're working your eyes red. This is tough. And then I thought, you know what, Woody? Fuck you. The Woody of four years ago would not have considered placing Minecraft blocks work. He would not have considered staying at home all day a hard day. It, it, be appreciative of what you have. And I think the same thing to Wings. Wings, fuck you, man. Think about where you are. Think about the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people cheering you on. The hundreds of people who gave you thousands of dollars to make this happen. And you're, yeah, yogurt. I don't really like it. Fuck it. I'm going home. I miss the dude. You guys are making me out to be the horrible person because I am not going to do a program that I know I will not stick to. It's boot camp. Maybe if I do seven meals every day from here to the end of the boot camp, guess what I'm going to do when I go home? Not do seven meals because Fried I hate food. doing it. I hate doing it. So why not do something and make a plan that I like doing? But I, I, I picture you hold. like a turtle on his back saying, you know, you got to do this for me. You got to do that for me. You know, I, I now I need a new plan for this. If I was paying you, then I'd be, you're not paying. You're getting paid. Be, come up, be the solution guy. I'm, I'm being a solution guy. I'm telling them what they're doing is not going to work. That's and not a solution. No, 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 that's not a solution. That no, is no, no, not no. at all a solution. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, but let's back up to, to, to the work situation, right? Nobody values someone who points and finds flaws. You value someone who this, points right? and finds so, answers. Stop worrying about what I eat and we'll hey, let me worry just about say, the this, exercise part. You, you, you keep acting like the plan that we have is some sort of like kooky science experiment. It is widely well known. Every di Any dietitian you speak to, any, any like sports health expert, any doctor, know, they're going to tell you. I know you, it is, but small I'm meals telling you, I frequently through the it. day is, what, is, is what's going to speed up your metabolism and help you burn more energy faster. And what you have done is literally the opposite of that. And you're telling us that, uh, that we're the ones who need to go back Sorry. to the drawing board. You ever you ever heard the saying that some children need to be taught differently? Yeah, I just don't, have, to you. I just don't know how they would feel child. if I was hitting you with a bat the whole video. <laughs> you, <laughs> like, say, say a child he still dyslexia. hasn't learned. It's worth a, a try. Child has a child has dyslexia, and you try to teach him the the way every other <laughs> child learns that day, and he can't learn it. And you're going to tell him, well, We're this is the way that works 90% of the people. What doesn't fucking work? You're not people. dyslexic. You don't have an excuse. I have a horrible eating addiction. I, I, don't I don't believe that. And what's your that. problem I, with bullshit. eating? Because that's, you're not eating enough. Because I'm eating stuff I don't like. like what did I eat a while ago? I ate like spinach soup or some mess. The things that you do like will completely subvert your workouts. Completely. 
You, not it. once throughout this whole thing have we heard one thing that you like that is re- have you soups have you tried any soups that you like tomato soup C- can you can you have a bowl or two of that a day with a he, we literally went to the store and, and he had us buy t- like how many containers 15 of soup or 16 did we literally have 15 containers of new soup from yesterday yeah at least picked out mostly I picked yeah. three of them out and like wings as much as you sit there and say you didn't like any of that food I made like that turkey bolognese stuff the other day from scratch it was very sweet it was nice you came back for more it was great I just think you don't want to like the food I get I, that you don't like yogurts no I don't even know who likes yogurts I do I eat them lots of sour food. milk yeah, right? No, I'm with you, Wings. Great yogurt. But guess Great what? food if you're getting in shape. Ridiculous yeah. people like yogurt. But guess right, what? Kyle? My dietician asks love it. to eat at three least three day. a week. So I do. I don't fucking like them. Like, like that's what, that's what and, and Wings says I'm a freak because I, I lost six pounds to this thing, and I'm, but I'm eating cupcakes, and, and, and like I don't eat fast food in front of him, but I, but I go to Taco Bell. I've been to Taco Bell twice since he's been here. I don't do it a lot. I hate you. But my metabolism's so fast because I make it that fast. I, t- I take a lot of B12, prob- maybe too much. I-, I don't think there is too much, though. I think your body just stops absorbing it at some point. So I'm always got energy. I take tons of B12. My metabolism's fast. I drink nothing but green tea, like he mentioned, like a gallon a day of green tea. And I eat a lot of small meals when I, a- a- until my metabolism's- metabolism is fast. And then I can eat anything. And it'll slow down, and I'll notice when it does because I'll start gaining weight. And then I'll speed it up again. It takes me about a month to do it. And there's no reason he can't do it and live his life that way. As soon as I gain 20 pounds, I drop the 20 pounds immediately. I, I bounce up and down 20 pounds every three months. I don't think that's really... Good. It's not healthy. I don't care, <laughs> no, though. it's terrible. Please, <laughs> no, I live my please life. Do, not, do not take that as advice. <laughs> like... So do you like soup wings? What kind of soup do you like? It's not about liking. I, I, I'm just not that kind of person. Why do you think I go to fast food restaurants? Cause they I'm talking about what can you what can you consolidate? You'll eat three meals a day. So then what can we consolidate into three meals a day and maybe a snack here or there that you will eat? What do you like that isn't the yogurt, that isn't the thing, but that also isn't fried food? It, it, is, it, can, it can't even be that way, though, Lefty. I know mean, I'm pointing out another difference, but, but if I figure out, if I sat here with you and created a menu of what I like, I'd eventually get tired of it. He's not saying one menu every day for the rest of your life. He's asking you what kind of foods you like. When are you going to come up with something that does work? I'll figure it out on my own. Let's just do let's, let's like do the How's that going part. so far? How's that working for you? It, it's did horribly, but I, All right. I, I'm tired of, tired of dealing with the seven meals a day crap. I'm not going to do it. All right. Nobody All wants right. seven. So, we want five. You know, so what five. does work? I, what I propose okay. three and a snack. I propose three and a snack, and you even said no to that. Propose something. Propose something. All I'm hearing is nose. Like what I we just to... propose to you is this is the sort of thing that you propose on an eight year old, and 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 he's the only one on the planet who who throws. Let's a pretend we were three meals in a Hold snack, on. Johnny. I want the three floor, please. Snack. Let's pretend we were going to a restaurant, right? I feel like Kyle saying let's go to Outback. I'm saying let's go to Tuesdays. Kitty's saying let's go to Fridays, and Wings is just saying nope, 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 nope. Never saying let's go anywhere. Always just, nope, nada, that won't work, don't like it, can't go, not interested, etc. Where's yours? Like Are you Apple taking a nap? Beans. On my screen, you're taking a nap. Well, I think it froze. Where's <laughs> yours? Where's yours? Where's your solution? I'll figure that out myself. I mean, like, obviously, we're not going to come to a, a medium ground on the How's that food. coming so far, right? How's that it going? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, really? I've to, <laughs> because I'm unwilling to eat seven meals a day, five. I'm stop, willing to stop prepare hanging food. on to the seven thing, right? Like that, Kyle called you out on that before. Like you, you grab the most extreme example of you know of, of one proposed idea. Whatever. And say, I'm, a, I'm not willing to eat let, 14 times a day. This. I'm unwilling to prepare food that requires preparation. You're unwilling to say yes to anything. You're unwilling to find a solution to this problem that we have. You're unwilling to try something that might work. All you want to do is say things won't work. What about those frozen meals? The it smart isn't. ones. Here, we have frozen. a freezer full. I don't like I, them I, because they're like 300 calories and they just make me want to eat more. I'm telling you, I put a lot now of thought into this Now we're back to where we thing. were three minutes ago. Right? Well, now now we're back to, to I don't subject. like this, here's a problem with that. I don't like this, here's a problem with that. What don't you have a problem with? The reason I don't eat 
these multi small meals a day is mm-hmm. just that they make me hungry. So I'd rather answer? not eat them and be, not be hungry. So three meals a day is not multi small days, right? Ah. I'm not hearing anything that you're willing to do. And you're gifted. You're so lucky right now to have people that give a shit with you enough to hold what basically is an intervention right here. You're so lucky to have hundreds of people give you thousands of dollars and a hundred thousand people watch your videos about this. You're like put on this pedestal. People are calling you an inspiration. I called you an inspiration. But what you're being right now isn't inspiring. What you're being right now is you're just you're refusing to do anything but lose. Spoiled brat. I'm not spoiled brat. I mean, I do the workouts. I do workouts every time I'm. They ask me to do them. Eating is a part of it because the, the only other option, the only other option besides coming to some consensus on three meals and a snack, four or five meals a day, whatever. Other than that, it's just not eating. Period. Ever because we have to work out for two hours straight to burn a thousand calories. So that's not gonna gonna be what you know. That's the major thing. part of this. Right? That's the major part. Uh, uh, this the working out is about is about more than than the calories burned. It's supposed to be about you accomplishing things. And I and you're fine on the working out part. I see you trying, and you're get. I don't know that you're going above and beyond every single time, but I've seen you go above and beyond, and you're giving for the most part your your best effort. I'm gonna tell you this now. I, you I, I go I go to the hardest I go every <clears> time. You might not believe. I know you didn't believe the first day, and it hurt my feelings. You said you can do more than that. No, a fuck, I couldn't. I did 45 yeah, seconds because yeah. I could do 45 seconds. But it's it's not about that. It's not about doing more than 45 seconds. It's about resting for five minutes and doing 15 more seconds, and then resting for 10 minutes. And I doing have five trouble more breathing. Seconds. Like one of the problems I'm having working out is I suck at breathing. And that's because out you don't know time. what working out is about. But what you mean by sucking breathing is that you're you're elevating your breathing rate, and that's uncomfortable, and that's part of physical activity. No, 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 no. What, what no. it is, is is I hold my breath too fucking often. Like, I'll hold my breath. I, and I'm, how how many, you, you can, I say, I tell you to breathe so often that you could probably find at least three examples of me doing so in the videos. You're told to breathe constantly. And I try, and, I, and that's what I'm working on. But, but because I'm failing at a certain aspect doesn't mean I'm not giving you everything I You're not failing. I know how that's, to do. that's not what I'm telling you. You're not failing. You're succeeding on this end of the 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 uh, the workout program. You're, you're the the boot camp. You're doing really well at the physical stuff. I uh, you know we we did slam balls today. It went really well. You hit the mitts today. It went really well. You drug Jeremy across the floor. I don't know twenty fucking times today when you could only do it eight times when you got here. Four. That's four that's four times, a, and I did thirty times today. Yeah, exactly. I think yeah, exactly. That's that's a massive improvement. Massive improvement of strength and stamina. And and you weren't nearly in as rough shape afterwards. You the first time you were covered in sweat. And and when you see those kind of strength improvements, I would think you would. You always talk about wanting to be strong again, wanting to feel like you were a bubba or whatever. You're on the way there, but right now you're not a bubba, and you know it. Jeremy's a bubba. Jeremy couldn't be qualified bubba. A bubba's an overweight guy that just happens to be horse strong and is able to keep up with little guys. Fair enough. Jeremy is a really strong guy that's a little underweight. I think that's part of the problem. You're really quick to pull things apart. Yeah, oh, you, you see, Wings is the most critical person I've ever seen. Like, we could be watching a, a really cool music video on YouTube. But he does it to himself, which is, we, um, we, is gut-wrenching. We, I, I, me, and, me and Jeremy were sitting here today watching somebody who had posted a, a, a commentary for Call, Call of Duty Ghosts, and it was the most incredible... Um, Game I'd seen in a long time. A lot of kills. I'm not going to say who it was. But anyway, it was something that I didn't even think was possible to be done. And Wings Over 100 said, kills. All, all, yeah. All Wings could say was, wouldn't have done that against me. And it was like, come on, man. Bow down and, and appreciate. This guy, and you could tell in the commentator's voice that he wasn't being smug about it. He was like, I, could, I didn't believe I could do this. I even said I couldn't do it. But I did it, and I'm really proud of myself. And it was good. And he and, and was just critical of that. And then... And, and, He's critical of everything. I mean, and when we talk about, I talked about Jeremy's truck last week, how he hurt Jeremy's feelings by exposing Jeremy's truck, even though Jeremy didn't know it. it Jeremy's truck's not a Z71 package. It just has the stickers. And as soon as Wing, Wings found out, he, oh, guess what, Jeremy? Your, your truck that you love so much isn't as good as you thought it was. And it's like that with everything. Everything in your life and my life, he'll, he'll be, really be quick to point out and, and have a negative feeling about it. Anything. 
And I think, like, Wings, one thing you've got to learn is if you start being positive about things, whether it's that was a good video that that person put out, or, hey, this, sh this shirt that you got into today, it didn't fit you when you arrived. That was awesome. And you should have been like, yes, I can get into this shirt. But you weren't. Oh, you were kind of mad. And I think, like, when you learn to you be positive. You missed doing that. No, I think when you learn to be positive about things, you're going to feel better. What you're doing is you're getting yourself hung up on this difficulty that you're having with five meals a day, and you're making it destroy everything. Kyle has just told you, you are kicking ass at the workouts. You are doing incredibly well. Your stamina, your strength, everything has improved remarkably. But you still just get hung up on the food. Because you cannot praise yourself and be positive about something. And that, for me, is gut-wrenching to see. Because it's like you're tearing yourself apart when you should be lifting yourself up. Because there isn't a reason for you to be tearing yourself apart. You are here. You came here. You left your house. You came to this scary redneck place. And you have been putting, for the most part, you're all into it but you get hung up on the fact that you don't like a couple of things and then you get this mental block and it does you way more damage than help. So can we get to another subject yet? <laughs> Will you just say, like, I yeah. kicked ass at the workout today? I, I, no, I didn't. You didn't think so? You no, just... I, I never think so. I, I, I don't look at this thing as you know, point A to point B. I look at this thing as a marathon. I have to continue to do this for another six to seven months to yeah. even be in the ballpark of where I want to be at. So why why be patting myself on the back now? Because that I marathon finish? has every day. Every and before day you point out success. making small goals, we've been through small goals. We've <laughs> that that's been like I, I swear to God, guys, like like you would have had to pay some. You would God knows what you would have had to pay to get like the what, what we've done for wings. I, I give these inspirational speeches like fucking daily. Like we talk about setting small goals and stuff like this. Like I've got a, a, a little bit of a knowledge about, you know, how to focus on a goal and, and work for it and strive for it and, and you know, put your all into something and feel pride uh, about your work. And, and that's work ethic. And and, and I, I said that in uh, yesterday's video. Work ethic is, is very important to me and it's something that has to be instilled into you it was instilled into me by my father, and and when he would talk about how, how hard he had to work growing up, and how no one, how he couldn't get, how he had to earn his credit rating, how he had to start so small, when he was like coast, had to get a co-signer to buy like a four wheeler, at which at that time was probably like three hundred dollars, and how he, how now he's you know he's got some eight hundred credit score, and he's he's, he's proud of it, and he talked about the, and that's just something I grew up with, like having pride in your work, and and. You know, when you put your all into something, when you, when you do the best that you can possibly do at anything, I don't care if it's putting a model car together, you can point at that model car and say, I did that, and be proud of the, to have the world see it. And, and that, that's, what I've, that's what I've been trying to instill into Jordy, and it's, it's been difficult. I think, like, you know that I have a, you know, a camera on, on my desk that we started out with on... Uh, FPS Russia, and that to me reminds me every day how far we've come, that you've got to have something, whether it's you watching day one of your video and then watching your workout that you did this morning, you have to be able to see and believe that improvement, and it's like you refuse to see that improvement. And I don't know why. So think about that and try and work out why you're stopping yourself from seeing how far you've come. Because until you see how far you've come, you're not going to go any further. Is that hot cocoa? It's tea. It's, uh, oh. it's caffeinated. It keeps me up. Mm. Green Is tea? it hot tea? Yes, it's hot tea. Good. Got honey in there? <laughs> there is uh, uh, sugar and lemon. Oh, I like oh, honey, and I'm kind of freaky French about my honey. Like, I've got to have, like, the orange blossom honey. It's, it's I'm picky about my honey. Titty. Kitty, did, 
<laughs> well, what was your opinion of the uh, sugar in uh, lemon? It's French. It's the French way. All your respect has gone out the window. She puts <laughs> milk in her tea, though. My wife does that. I, I don't care for that. Yeah. It tastes okay, but it looks like hell. It's awesome. It's the only way to drink tea. Kitty, are you making any uh, YouTube videos right now? I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's video. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about your YouTube videos, Titty? Yeah, Titty, I want to hear all about them. Tell us, tell us more, Titty. <laughs> Tomorrow's video is going to be me beating the shit out of Kyle. Million followed views. by uh, Wait, taking a, a, a will we get to see Kyle at wind. last? <laughs> I, she makes me wear the gorilla suit when she beats me. He will be in a gimp mask. You know, oh, I'm, I'm, oh no, wait, no, no, not gimp this. Gimp mask, gorilla suit, I don't care not what kind of furry craziness you're into. <laughs> I'm not judging. Dude, with that, that's the other thing. So, like, I think, I think, let's talk about some positive notes, I think, from the, from the, from the show. Besides Wing's really good performance on, on all the physical stuff, I really like the costume. I've always felt that if you add a costume to something, it like the mood, it gets people involved, and it makes it more funny. It makes it better. Anything's better with costumes. It, I, we've got. Um, the, see, what's the what was the costume in the last video? Was it Caesar? It was the like he was. Jeremy was wearing like some big ass afro. Yeah, exactly. Like he was. <clears throat> he was Caesar with an afro. But um, but we've got uh, we got a few a few cool ones coming up. We've got Gumby. I think there's a gorilla in the uh, the next video that's coming out. So uh, I think that's that that's been my favorite part of doing this whole thing. To be honest, is forcing Jeremy to wear the costumes. And make no mistake, Jeremy hates those costumes. <laughs> like like when you see Jeremy as an animal, <laughs> like stalking wings, that's something we made him do. And he's like, really? Come on. Come on, man! Can't I just be out here? And we're like, no, Jeremy, no. Get that gorilla suit on. And like after like a round of like hitting the mitts, Jeremy is soaked in sweat when he takes the mask off. <laughs> He's just like burning up. Like like Jeremy's really despising those costumes. So keep that in mind when you watch the videos, and they'll be a little bit extra funny. <laughs> he begs. It's awesome. He hates the costumes, and and I don't even understand. I'm like, you don't want to wear it? All right, give me the fucking costume. You hold the camera then. And he's like, no, I'll do it. I'm like, all right, then. No, stop being a bitch. Stop being a bitch. But, but, but seriously, though, Jeremy has been really cool uh, the whole way through. Um, he's done everything we've asked him to, and he's always really quick to you know, run, grab something, or you know, do anything we've asked him to do. When you say so, Wings, Jeremy's pretty awesome as far as helping us with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> the seal of approval from Wings. Anything in particular that, Wayne, that, that Jeremy has done to impress you with his diligence, like maybe changing your brakes and, you know, I'm detailing your car tomorrow? That, Fair enough. Job. Fair enough. I, I, I'm sorry that my associates don't with detail and change your brakes. <laughs> Complimentary. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, man. So, did anyone see the Bat Kid thing today? That was cool. That was really sweet. Tell, run it, run it down for us, Kitty. Uh, a five-year-old boy called Miles uh, was a cancer survivor, and his leukemia is, which I know, is separate. He had both. Um, went into remission, and his wish with the Make-A-Wish Foundation was to become a superhero. So, Make-A-Wish Foundation, in collaboration with San Francisco, turned San Francisco into Gotham City, and um, did a load of missions. Like he had to go and stop a bank being robbed from. Uh, I think it was the penguin, and then uh, the Riddler had tied a woman to the train tracks, and he, the Bat Kid with adult Batman, went around the city saving the day, and a couple of people had loaned Lamborghinis out to be done up like the Batmobile for the day, and uh, probably the only Lamborghinis you'll ever see with a booster seat. Um, but it was it was epic, and social media kind of came alive with support. They had like 11,000 make a wish volunteers to do this mission as well as the police departments and the fire departments and everything like that but what was cool was tens of thousands of other people turned out in support all with like you know save the day back you know back kid and things like that so it was just great to see this like five-year-old's dream come true even the justice department got involved and did like a fake indictment it was really cute government can a, work together I have a related story uh, on the That's make great. a wish foundation yeah. There was someone who wanted to play, I guess, Call of Duty with the Optic Gaming team. 
And they actually had a Make a Wish kid come to the house and hang out with them and do that. Oh, that's thing. really cool because those guys are so well set up to just do that for them. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I, that's perfect. I bet that was an awesome day. I, yeah, and they did it right. You know, they gave them their full attention and brought them oh, and yeah. stuff. It was really cool. I, 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 it must be an honor, right, to be chosen like that? Yeah, right? You know, that's really cool. I would really take cool. that really seriously if I was in their oh, position. Oh, for sure. I think they did too. You know, all right, so Johnny Depp, I, I, don't, I don't care for some of the things Johnny Depp has said publicly, but the coolest thing about Johnny Depp, apparently he travels around with a, with a Jack Sparrow costume. In case there's any sick kids in the area. Really? Yeah. He's like busting into kids' hospitals like Robin Williams dressed as Jack you know, Captain Jack Sparrow brightening kids' days like wherever he goes. Like like what a cool guy he is, apparently. What did he say that you don't approve of? Was it political? Um, he renounced his US citizenship, which at the time seemed really shitty, but nowadays, you know. <laughs> oh, did he do it during a Republican term or something? <laughs> yeah, he did it. He did it because we invaded Iraq. And I was like, come on, at first it seemed like that was a good idea. It's obviously a bad idea now, but you can't you No, know. no. I knew it was a bad idea from the start. I was All right, hang on, hang obvious. On. It's great that you knew, Woody. I wish we had a representative like you on the Democratic side because so many of those Democrats voted, including John Kerry, voted to invade. You you you've got to admit that it's bipartisan. Yes, but I can't that believe way. how stupid all you people are. Yes, they, for sure. Well, okay, it, it, fair it, enough. There is a burden of proof that is it, the, the law of the land before you give someone the death penalty, right? You know, yes. you don't just say, "I suspect he might have done that killing." Off with his head. No, beyond any kind of reasonable doubt, you have to prove that this guy is guilty. So, what happened heading into Iraq? There was no fucking proof. No proof. Again and again and again. Hans Blix is like, I don't know, man. I've been at this job for five years. I've never found a goddamn thing. And Bush is like, well, you're a bureaucrat. Well, what the fuck is George W. Bush if not a bureaucrat? No, the guy's a bureaucrat calling the guy a bureaucrat. That was his insult. They said, we're better at finding weapons of mass destruction than the weapons of mass destruction finders. We'll find it for sure. It wasn't there. It never was there. The burden of proof for going to war should be even higher than the burden of proof for killing a single person. And it wasn't. They went on a hunch. They did. And they didn't even declare war, did they? It does not even matter. That, declaring war is so 1940s. Do we still do, do that? No, that's, that's the whole idea. That's why it's important, is that Congress needs to declare war. Because then all bets are off. When you declare war on somebody, I then, think... you, then you got drones, then that makes everything... Pretty much hunky dory within the, so, the rules of the Geneva Convention. But so forgive me if I'm wrong. Shit? No, I I think the way they did it, and it's a bullshit way of doing it. I may be completely wrong about this. I think what they did was George Bush said, "I don't need a congressional vote to do this. I don't need a, a congressional vote of war. However, I'd like to put the matter up for a vote. You know whether we should go forward with a strike or not. I think that's what he did." And I, yeah. I think that's been done I, since. I, I think, yeah, I think it was something like that. He's like, look, I don't need your approval to do this police action. Mm -hmm. And the Congress said, well, you've got it anyway, you son of a bitch. Exactly. Like, All right. <laughs> All right, I'll just handle it my way then. It, it was literally like, like he was like, look, this situation kind of warrants some street justice, as I like to put it. So I really don't need to go through the whole political chain, but how you guys feel about it? They're like, yeah. Go kick that guy's ass. All right, I'm going to go make it happen. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. A lot of people watching this might be too young to remember the start yeah. of the second Iraq war. But Let um, me just... Since I'm saying a bit of a son of a bitch, I'll give you that, but he was our son of a bitch. This guy didn't jump unless he asked us how high first. And that wasn't I don't know if it was enough. quite like that. He was kind of a jerk, but... No. He tried to kill Bush Sr. Yeah, I mean, you he know, that's got to... kill his daddy. Can't I'm you? not saying that it's appropriate what George W. did. I'm just saying, guy tried to kill his dad. Dave Chappelle did a great bit on that. I, I mean, <laughs> that you, you know, it's, I'm thinking with it, like, what if Saddam Hussein had pl plotted to kill my father? Well, first of all, my dad would beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Second, mm. <laughs> but so on a serious note, no, yeah, if I was the president, I'd be like, yeah, remember that Saddam Hussein guy that tried to kill you back in the day, Dad? I'm going to make his life fucking hell. Yeah, this Hans Blix guy, he don't know shit. You know how many bombs we got now? It's crazy. I did yeah, get it's like the Cold War again. Man. You know how much money I'm pumping into the CIA? It's nuts. And remember the shock and awe. Remember the day it happened, and I think I think I want to say oh four. You were cheering, it right? It was. We watched it on TV at school, and it was. We weren't cheering. 
But you were, were like, you were. The whole fucking nation was cheering no, like it was no, some kind of no, football no. game. No, I'm it was a somber office, moment. No. And everyone is like, yeah! And I'm like, I can't believe we're cheering for this. All right, I don't, okay, well, our school was much more um, politically correct than, than your workplace, apparently. Apparently. I would think with all the, yeah, those, I guess those Patels really wanted to show off their their, their American pride. <laughs> but anyway, um, at school, we were all watching, and we were like, oh, my God, they, they meant shock and awe, didn't they? Yeah, I keep waiting on them to drop one of those mini nukes. Yeah, they might do that in the desert. Like, they could do that, right? Like we thought, that's what was coming next. Like they were gonna drop a, like a, a like a tactical nuke in the desert to be like, you know, like within sight of Baghdad. Be like, we're gonna glass the city if you don't throw down your arms. Like that seemed like that was the logical next step. The way we were going, because we were blowing up buildings left and right, and they were all targeted supposedly. I'm sure some went off uh, awry, and you know, some bad stuff happened. But for the most part, those bombs are so scary accurate that you you're you're watching the city explode. And it's like a game of battleship. It, it's it's so strategically placed. It's, it it was incredible to watch. It was it was awe inspiring. But we weren't cheering. We kind of felt bad because I was like, it seemed like the what, nation what? cheered. I remember them having people to talk about the war on TV, and they would just hire these guys, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, let me tell you about the Chinook <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> oh, I like thing that. Though. Fires bullets this big. It's no, just, I love that. Here's a blue and white like picture of it in wireframe this nah, shit man, I love that. Ass. I right. love those wireframe drawings right. the architecture and there was nobody yeah. saying like ah oh, you know I'm not sure if this weapons of mass destruction I'm not sure you know if we're doing the right thing it was all oh, 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 we're doing our thing and we're good at this yeah that, that was yeah. there was, would be was, news stories about just how smart our bombs were that that would be a typical news story and you yeah. would and, and just like he what he described you would they would interview the engineer of like the JDAM bomb, and he would tell you why it's so accurate. And then they would show like past war footage of like children getting hurt, and be like, "This is no longer a concern." So at home, you're like, "Fuck yeah, man! They're just killing all those bad guys." George W. Yep. Bush spent dropping all right of on his their turn heads. talking about the liberal media, saying that they weren't on his side and that they were always giving him a hard time. Not during the build up to the war. No, his no. approval rating as we were going to war was ninety eight percent, ninety eight percent approval rating. That Serious is, question, Woody. If he had wanted to, would we have invaded Poland too? Fuck, did they have done anything? If he could have said that there was some sort of weird branch of Al Qaeda in Poland, and that they had sub sub uh, diverted the uh, the government's control, and and that we had to go in in a crisis strike, as he would put it, and like save Poland, I'd have been behind that. The only countries that the American people <laughs> would say, "Whoa, what the hell are you thinking?" Are England and maybe Canada. Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is like, yeah, that pretty much makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> this, this Japs need a good bombing. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, England, because they were on terrible. our side and always seemed to be um, like faithful friends. And uh, Canada, because they're nearby. Canada's great, man. I, I I saw a list the other day of like our favorability across like 35 nations, and I think like 28 out of 35 we were more favorable than less favorable. So that's good, good good to know that, guys. But but for most of the part, I, I just want to express an, an an American who's moderately aware on the geopolitical scene. What like I feel about other countries? For the most part, we like everybody as Americans, and like like. Even when we're sending like billions of dollars and we're going into debt to like your small island nation that's like flooded, we don't mind. We're like, yeah, yeah, send it to them. Send them. So we'll pay that back later. Get send them a eighteen billion dollars because they're you know. And we do that shit constantly. There's this uh, there's this radio broadcast. It'll be in the comments of this. Somebody will know it. But there's this Canadian radio broad broadcast of a man describing all the good things that America had done over like the last 30 years and this and keep in mind this was this broadcast was like from the Vietnam era or something and he he like he 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 tells all these countless times when America would like would swoop in and help this nation and that nation and this crisis and that crisis and it went on for like 3 or 4 minutes and then he talks about American crises or crises I guess and he's he's, he's like no one stepped in when this happened Nobody lifted a finger when this happened, and he's like, as a proud Canadian, I've got to say I'm disgusted with what's going on right now. And I don't remember what had happened, but there had been an American crisis, and nobody was stepping up, apparently. And it, it's really inspirational, it's really good, and it's really true. But for the most part, we're like 100%. I feel that, like, Australia, are there any countries that you feel negatively about, Woody, 
Because I can Australia, only... Australia for sure. <laughs> Fucking kangaroo humpers. You know those guys. Tell me. Like I, I, I was, I was, I was going <laughs> to list the countries that I that I like, but the, but I like all of them virtually. So it's almost easier to list the ones I like. Russia. Do you like Russia? Yeah, of oh, course. Yeah, all those countries. Russia. Yeah. Like, like China Russia? is the one. China is the one I don't like. Like China builds half our shit. Russia's been really shitty with their gay rights recently. Mm. That's despicable, especially with the Olympics going there, and the Olympics should boycott Russia. China, they're, also telling, uh, they're also telling America to fuck off about Edward Snowden, so good for them. Totally are. Totally are. So, a uh, flip side of the homophobic coin, if you will. <laughs> um, the Chinese, I, I saw they, their rating of us was like 35% favorable, so they don't like us much either, either, and, you know, fuck them for just really... Devaluing the currency. And I just don't understand the homosexual thing. Do the people do they think we're not having enough babies? Do you think like gay rights is gonna like gay people are gonna take over like whole civilizations and like our population is gonna dwindle? Yes. I just sit back and chill. <laughs> Even though I'm seven thousand years old, once my fellow old brethren die off, all this problem solves itself. The real people who are stopping the advancement of any kind of uh, gay rights type movement, they're ten years away from death. Don't just hang in there, kids. It'll be fine. I feel like gay. I feel like gay rights has already happened. Like the movement's there. It's just. It's just gonna take time. Just like I feel like weed is already legal. It's just got the wheels move so slowly that it's gonna take another ten years before they finally push yeah, through. I, that, I, in I, this country, yeah, but it's very different in other countries. Places like South Africa, they still do electroshock therapy if you're. If you're gay, there are still countries where you will be killed or jailed for life and or even hard labor for being gay. You, you're seeing things from a U.S. perspective. It's very different around the I world. Just, I just don't understand about Wait. being gay is that bad of a thing. You need to tell me there's other countries? <laughs> <laughs> I yes. saw a thing the other day. I guess the U.N. recognizes, um, well, like, like if you're in a country where you'll be Korea. killed for being gay, well, you that can't out. be turned away from other countries because of uh, your... That's cool. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Gay thing? We're going to say Kyle likes North Korea because he likes all countries. But uh, I don't like. Uh, that's another one I'm I'm, I'm negative about. And, and for and, but it's really complicated. North, the, we've talked about the North Korea issue before, and it's a multifaceted I, pile of worms. When I look at the North Korea versus the American relationship, it's that quote, man. It's you know everybody pities the weak, but jealousy is earned. And, mm. and when, when I think about North Korea, like, I don't hate them. I'm not mad at them. I just feel sorry for their population. You know, they, they, if they had been born in a better country, they might be better off. They're starving. They're not producing. They're not getting things done. They're stuck in this brainwashed groupthink atmosphere. And, and they hate us because they don't know any better or they're jealous or something. It, it, the brainwash. Oh, totally. It's a big, I think it's the biggest cult in the world. Biggest cult it's in the really world. scary. Like, like 28 that. million, I think. So, you know, how do I feel about North Korea? Point. You know, I pity them. That sucks. I'm glad you don't know any You can't better. save yeah, them. Sorry That's what's worse. Yeah, because they what? don't know any better. You can't save them either because they don't know any better. The whole population you know, that's a will go into psychological <clears throat> shock. The other, thing, the other thing, though, is it's difficult to tell the, uh, the ones who are just acting and the ones are, who are actually fanatical. Now, But I will tell you this story. I, saw, I read on Reddit the other day that a woman drowned while diving into a river after a photograph of the, the dear leader. She jumped into a raging river to save a painting of Kim Jong-un. And she died. So some of them actually believe it, which is terrifying. Yeah, well, you think Jesus Christ could get an 18 in golf? Come on now. <laughs> One stroke while he stood on a pond. You can't have one stroke. Hmm. There's 18 holes. He's Jesus Christ. Just yeah. bounce from hole to hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys see uh, the old, old Obama <laughs> trying to sit there apologizing about Obamacare's website just sucking complete ass? Would you guys look at the link I put in the chat? No, but what happened with that, Wings? It's a good link. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally watching. Uh -oh. link wait, right now. wait. Uh, wait, does he have a... Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, my. Woody, I hate you. You love it. It's the fact that you even saw that. Oh, he has an erection. Uh. <laughs> he has a boner. All right. <clears throat> Before we prejudge this guy, do we know this fighter's name? His name is... I'm going to do my best. 
Will Campuzano or War Campuzano? He might like just that? be packing some heat, y'all. He might. Yeah, I, that's what I'm looking like into. That. I'm like, right. is this guy always like For this? You guys, so I'm Google you, imaging this. You have this. to put this in the description. What, of what uh, they're not gonna know. I was just going to lean on the comments. For you. Go ahead, link it up, find it. This is for UFC 167. It's Sergio Pettis versus Will Campuzano's weigh-in. And there's a, you know, video GIF. GIF. Oh, I'm man, looking at a GIF in particular. Will here is fully torqued. This guy. Oh, Russia <laughs> would not approve of this gift. <laughs> I'm look, this guy Dude, gets I'm just looking at scale. another photo of him. Uh-huh. All right, let me see. Here's the, I've, I've solved the issue. This, I think this guy's packing heat because I'm looking at this other photo, and it's so large that he's got it, like, tucked to the left, and link I can it. make out what's this. going on. Link it. I need, I, I, hang on. We hang need on. to do some CSI erection detection. I don't, I don't know anybody's. I don't know anybody's junk that sticks out like that. Like, oh, man. Oh, that's that's well. called an erection where I come from. Just, I'm, I'm just saying, the guy you got really and, and tight like, pants on. It, you just might have like 18 inches stuffed in there. It's just like bulging out. It's not that, but I, I think I'm wanting to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm saying it, it's got to affect his ground game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're doing this. Make it more intimidating, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, Wings? How'd you like to feel that on your back? <laughs> I'd imagine, imagine getting face planted with that happening down oh, there. I, Oh, this is me tapping out. I would be tapping out too as soon as I got place planted. Kyle, did you give the link yet? I I, I lost it. I, I just Google imaged him, and there, it's him holding a belt. You sure it's a belt? Google images links. <laughs> I don't know. I got photo. Oops. I clicked Lefty the looks button. ashamed. I think he's got something on his screen that none of us are I aware have of. photographic evidence mm. of erection, and you have nothing to dispute it. I Fair rest enough. my case. Fair enough. You win. <laughs> it looks like an erection. I can't even begin to spell this man's name. You it's, know what? The, it's it's so, with a Z. I'm having fun with it, but in all reality, I'm not judging him. Who hasn't had an erection where it is inappropriate? I, I can remember. I haven't. The best ones are when you're in school. Fair point, Titty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, my channel is going to be full of that for months now. Thanks. Yeah, it's the service guys. I offer. Ask yeah, lefty. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lefty. Uh, um, what's like? Oh, oh I, I don't know. Yeah. So, and I like how everyone in the room, like everyone's ignoring that he's not fully torqued in skin tight underwear. Maybe they didn't notice. How can they really? not? Kyle. Did you not notice? Did anyone on this I, call? It. To be honest, I didn't at first until she said something. Really? All right. So I, imagine I really this: the, the the thing cuts off where he stood on the scale, faced the crowd, and flexed both biceps. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Can you make me that? <laughs> well, they all do that. <laughs> I just look at what Wings put in the chat. What, yeah, wait. Okay, doing? I'm reading this out. Wing said in the chat, we should have Jeremy have an erection. Uh, you finish it? <laughs> in the tug of war standoff. But the, the last tug of war, it just makes it sound so much worse. <laughs> it's more cinematography. We... You know, you, you get to the point where you're doing like the weigh in, kind of looking at each other, and then you pan out, and Jeremy's got this huge erection. Are you having dreams about Jeremy with a gigantic erection? No, I'm trying. To, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. You know, what's the word I'm looking? You just for leave here? the set to me, Wings. I'll take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Goodness. Wings, I have a question. People yeah. ask me sometimes. You remember the five thousand dollar porn roll? Yeah. Where, where do you stand on that now? I'm not doing that. You're not doing. That's off the table. That's been off the table since. Well, I don't like, think you've ever said it before. Why would I do that? I mean, like, I'm nowhere in the shape I need to be to be in a porn. Five thousand reasons. Five thousand dollars ain't a lot of money, especially after American taxes come out of it. Okay. And uh, also, have you seen my before pictures? Um, no. But I mean, I, I see you all the time. You didn't see me the, the before pictures I took and put it on Facebook. Let me find them for you. No, I didn't see that. I saw wings, but I'm curious. I have seen wings in various stages of undress, and I still want to see the porno. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I want to see the porno. I want to see the thick six. I'm this has come from interested. people who tell me to close the bathroom door. Come on I'm now. I'm especially interested in the gigantic testicles. Oh yeah, you got to close that fucking door. That's going to become like a serious problem. You get, that, that doesn't need to happen anymore. Wings has mentioned <laughs> several times he has giant balls, and I'm curious about that. I'm Funny not. Enough, I'm not. <laughs> nah, nah. If I see them all, he's a prude. <laughs> Wings is disgusting sometimes with some of the stuff he'll say. So you, that that's what it is. Oh, really? You, you're just figuring this out now? Yeah, huh? yeah. Just just so everyone knows. <laughs> I have a pretty open mind when it comes to things. Wings, but Wings, Wings should be Wings, proud that he can Wings make told me told me. Wings told me in private that he had, quote, blown out his asshole doing squats and was now shitting blood. And I thought it was a secret, but he had told each, all three of us in private at different times. And we well, all knew it. We all knew the whole story. And, so, like, when I asked him to stop, he continued in more detail. Like, Oh, wait. Here's Wings' before picture. Let's see. <laughs> I, I guess, took this. Like, day two or three of the boot camp. Nice. You know I what? Those. The uh, the podcast is in luck. All right, so this is Wings's before picture. And da, da, this da. with Wings's giant balls is his after picture. <laughs> and you guys don't see this, but I'll link it for you so you guys can. This is my impression of the Wings of Redemption after picture. Oh dear. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's they're blue great. too. That's great. Uh, <laughs> oh god! Just uh, enormous. It looks like Wings needs to relieve himself. <laughs> and and the other thing I told, uh, I guess we'll get into this, we'll delve into this just a little bit more. I told him, you know, I was like, and and the great thing is, like, we've seen all this support from your fans. We know now that if you lose the weight, they'll totally pay for the surgery to have any excess skin removed. He I'm was like, but it's. It, he was like, but it's twenty five thousand. And I'm like, dude, if it was for that, dude, we'd make twenty five happen. Like that would be easy. You, if you show, if when you show that kind of commitment, you drop two hundred pounds. Nobody's gonna scoff it. I'm, at, at I'm trying going to, to drop two hundred pounds. I did. We just got to work on the food thing. You're not going to on your present trajectory. Would you agree? No, I think I can do it on my present trajectory. As long I'm not, I'm not hungry. I see your present trajectory, and it's 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 lower than it was two weeks ago, and it's only going to get lower from when you leave here, is the way I see it. Under oh, under your current mindset, I look at it this way: a body doesn't run off magic. You only can weight plateau so long. It runs off bananas <laughs> and salad and Wait, chicken. But you, but you realize because because this is the point I was going to make earlier because you know there yeah there weren't a whole lot of fat people. In you know concentration camps because they didn't they didn't eat they they weren't given food trust me I was there see right. shit's fucked up <laughs> I love it <laughs> gold that's your one that's your one <laughs> it was um, a good one it was good I like it but those guys also weren't doing a whole lot of other things either they they were like that was a life you probably really really don't want to live the not that. eating I'm, to I'm, the I'm, point where you're losing weight because you're not eating part. I'm going to find something to eat, but at, at the point, as, as what I'm saying right now is like today I've ate two, I think I ate two bowls of soup and like some bread, and with that, I haven't felt tired the entire day. And this is we went and walked around the pastures, we messed with some cows, we drove around, and then we did a full workout when we got back home. And I'm still I haven't felt tired all day. Was I, mean, I got tired? I'm sorry. Was the soup store bought? Yes. Yes. It's those Campbell Selects. They're really good. I, my bet is that they are so salty, they're responsible for the weight plateau. No, that's a recent thing. We just recently started putting the soup into the that's, diet. That's what we've had. Like, like, I don't agree with the soups. He's been eating soups and bread. Like, like he's he's off the he's off the diet, frankly. How is that? The soups are like 300 calories. It's nah, the you, there weren't any. There wasn't any. I've also told you multiple times to stop calorie counting. It's not the calories. It's where the calories come from and how your body processes it. Yeah. Like I keep telling you, it's not what you eat. It's the source that it comes from. I never pretend to know that stuff personally. I don't get it. 
You know, they, there's a school of thought that says it's calories. There's a school of thought that says where the calories come from. There's a school of thought that says <coughs> what time of day you eat the calories. But you must understand that a calorie of fully, you know, if you're having 300 calories of something that's fully processed and not natural, that it's going to so, be tougher on your body to break it down in a way that it doesn't get put into fat. Whereas if you're eating 300 calories of something that's been made from scratch, from like organic fruit and veg, and you know what's in it, it's more natural, so, so, it's easier. So here's the thing. Metabolism is, is controlled by such a, a various blend of influences that it's hard to really get a good grasp on all of the, all of the factors and which ones are major factors. But it's, I think it's all of those things. It, it's how many meals, it's how many calories you're taking in. It's where they're coming from, and it's, ha it's at what time of the day you're taking them. I, think I don't it's say, all say I'm off things. the diet because I've ate like... I don't know if you put if you added every bowl of soup I ate this week up, it would not equal what I needed to with, sustain my weight. It'd be something like eighteen hundred calories. I know that's the problem. And how am I off the diet? If I if I could I could I could eat literally four hundred calories of shit like that came out of my ass, and I couldn't gain weight at this point. I could only lose. I'm not going to repeat the problem again. No. The problem you're saying is slow my metabolism. I'm going in start mode, and I know that's the problem. But the fact is, if I work through it, and I and I and I there is no working to keep you don't work working through it because you don't run off no, magic. You, you, you break, it slows weight loss down, yes, but you will still lose weight because body does not run off magic. It, it has to it has to get fuel from. You're somewhere. basically saying that you're willing to go at twenty percent normal speed on your weight loss because you can't eat two or three extra meals a day. And, and keeping in mind that your standard number of meals a day is one or two. And you're going to feel lethargic. My standard, my standard number of meals a day is one. That's what I've eaten in the last 27 years. One meal a day. That's bullshit. That isn't bullshit. That's I know bullshit. exactly what it is. All right. So uh, do you want to start doing math right now about how many how many calories a pound of fat equals and how much you weigh? 3,500 calories. Do you want to talk about your, your base metabolic rate and how the math just isn't going to add up? I'm not saying there, I'm not saying that there wasn't like um, you know like incredibly large amounts of multiple meals consistent. Not multiple fat. meals though. Like how many do, how many double quarter pounders a day? No, I, here here's the way what's it works. What's the like, what's the highest number of qu double quarter pounders you've had in a day? Two. Have you had more than three before? No. Really? You told me you go here's, you do fast for two meals a day, and that's what you get. Here's no, I usually get Zaxby's, but here's the way I put weight on. Here's the way to do it. Like, I we'll get like three pizzas, and I'll eat like two and a half of them in one sitting. That's where I put my weight on. I put it all in bulk, and it goes that way. That's why I. That's why I'm at 400 and like 40 pounds instead of 640 pounds. I don't eat throughout the day. I eat a lot per sitting. I, I just continually. You sit eat 55,000 calories a week minimum. Two and a half pizzas isn't a typical sitting. No, that's that's it's less. It's binging. 15, that is, I binge eat. That's exactly right. I binge eat. I'll I'll eat one meal a day, three days a week, and then that fourth day, I'll be like, all right, give me the Zaxby's, give me the milkshake. I'll eat that, and I'll come home and like, boom. Oh, they they have food there too. Let's eat again. Well, that's not so one big meal a day. That's multiple meal giant day. meals a day. Yeah. That's what you just described. See, that's the other thing. We can't get the truth out of you. You'll lie every single time. About what? Oh. I didn't lie. I don't consider that stop because I didn't stop eating. By the time I got home, the Zaxby's was done, and I went right up, right to the table and fixed a plate. You like I ate one, one meal. meal a day, one meal you a day. You sound like you're having the equivalent of about eight meals a day. You were just doing it in one sitting. Yeah, right. totally, totally. And and that's what we're asking you to do is break it up into several sittings. You're eating the way I eat, like twice a year, like like for one like like for one celebratory meal. I'm somewhere. not even doing YouTube right now. I couldn't even imagine doing weight loss plus plus make YouTube videos. That's it's got nothing to do with it. That's the other thing. Like, like, like uh, your time. Uh, I, I want to express this to everyone too. So you know, like, like his time isn't demanded upon. Okay, like, like our workouts usually start in the afternoon, uh, we, we, and we were, and our workouts last at the longest for maybe two hours. Do you work like, two hours a day, wings. That's about it. Must be nice. And I mean, you know, that's that, that's it. That, that's really that's 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 it. He, he he works two hours a day, and the rest of the time he sleeps. Um, he goes on some walks by himself. He does do that. He gets on the elliptical by himself, uh, maybe uh, uh, pretty much every day as well. 
but outside those two or three hours, there's you know he plays video games. I don't even play video games. I watch Cinema Snob. He watches the Cinema Snob. But you can't. Why take... aren't you doing YouTube, Wing? I I don't enjoy it. You hmm. seemed really jazzed at the prospect of how this could revitalize your YouTube. Well, it, it, the fact that, like, you ever, you ever wanted something lefty, and you thought you wanted it, but you really didn't? You ever want something lefty, and then you have to work for it, and you decide, fuck it? Yeah, the other thing is, like, like, like what, what we're giving him here is insane. Like, uh, you know, there are 100,000 views a video minimum so far, something like. They're all going to grow to it if they're not. There might be one at, like, you know, right below Last it. Is, but like, they're doing like, hundreds pretty. of thousands of views. And we've only put up like five videos, and you could totally you you see my camera work. It's not like we're operating on a, like a high budget. It, everything we're doing could be done with your camera, and it with minimal effort. Like 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 we, you could continue these videos. You see what we're doing? It's it's so simple. It's 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 childlike. You know, it's we sit there and we talk amongst ourselves. What what do you think we should do? What about this? Well, no, that that's gonna hurt this. Okay. Well, what about this? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's do it. Then we do that to your hands hurt, and then you know we rest a while, and then we're doing, we, we, you know, we pick the workouts. They're so simple. You have all the tools to do this stuff. And we're back to picking on wings. It's not picking on wings. I'm it's tired of hearing it. I seriously am. You're not going to slap sense into me. It's not going to happen. So let's just kill. Let's kill it. You're just making the show turn bad. Wings. When was the last time you had a Call of Duty video top 60, 65,000 views? I don't know. I mean, that, that that's a pity. That's those are pity views, dude. They didn't. That, that video wasn't going to do that until I complained about that. Uh, how it scared me that when my channel went back to gaming, that it wouldn't succeed and be back where it was. And then all of a sudden, boom! There's ten thousand likes on it. Is that is that like six hundred likes after three hours? We we've, we've already what? discussed like the YouTube comments and how vicious YouTube can be. Do you really think there's such thing as pity views on YouTube? Just like I love YouTube. I really enjoy it. I love that interaction with fans. But YouTubers aren't people who pity anyone. This just goes back to you not valuing yourself enough. Right, you think people are only watching your videos not I because bet if they we like got you Boogie and over you here, I bet Boogie would be fucking shining right now. Uh, it, this wouldn't be a sad conversation for Boogie. I wish you could. I wish you could make that happen. Hmm? Well, that I'd be happy and thrilled. Have you ever met me, Kyle? I've never been a thrilled, happy person. Think back right. to the time we first met. Think back. Think hard. Have you ever seen me as as a person that's happy and a you know jumping out of my seat? When you sold your truck, when you were yeah, I was happy because of that. Actually, yeah. the first couple of days he was here, he was laughing, he was joking, he was smiling, he was happy. He looked like he won't admit it, but he looked like he was proud of himself. Yeah, there, there was a video early on from the boot camp when uh, Kyle was doing a voiceover, and it just showed you walking around. I think it was the one after, it was the one where Jeremy pulled you in the pool, I think. And you were walking around, you had a hat on backwards, and you were just having fun. You were, It was just you walking in like a field, and you were having fun, and Kyle was doing his 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 voiceover thing for, for his part of the part of the episode. Yeah, happiness is small samples, but I'm not a happy person generally. I'm, never, I'm not going to be a happy person. Because you make yourself be miserable because you refuse to be positive. That's not like I refuse to be positive. I just don't see the point in it. I have fun all fucking day. <laughs> I won't do anything if it's not. I mean, I make whatever I have to do fun in some way. If I have to change where I do it or how I do it, I'm notorious for working out of bed because I love it because I'm <sighs> so comfortable here. I'm I'm in bed right fucking now. I love it. That's that's where I do so much of my work, and I always have, and I've done good work from bed. I always do. <laughs> And uh, oh, oh, God. but I'm just saying lately. Like, like, if if I were in your shoes, I'd be fighting so hard. Like like this this is such a cool goal to have. I don't, you have such a monumental task in front of you. It's the kind of thing that I, I I long for. One of the things that I'm upset with is being born in the time that I was born in. I feel like I I would have loved to have been some kind of frontiersman or something. Somebody who was like doing important things every day. And I feel like here you are with something important to do, and you you've got it. I kind of wish I was you in a, in a way that that I had something as big as you have to tackle. And and I and it's 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 interesting this this struggle you have. Nine thousand dollars in a month. That's why people are looking. A couple That's people, people making videos for you. You work in two hours a day. Uh, that hundreds of thousands of people cheering you on. Hundreds of people giving you money. And I'm depressed. It's strange, isn't it? 
Yeah. But I honestly, you're you, depressed because you want to be, I think. You're not, you're not letting yourself. You could not fit the number of people who are cheering you on in a fucking NFL stadium. Literally. You could. Mm -hmm. No, there's not. The stadium holds 50,000 people, Kyle. There's more than 50,000. You got 000. twice that. <laughs> you got twice that. Normal people are watching this, not YouTube people. Like, uh, friends of friends of mine are tuning in. They're getting their families involved. People are watching because it's interesting. And they, they want to see right here. They want to see what I'm legitimately thinking. And it's not, and I, like, I don't want it. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to go back on it. And, like, it doesn't bother me. There's times where, where you know, things. You see Cokes, you see Pepsi, you see everything. I don't go after them. I don't try to cheat. You see me try to cheat? No, I have not. I have not seen you outright eat something crazy, for sure. Definitely not. No. Have I seen that? I mean, the problem I have is eat under eating. I agree, and that's why I'm so fucking mad at you. And I even you. told you on the first week, like, this is bad, dude, because I feel guilty every time I eat, and I do. I yeah, you told guilty. me that, and I said, snap the fuck out of it and eat. I do. I feel guilty every time I eat. And I don't like, give a shit. It. I don't care if you feel guilty or sore or achy or if your butthole hurts, man. Showtime. It's game face. Be a man. Cowboy up. How many cliches do you want? Do what is, ex is, a, is expected of you. Live up to what people think you are because it's what's right to do. I don't care if you go back home and gain 50 pounds, but fucking work for these because it's a show. If you don't care about yourself enough to do it and you don't care about, uh, you know, me and Kitty enough to do it, at least care about, you know, some kind of professionalism or something. I, I don't care if you like YouTube or not. It's what you do for a living. Be a professional. It is where it just makes it like I'm ready to go home now. Like, <sighs> if, if I had my way, I'd pack my shit up right now. And be back on the way to Myrtle Beach. Grown ass man. Step one, quit. You remind me of a five year old who doesn't get the toy he wants when he's in the you know, in the line at Walmart waiting to check out. There's always that really irritating kid who wants that toy that's I'm not the that person at all, though. I'm a very silent person. But you're still throwing a tantrum because you're not getting your way. Not throwing a tantrum? We've got all these people here trying to help you, Wings. We're you smashing our this, heads. This, we're working on hour two of you telling me the same thing. Well, when are you going to get know, it's it your dumbass fucking yeah, skull that we are trying to help you? There are tens of thousands of people out there that are rooting for you, and all you can do is sit there and say, eh, eh, can't be bothered. Uh, let, let me just go and give you what you want. Oh, my God, guys, you're so right. I'm going to turn my life around tomorrow. Why don't you put these thoughts you're having in a video, Wings? I don't know, dude. I honestly don't know. I'd like, like to see that video. Like, put, um, you, put your thoughts. Don't don't turn it into I'm going to rationalize quitting or going home or yeah, whatever you want it. to call it. I thought but, about it the other day, Lefty. Like, like why does why is it so hard for me to set my camera up and talk for six minutes? Just, I just do it. I just I don't even want to do that, and it's like I, that's a hard hard for me right now. Me and Wings had a great conversation the other night on the night that he wanted to go home. And I said to him several times, if only you could vocalize this on camera. Because I wish I could have shown his fans what he said. Because whether he admits it or not, his eyes showed pain. And, and I know you said you were sore, but I, I think it was beyond that. Like, you had hit this mental block. And whether you not, for a few minutes, you were aware that you had hit a mental block. And right now you're coming across as you're not aware of anything, you just can't be bothered. And I know that's not true. I think you can, but I think you're scared. And if you could like have that conversation like we had the other night, but have it with a camera and read those comments on YouTube, I think that would give you a bit of an uplift. And I think that would help you with some guidance and stuff. But you just don't give yourself the chance. I think I mean you're you're these are great opportunities to to organize your thoughts, order your thoughts and your feelings and to articulate them. And it would it would help you from a perspective of giving you some kind of idea of 
of what you're really thinking and what you really want, and then maybe you can ha be, uh, you know, introspective about it. And it also can help your business because people also want to hear what you have to say about these things, and they want to see and they want to be involved in what you're thinking and and why you're thinking it is. It doesn't. I mean. If you want to kill three birds with one stone, make it a gameplay commentary. Say, hey, this is going to be gaming stuff. Just this outside of the real, real life uh, produced boot camp videos. There's that, and then there's just going to be me talking about my feelings and what I want to accomplish in this. And and you know, I I have this little voice in my head that says this. Just hit hit record in Sony Vegas and just talk. And just talk. That's it. You don't even have to try to fit it to a video. Just talk. And just go through your go through your head, go through what's what's getting at you, what's bothering you, what works, what doesn't work, what you think, why you think it, and be like, hey, I I don't know what to make of these feelings. Here you go, here you guys go, interact with me on that level. Again, don't try not to let it turn into I'm gonna rationalize going home or quitting or whatever you want to call it, but just here it is. Here you go. I think people would love to see that, and it would it would really it would help you emotionally. It would help you psychologically. It would help you possibly physically with your workouts, and it would help your business. It would help what you do. And then maybe when people see it and they love it and they interact with you on that level, that might even revitalize how badly you want to do you you want to stay in this business and do what you do. Maybe you're like, oh man, this is what I've been looking for. This kind of interaction. This kind of response. Maybe. And maybe, you know what? Maybe it won't, because maybe you'll just see Bob the Builder, whatever the fuck Builder is. <laughs> me. Maybe that's all you'll see. But you you can't know until you actually do it. And I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet what few pennies I have that a lot of people will be willing to interact with you on that level and make that kind of, make that kind of content a very viable option for you. I'd bet. I want to hear what Woody's thinking, because he has this look of disgust on his face. Uh, I'm partly looking for the next topic and doing a little research, but uh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking that you get the kind of support that I wish I got, right? I will make, you know, a COD video or something, give people what I think they're looking for, and I just get hated on and shitted on every video for months now, right? There's no one supporting me. There's no one on my side. It feels like sometimes. There is. I, I know that real percentages. But you spent years insulting your subs. You spent years telling them they're scrubby dubbies. If they don't have a 3KO, they suck. You spent years you know, blowing up on Twitter. And yet you have this level of support. They've all forgiven you. They've all turned around. And I'm like, fuck this guy, man. How does he get all this and I get shit on every day? Heaven forbid Painkiller already have a fucking beep in it. They will hang me from the highest fucking raptor for nothing, right? Heaven forbid I ever stub my toe. They'll kick my ass for kicking a table leg. You know what? You, on the other hand, somehow live this fucking charmed life where you can do anything, it seems, and they will turn around and line up behind you and push you forward. They send you thousands of dollars. They give you tens of thousands of likes. You get hundreds of thousands of views. You lucky son of a bitch. And then you sit there in your chair quitting repeatedly. You've got Kyle and Kitty dragging you forward, giving you the motivation that you don't have yourself, and you still won't do it. You won't do anything. You just sit there and quit. They tell you what to eat. They cook your food and serve it to you like a pet, and if they don't, you don't eat. You lucky son of a bitch. You know, you, you are living at Kyle's house right now as they feed you and exercise you. And the world is lined up on your side. And, you know, like, is there anything you can do? Like, you lucky son of a bitch. That's what I'm thinking. You want to know what I'm thinking? How is the whole world carrying you? The whole world fucking kicks me, it seems. You know, the, the whole world fucking... They're going to what? They're going to put up this video and they're going to say, Woody, you were a dick to wings. Right? If the positions were reversed, 
it wouldn't go like that at all, right? It, <laughs> all I've asked you is to come up with the, something that works for you, right? Like, hey, all right, if the seven meals a day thing that you keep grabbing onto isn't working, what does? And you're like, going home would work. Not doing anything would work. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. I won't do this. I won't do that. <sighs> How'd you get in the spot, Wings? How'd you get in the spot where the entire planet grabs you by your two arms and tries to pull you forward into getting what you actually want and you get to sit there and be drugged. <laughs> I have this mental image of taking a cat for a walk. You got the leash on him and you drag him through the sand. That's you. That's you. How did you get that? How did you get people towing you through life? Because I feel like in my life, I push forward. I push him out of the way. I have a crowd trying to slow me down and I'm not being stopped. You know, I, I, I've got a family, chose a family, love my family. But I'm the locomotive and they're the passenger cars, you know, in this life thing, sometimes it seems. And you are a passenger car who just got locomotives for free somehow. And I don't know how it happened. You want to know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking you should be worth it. Be worth it right now. Start deserving the support that you're getting. I don't think he even sees it like that. I think he's just still thinking, can't do five meals a day. No, no. I, I know how I get the support I'm getting. What's, what's, what's the secret? I'd love I, some. I, I have a semblance of a real person. You have a semblance of a real person? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel a like lot I'm... of people look at you because they look at you as a, as a Marriott of strength. And when they see a Marriott of strength, they want to try to tear it down. They want to test the boundaries of the strength. And every time you don't let it affect you whatsoever. There's never a little emblem of an actual person that comes through. You're not very good emotionally. Whereas I, I'm emotionally is pretty much all I can do. Like, like I live with my heart on my sleeve, and you know it's it, it's a, it's a humbleness that kind of attracts people to me, I guess. And and that's the only answer I have. I I I just want to interject really quick, Wings. Did you not like understand the context of what Woody just went on about? He's trying that, to say he's trying to say that you know Woody, he, that's emotion, man. That's him showing he like he cares so much yeah. for you and about you. Look at Kyle, Kyle's you're in his house. He's trying to revitalize you, Lonnie, and your Boo. channel. But Boo? I don't know. That's how I feel about what Wings said. It's just like Boo Wings. Yeah. Boo Wings. Everybody they, that was that was Woody saying essentially, no homo, that he loves you, that he cares that much about it you. It sounded to me like he feels like I get a free ride everywhere I go, which I guess I'm getting a free ride now, and I hate it. I don't like getting free rides. You're not getting a free ride. I am getting have, a free ride. Have, I'm in somebody have, else's house. I'm not have, paying any bills there. No, you have friends that are helping you. That's different from a free ride, and that's different from mooching. You have friends that care about you and want to help you in every facet of your life. You just, you can't bring yourself to be like, you know what, I'm going to avail myself of these things. You think that you're mooching and you use it as another rationalization for why you don't want to no, do this. No, he doesn't. That's a new thing. Don't give him excuses. He never said <laughs> that before. He's never thought that. But I have thought that. Wings is excuse mountain. <laughs> there is an right, excuse, excuse slide. I mean, and I, like I think about like the last year, you know, how many peak, how many good video ideas have been pitched to you on PKA that you just don't execute on. Oh, totally. We were sitting. We were sitting in the in the office of the night, looking at um, some white boy videos. That when white boy was staying with me, I, I helped him make several videos, and they all did millions of views. And uh, and I was like, yeah, like this is a video before white boy came and hung out with us. This is after, and, and we were looking at the lighting and everything, and how cool white boy videos are now. And, uh, and 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 it was like, you know, you should be gaining some of this ground wings. Like, you know, when people come and hang out with us, we. We try to help them make better videos and talk to them about social media and, and teach them stuff. And I was I done know, with YouTube you, in February. Exactly. I know you keep you say stuff like that, so it's kind of hard to help you. Because because I mean, and that's what I brought up to you tonight. I was I'm like like we were watching truthful. a white boy video, and I was like, yeah, that's my idea. That's my when idea. When Machinima like, closed the doors on that contract, I was pretty much done with YouTube. Oh, uh, this is before that. We've been giving you um, like like great video ideas for like three years now. You don't you you never do them. You or you half ass. We're a good video powerhouse here. <laughs> I, have, I like to think I have good ideas most of the time, and you, and you don't like. And when when usually when they get followed through with, they get they go pretty well. And, you know, I, mean, I remember your first Truck Tuesday. I remember it right. It was two days yeah, late, was... like 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 the joke went, 
You hopped in your truck and you held a cell phone toward the speedometer, measured it, uploaded that video, and you got tons of likes and support for it. So that that wasn't a Truck Tuesday video. I was uh, comparing the five three versus the EcoBoost. That was a Truck Tuesday video. Right. It was. I think it even said Truck to Truck Tuesday yeah. in the title. Or like Truck Thursday or something. Because yeah. It's like that video, and I know it doesn't say that. This All is right. what I mean about you pulling things apart that have no relevance. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's trying to relevance. give you a compliment and tell you about the short, you know, the support you you're getting. You have a level of support that you don't appreciate. Yeah, you're focusing on some specific bit of minutia when what you should be focusing on is the overall message that, that he's trying to convey, and you never do that. And it's, I don't know if you just don't get it or if you're just being an asshole. I don't like to be. I don't like when people set, tell me that something in it is no. It is right. Here's the video. It's what I said. It was five, three versus equal. But you've now destroyed the message that Woody was trying to give you because <laughs> yeah, you were more worried about him getting and, 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 the video. And, right. and Woody is like ninety five percent right here. I think. I think the difference is like it is 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 minute what we're talking yeah, about. We, we pushed <laughs> the idea of truck Tuesday. We told you to compare cars. We I told did you three that of it should them. be two days late and it should be on a Thursday. And, and is this the first one where you held the cell phone up? That's the one you're you're referring you're to. This. Here. Okay, then, but right. where are the other Truck Tuesday videos? Where are There's they? At? Three of them. The other ones did less than fifteen thousand views. And I'm looking at it, and you got five thousand likes and 155 dislikes. Yeah, I get 155 dislikes. It's before the video goes up. I'll get that during rendering. <laughs> <laughs> while the video's processing, while yeah. people are waiting for HD to show up. <laughs> yeah. And well, they dislike for no HD. <laughs> because how long how, how long does it take to understand? Oh yeah, HD takes a while if you upload. I mean, right wings, you you sit, keep saying you don't like YouTube and you're done with YouTube. It, what are yeah. you going to do tomorrow if you're done with YouTube? You're going to love real work. I've done real work. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, at four hundred and forty pounds. Yes, I have. Would you get a job now? What, what would I would I get a job now? No, um, I got. But you're done with YouTube, right? So therefore, you need to get a job. I don't need to get a job right away. I have enough money to carry me for about six months. And you think you can drop enough weight in six months to work comfortably? Doing what I need to do. If I have to, I, t I tear tickets. What does that mean? You sit, work a tear, you sit in a chair and you tear a ticket. Uh, and you'd be happier doing that <laughs> than you would working two hours a day. I don't. I, I don't. I don't even work. Th Two hours a day. That's the workout we're doing right now. I mean, like. I know that's the worst part. That's my point. <laughs> Would you be happier sitting ten to twelve hours a day in a fucking booth? Wings gets his YouTube you videos handed to him on a phone drive. Like, 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 like he, he yeah. works out. That's what yeah, he does. Let me, let me tell you this. Fourteen hours. I don't even like when you do that. I'd rather do the videos myself. I don't. I, you're you're a shitty fucking editor, and you don't know anything about live video making. I've seen your videos. They are horrendous. And you, you, you do things like leave parts in where you clean spaghetti sauce off your mouth. Well, then don't, don't sit but there and, and, and accuse don't sit there and accuse me of not wanting to... You make it seem like I don't want to do work at all. No, no, no. No, no I'm just pointing out that you that. were only asking two hours a day. Well, did you see my 61,000 video? Yeah, I did. That's great editing. It was poor. How was it if, poor? If I'm giving an honest review, it was poor. I've seen Wings do good editing, though. The knife fight comes to mind. Yeah, the yeah, knife was fight cool. was good. Yeah. I mean, but my 61,000 video is better than the knife fight editing-wise. It has music. The music goes, syncs together. I spent probably four hours editing that video. Uh, it might be. I didn't see that one. So I'm not. It's the it. gangster one where he shoots the uh, screens. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what I'm going to, Wings, is what you're saying is you're done with YouTube and you'd rather work in a ticket booth for 10 to 12 hours a day than maybe do a couple of hours work in your house that you can do in your pajamas after laying in in the morning. Is that what you're saying? This is I'd why young be told people shouldn't be successful. They're fucking stupid. <laughs> you know? I've seen so many people between 16 and 24 years old hit some early success, hit, you know, in some cases, big money, in some cases, just you know, an easy life. When you start tearing tickets, if, if you do that next, you'll look back on this and be like, oh my God, what I would kill for my day to be pulling Kitty in a rickshaw and, <laughs> and getting two football stadiums worth of people cheering me on. 
I, I, You're living the dream. I'm not living the dream. He's living the ungrateful mental block right I worked now. in a factory as a melter for so fucking long. Uh-huh. Hate hated it. I hated that job, and I hate this job just about as equally as much at this point. Hmm. Couldn't do that job in your pajamas, just saying. <laughs> there no, are... I could. There was a big old silver coat and a fucking face shield that went along with the other job. There are days when I find this gig to be tough, too, right? You know, I, I feel it. And then I remind myself, I'm sitting in my boxers at 6 p.m., <laughs> You're gonna miss these days, uh, you know, when they come to their end. You will too. Miss cabin fever. Miss being by myself. Miss being through the point of wanting to put a gun two in my mouth. Hours a day. You it's could... not about how long you work. It's yeah, about it what you're doing when you work. Because you could do three of them in a day, four of them in a day, five of them in a day. You could do nine of them in a day. Because working 18 hours a day, <laughs> not you impressive. You act like to I've me. never done. You act like I've never pulled a full work day on YouTube. I gave up on YouTube a long time ago. And it's a I, shame I, I, because YouTube hasn't given on up on you. I mean, I've got like over 4,000 videos on YouTube. They might not be all your standard, but I worked my ass off back in the day on slow-ass internet and shitty-ass computers. Mm -hmm. You know, and I worked I worked the entire day to get five videos up on a point one connection. Yep. As soon as I finished one video, I had to start on the next one just to be, so by the time that one went up, the next one could be ready to be uploaded. That was then, and, and and like the fact is, I lost my passion for it. But there's people all over. I understand the world there's people that jobs. want my job and are ready for it. I understand no. there's a motherfucker in North Korea busting fucking rocks because he spit on a picture of, of Kim Jong Il. But that's not me. That's not it. You can't compare me to that stuff. What you can't compare me to is a person that has done a job for so fucking long, six years now. He has. Mediocre success at it, and he's tired of doing it. You, you, you've had a great job before you did YouTube too. But guess what? You got tired of doing that motherfucker. The thing I bet is, you when you took that job, you were excited. You were ready to do it. You were hungry. <laughs> but am I wrong? Here's where you're full of shit, and and I'll ask you not to interrupt me so I can actually reply to you. The job you have is highly desirable. I know you don't want it anymore, but it is amazing, and you'll appreciate it when it's gone. That's what I was saying when I was like these young guys who have all this social media success and they make their money without working hard. You know, I, I watched a video. This guy threw a banana in a trash can, got a million views for it, you know, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, it, I hope that he knows what he has. You know, I, I hope that he knows how wonderful this is. And I know that you don't know that. You say you want to sit in a ticket booth and tear tickets. When you I miss get human day, interaction. When you get that, but what I was saying with the hours is that you can have all that. You, you know, if you just put in your two hours, made your video, you could live a life that everyone around you would envy. You can, you can get a gameplay in an hour. I know you can. And then you can make a video in the next hour. I know you can. And then you've got a job. And, and, and you've got a job that literally goes two hours a day. If you do it right, it takes all day. You can do vlogs. People totally want to see you do vlogs. You do them really well. You connect with people. They love you. They're even easier than gameplay videos. Yet you don't want to do it. You don't want to do anything. I don't. When you get this ticket thing, you'll quit immediately. I'll probably never even get the ticket job. Wings, I think you need to take some of that money that you were going to spend on a personal trainer and go see a psychologist. It, I've, I've seen a psychologist when I was a kid. I've then been like this my whole life. I, I've been like this my whole life. Oh, okay. I think Lefty's so, right. I, I think I, I think you really need to go commit. To, why? To so I can sit there and argue with him? No, so he can put you on some medicine. Man, no, I ain't going to take why medicine. Would you I won't take why it. Why would you go argue with somebody that's trying to help you because in your mental it, health and, and work through your depression? If Why I went to see a psychiatrist, it would be just like this. And I don't like doing this. No, I'm a, well, I'm a tr he'll be ten times better than any of us are. Oh, yeah. They are, yeah. They're, they're a reason why they're called doctor. And we're just called assholes. Right. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. Kyle Every is getting me are. not... Kyle Definitely. is struggling to get me to eat. A 400-pound guy. He's getting struggling to get me to eat. You think a doctor... You think I'm going to take a doctor's pills, like, on time? 
We're not even saying pills. I know Kyle did, but you know what? If someone can work you through this mental stubbornness that you have and maybe work out why it's there, you can suddenly do shit. Because whatever the fuck is causing these barricades to go up and you should just be, no, 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 that shit needs to go. Uh, that's going to be the worst PK ever. You go talk to this person, and it's just you and them. And you, if you're open and honest with them, and you don't try to bullshit. All right. I... Is there any way we can have Wings committed? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a show. That would be a show. We send the guys with the white suits in there. They throw the bag on them like Looney Tunes. Now, what we can do videos. is actually send them to like one of those boot camp things where they come those... kidnap you in the middle of the night. Yes, those videos would get a quarter million views. Yeah, Wings, you'd be rolling that. in it after them. Yeah, but they. Yeah. Were, they, they I don't even really like money, Kitty. I don't. And like, I, I just don't like money. Like, it is a necessity of life. It is a necessity of life. It is. Weak moments like this happen to everyone. You're about to decide if you're a winner or a loser. I'm a loser. It's all I've ever been. That doesn't sound like someone who needs to see a psychologist. No. No, that seems fine to you. You don't I'm think a loser. other people don't That's think this That's all I've way? ever been. He's got his blinkers and on again. And those people need to go see a psych... Those, I, mental health isn't just for, for psychotics who are a danger to other people or themselves. There are a lot of people that... What do you hope this guy's going to tell me? That he's going to say something? He's going to construct words? No, that's gonna no, no, make no, no, me no, have no. It's not, gonna, it's not going to be what he tells you. It's going to be what you tell him. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be when you, when you are finally honest with somebody about... What, what is whatever has happened? Maybe something happened in your life, or or about your feelings, about your motivations, about how you think about things. When you tell him that and you talk about it, that is going to be the change. It's not going to be what he tells you. It, there there may be coping mechanisms and all this stuff, but the big change is probably going to be you just just finally being able to just to understand that it's just me and this guy in his room, and he is legally obligated to not tell anybody dick about what I tell him. And I and you're just going to be honest with them. Hopefully, that's going to be the change. That's what's going to do it. Lefty, you're doing great. I I feel like what you've said is the most important thing that we've said yeah. on PKA Dr. so Lefty. far. Doctor Lefty, make it, it a meme. Like I'm sitting here <laughs> trying to get him. Lefty, will you please take off your headphones for a moment so we can get a good picture for the meme? No, my <laughs> hair looks like shit with a. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> it okay. does. I... Okay, we well, use the part where you pointed at the camera because oh, I like that. I like that. Do that, that little... again. <laughs> Okay. That's Meme the meme. Wait, let's, can <laughs> I give us a thumbs more? up while I, you do it? Could I'm, you give I'm, us a thumbs up in, in in frame while you do that same look? Wait, 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 what, wait, what, what would work in frame? Let me let me see what would work in frame here. The, uh, this. Uh. <laughs> uh, get it, get it more in. Get it, get... Uh. Closer. Closer. <laughs> Closer. Maybe maybe just one thumb. God damn it! I'm doing a terrible job on the camera. Just one thumb. Come with me. I got just it. Just one. I like it. Okay, right. so that's Doctor Lefty, and maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Friend, friendly, insightful, and look at that hair. If we're trying to actually <laughs> affect change, if we're trying to actually get Wings to do something, I feel like Lefty has proposed a course that could work. It, it, telling Wings to stop thinking like a loser, which is to say thinking like somebody who only comes up with reasons why it can't work, isn't going anywhere. Telling Wings that he needs to eat you know, three, five, seven meals a day, that's not going anywhere. I think we need to call in a pro here and there's budget for it, right? The people that donated to the make wings better fund, pay attention wings. The people that donated to your fund want this to happen. Go see somebody. I'm not doing that. We could film it. No. It that, has that to violates be confidential all kinds of HIPAA. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want you to, I want you to realize that I had MRSA to the point it was almost going into my heart before I even went to a doctor. Don't care. You think I'm going to... I don't really care what your excuse is. I'm not really interested in, in you know, what your mountain of I'm not going to... Then why are we wanna... still on me instead of on to another topic? Because, because we, we like you and we're your friends I... and we want to help then you. Why do you like me then? It's like, why is this intervention happening? Uh, How you... dare you try and help me with my life? How dare you try and better you... help yeah. me better myself? I don't see myself, myself as this fucked up person. I'm not Ooh. that... You don't think really? you're fucked up? Deal with day to day. Really? Because you drove here to lose weight because you weren't happy I with am, yourself. I am trying to lose weight. But I'm just not trying to lose weight the way you want me to do it. Because you're not really trying to lose weight. 
I just really hate seeing you call yourself a loser, Wings. I, I want to be a bodybuilder, so okay? I want to be a bodybuilder, but you get that fucking weight machine away from me, all right? I don't do weights, okay? I just, I just want to be a professional bodybuilder, and we've got to do it all through cardio. That's the only way I'll do things. Protein? No, I'm a vegetarian. No. Beans? No. No, actually, no protein whatsoever. No, not at all. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you're like, okay, well, fuck you. You can't be a professional bodybuilder. You're basically saying I quit. And this is the reason I said I was thinking about going home two days ago. I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time. Is it getting hard? No, it's not getting hard. It's not hard? It's getting easier because I'm getting stronger. Hmm. Off you the workouts. You don't make it look easy. I mean, I don't make it look easy, but the fact is, it was harder to do it the first week than it is to do it the third. I can tell you that. I mean, like, I'm doing a lot more than I did on the first the first video. Just go back and look at the first video. Stick it out so you'll be proud of yourself. I'll I'd be, be proud, proud of if myself. I stuck it out. But I, don't, I'd just that, be, I don't have that emotion. I'd be just as happy to leave. That's why this, I decided to do this. This is why it's difficult. We're dealing with a guy who's a self-proclaimed loser and says he's in, in a, incapable of the emotion or the feeling of pride. I, it, it, and, and that's what I said in, in, in the video. I was like, this is a bit like speaking to someone who, who's French. Like, I, I don't get these things. Like, these are... I, don't, I don't get these things either, Kyle. Like, when, the, when, when your dad and that, that other dude was so happy about my truck and they liked it, I felt embarrassed that they were take, looking at my truck. Why? I don't know why. Okay. If anybody viewing this, if you either are a mental health professional or you know one in, the, in your immediate family or circle of friends... I, I don't want you to try to contact Wings or anything like that. That's 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 all private matters, HIPAA, all that stuff. But I want you to show them this video. And I want you to show them Wings. I want you to tell them, just watch this guy and listen to what he says. And then, not make a diagnosis, but just ask them, would you recommend some kind of mental health regimen for him? Not to say what's wrong with him, or what, but just, is there something that maybe can be done or would you recommend this in your professional capacity because I, I I don't think for whatever reason wings doesn't see it it's it's not wings you can call yourself a loser all you want I mean it's your mind think whatever the hell you please but you, there's so much there's so much better than that in you and from you you don't have to do that. It's not. It, it, it's keeping Sorry. you from doing things that would make you happy and ease your life. But th that those things are, are are inhibiting you in your your physical transformation and your and your business transformation. They're they're inhibitors, and I, I. It pains me to think that you don't even you don't even see it. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know. You say, you know, you're not talking about quitting. You're just talking about going home and continuing it there. So from the night you talked about going home, I'm wasting my time. Don't be weak. I'm going to backslide. I already feel, like, feel it happening. You're in control of your actions. If I was, why would I make choices that I know are bad? Are we really in control of anything? It goes on. There's more of this. You could never actually make a choice. What you do is set in stone. Wings, man. <laughs> you need to see a pro. It's, it's, it's not. It's not even that, dude. Like I knew I was gonna kill my channel if I if I put my, that stuff in that truck and I drove home, which I was ready to do. I mean, Kitty can contest. I had everything packed up. I was willingly ready to kill my channel just to stop feeling what I was feeling. What were you feeling? Like I was a, a sore thumb. A sore Shit, thumb? We lost, we lost Dr. Lefty. What do you mean by well, sore it, thumb? Like, I don't like feeling like I'm, you know, just this... I don't like feeling like a charity case. I don't. I don't even like people buying my food. I feel like this is just a new excuse to add to the mountain. I really do. You can, I, you can, you can add all the excuses to the mountain. You won't. You I can sit here and for me all night. 
Yeah, I, I mean, like, well, here's a new one. I don't like being a charity case. You know, here's another. I missed the dew on my truck. Here's another. I miss my mom. Here's another. I don't like the diet that he has me on. Here's another. You know, I, I, I feel like those the money I'm making is just pity money. Here's another. <laughs> well, let me, well, what's the alternative? Me sit here and fake being happy about something I'm not happy about? I wish. Even if I can't tell you why I'm not happy? I wish you could experience just 10% of the joy that any one of us get from seeing you achieve something. I wish you could understand the significance of how far you've come and I wish you could see that 22 pounds lost as a positive thing. And that is why I'm going back to the you need to see a professional because no one, you should be experiencing happiness. You shouldn't be depressed when you've succeeded in so many things in the last three weeks. Depression shouldn't be even on the table. And that is why you need to see someone. And I'm not saying they're gonna pump you full of pills, but maybe you can talk to someone and they'll be able to remove those fucking giant blinkers you have on your head. I don't think, you that think they're blinders. Yeah. Blinders, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you said it earlier, and I was like, I let it go earlier. <laughs> it's not that big. While Come they're on. correcting my English, <laughs> at I like, least I hope you understand the message. Now he's being pedantic about things. I don't think I'm fixable. And I'm not going to waste money on some, somebody to, to talk to somebody. I'm not going to do that. Why do you think like? Why do you talking? minimalize it? That's not. It, I mean, that's that's what it kind of is. I'm but... a perfectly normal person. I'm just overweight. I'm not happy. I'm not a person that experiences joy. I don't really laugh at all that damn often. But I I'm not a person that's going to shoot up. I'm not going to shoot up a school. I'm not going to, you know, go off the handle. I'm just the worst thing I'm going to do is kill myself. From the inside. That's the worst thing that's going to happen to me. Oh, God. Wings of redemption, uh, not lefty. a harm to society. Lefty. You don't, done. you don't, you don't. <laughs> we told Wings he needed to see a professional because we didn't like it that he wasn't feeling joy with accomplishment. He took that as, dude, I'm not going to shoot up a school. I just eat a lot of fried chicken. <laughs> like, it, that's it's, exactly what it is. It's, and it, also, the worst thing I'm going to do is kill myself from the in. That's what? Yeah. Yes, white that's, coat. It's that's white coat. That's bad, coat. dude. That's it's, not good. I mean, you can live with it if you want to. That's perfectly up to you, but... That's it, nothing that every other fat person hasn't thought about. I mean, shit. Obesity is, is a silent killer. You're slowly killing yourself. <laughs> if <years>. only. <laughs> oh, come on, man. This, this, this I hate that bullshit. I, this, I, I, I hate thinking time. of, like... Um, people being overweight is a disease. It, I, I don't. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's it's, it's bullshit. It's, Why do they keep losing? It's the a back? symptom. It's a symptom. And, and 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 you're not willing to look at the the deeper issues. That's the problem. I guess people that couldn't walk because of polio. Symptom. I guess they're bullshitting. Symptom. Not and, being and, able and to walk is a symptom of polio. No yes. <laughs> yes. Not being able to walk because of polio is a symptom. No ma no amount of nonsensical medical jargon. It's gonna get you out of this. Like, like what we're saying is, you need to see somebody because, yeah. because you're you're not experiencing some basic emotions the way we think you should, and we, and you're just generally unhappy and depressed, and that's not a good thing. We're not saying you're you're Charles Manson. You always do this. You always complete like misconstrue things in almost a, a, a cartoon like manner. Like you go to like the most outrageous comedic like. I think he Far does that as a something. debating technique, not because yeah, it's he ridiculous. It. You know, like you know, I'm not willing to eat 92 meals a day. Well, that's why it's called a fallacy, too. That's why they they list it as a fallacy, not as a as a strict debating term. Thank you, Left. Doctor Left. Doctor Lefty. Yeah. You keep talking smart, Lefty. Ignore yeah, the I know. Right? That's what the guy <laughs> with the letter wanted. I'm just that's I'm true, a, I'm true. following orders. I like it. I like it. You're not gonna Nuremberg me. Can we take a moment to appreciate Lefty's hair tonight? Lefty, that is, I knew you were what do you put in it? What do you put in it? I just put the uh, the axe uh, a little bit. I do it when I when I Which get out one? of the shower. Uh, Which one? The, the red. It's like the stronghold. I just got oh. the mild stuff. I or the, or the soft hold. I'm gonna try that out for a bit. Okay. But, yeah. Is that the yellow one? 
Uh, it's purple now, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I, it, that's the clear changed. one, right? It's clear. I haven't opened it yet. I still, There's two, yeah, it's, I'm yeah. the kind of guy, I want to use all of something before I open a new one. <laughs> All right, all right. So, um, I got to so use yeah, a different one depending on how, on how long my hair is at the time. Can I interrupt with a yes. new topic? <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, viewers are in luck because once again we have found the best YouTube channel there. No is out shit. There. Holy fuck! Yeah, it's true. It's Thinker Games. It's spelled. Uh, I don't know if it. I'll put a link in the description because right here it in my thing it says T H N K R like no I but I'm not positive because it says I in the in the thing but anyway thinker games uh, he makes entertaining videos he plays call of duty ghost he plays grand theft auto 5 and he has a cool accent so check him out best goddamn videos on youtube go check him out say hello As of right now anyway tell him painkiller already sent you yes do that do that actually go there go do that go watch because if you're not subscribed <laughs> to him yet there's going to be a video that plays automatically click on that video and just be like bka sent me and watch that video just watch it unless it's a screamer then that's not cool <laughs> Woody, how? Tell me right now, on a scale from one to ten, right? How fucking jacked are you right now for the PlayStation Four? <laughs> so it starts at one, you say? <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the bottom of this? <laughs> hey, Woody, what's that box behind you? Uh, this is what you're talking about. <laughs> My... <laughs> Uh, hold on, I want to... Uh, so I have a PS4. <coughs> it's in this unopened box here. And uh, I'll get around to opening it shortly, I'm sure. Uh, it can, yeah, we're going to do an unboxing video. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Who uh, knows? I've been really busy. And I haven't opened this yet. But I have a PS4 on opening day. I got it. Who knows if it works, because apparently that's a thing. But, um, yeah. I'm just not so that I like <laughs> Can I make a suggestion, Woody, to continue this little joke? Why don't you put it on the countertop and have Colin open it? I... And, like, give him, give him something that... Like, give him something to open it with that maybe it might get a little rough. <laughs> that knife like, here, that use F this F garden F trowel. Vision. Use this garden <laughs> trowel. You know the thing that looks like three scraping fingers? Use it to uh, open up this PlayStation 4 column. <laughs> and yet, like, maybe get the dogs involved. Maybe, like, stuff some bacon in a hole in the box. Maybe have them drag the box around outside. What's that, honey? Oh, the dogs have your PS4. Damn it! Like, <laughs> that'd be a great video. I don't know what it is. I, I just... Like, I, I guess I was more excited about the consoles coming out nine months ago than I am right now. I was, I really wanted a new console two years ago. I was on the me edge too. of my seat. It was like, yeah. give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. This 360 I use every day is fine, but, you know, let's take it next level. I want next gen. By you the know, time the next gen rolled around, I don't Great. There's a console over there. That is literally one fifth of the PC I'm using right now. One fifth. Like, I, I hate so to be some angry. <laughs> PC gaming master race. I swear to God, I feel like the people that do that PC gaming master race bullshit are assholes. They're elitists. They like. They think that they're better as people, and that's not where I am. Um, and the downsides of PC gaming that they talk about are totally real. You know, config shit. What was the one I couldn't figure out the other day? Oh, Battlefield 4. Yeah, the drivers for it. Yeah, yeah it, I, I updated the drivers for it. I ran the game. I got three FPS. All that FPS stuff you're hearing about the PlayStation 4, nothing compared to my PC problems. I was getting three frames per second. Turns out you have to upload the or update the drivers and then immediately update the drivers again for some reason. PC gaming is not this perfect panacea that sometimes they make it out to be. Having said that, that PS4 is like the Dell I had before this one. So we looked at some PlayStation 4 COD Ghost graphics earlier. Mm -hmm. And then Woody showed me a screenshot of Arma 2, I believe, on a high-end PC. Three, I think, Arma, right? 3. Three. Arma 3, okay. And... Arma 3 looks so good on that PC that it makes me want... So uh, th that I'm much less interested in the new consoles than I am Arma 3 right now. Like, that looked badass. And I'm thinking, like, what do I have to do to my PC to get to there? You have it. Don't you have a 690 or something? Um, dual 580s. 
Oh yeah, you're you're fine. Is he fine? Yeah, he yeah, he can he run can it. Run I I know what's in his PC. He could run armor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Run You've got yeah. like 32 gigs of RAM as well, so you're set. Yeah, I I I don't know. Maybe I'll plug the look. It's still in the box. Maybe I'll plug this thing in and I'll be like, oh my god, I was so wrong. This is the most fantastic fucking Netflix machine I've ever seen. But I, I, it's in the box. It's in the box. I, I, You're a terrible I person. Calling that garden trowel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would. I would like just a quick montage, like three or four different like things being disrespectful with that PlayStation. <laughs> like you could close it out with you playing it and being like, in all honesty, kind of digging this new controller. This is a big improvement over the last one. Be like you could close one. it out like a gentleman. But I think it would be hilarious to take a dig at it and like like the dog fighting over like, and he's like pulling it away from you like come on give it back like that would be hilarious. <laughs> do you have I'm your heart set on that trowel. unboxing video? I do. But yeah, I'm talking, I, I, talking I, to Woody. Does he have his heart set on the unboxing video? I think that if I didn't follow through on what was just like granted, I think this is a great video idea, and that uh, there'll probably be people I, I, watching this who want it to happen. And I should. I, I just wanted to see you compare controllers like right now, like. PS4 versus like, the PS3. Yeah, that's what I wanted earlier, but he's going to do, do that unboxing video. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that unboxing video. I think you get I'm yours gonna... tomorrow. Wings is getting a PS4 uh, tomorrow around noon, I think. Yeah. yeah, I've used the PS4 controller, so I don't have the same curiosity. About... Like, have you used a PS4 controller yet? No. I've never touched one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've seen them a couple times. I know E3 was the first time. What's your experience? Um, You know, people act like it's totally different and that there's this new thing. To me, it's very much an evolved PS3 controller. Like this idea that it's much bigger and it's okay for like man hands and stuff like that. It felt like a rounded PS3 controller to me. Uh, I agree. Do you agree? I tried it and I have tiny hands. Like I have never met anyone over the age of like 10 with smaller hands than me. And I'm not just please, saying that. Please. Like it's a thing. And it is still tiny and stupid and I feel like I'm going to drop it. Please, if there's anyone out there who has the expertise to do this, I would prefer the PS4. I'm a console guy. I don't have time to, to mess with the PC too much. I, I'm going to get into it. But regardless, if I had to choose consoles, I prefer the PS4. I believe it's going to be it's going to be a better looking experience. I think games are going to end up being made for the PS4 and then ported to the Xbox. I think that's what we're going to see happening. Hmm. Regardless of all that, um, I can't use that fucking controller. So if you, if, if anyone out there has the technology to to make an Xbox One controller, even whatever it takes, oh, uh, an Xbox style controller, and put those PS4 guts in it, where there's zero lag, zero added, like um, you know, different differential, but I've got the control. I would Kyle, love that. Kyle, I'd pay for that. Oh, I had the same problem you had when I moved over to the Xbox. I suck with the Xbox controller. Mm -hmm. Just use it. You didn't actually suck. I remember, like, so uh, you weren't as good, maybe. But, like, I remember I'd watch your videos and you'd be like, I'm playing on the Xbox right now. If you look, my aim might not be quite as precise. And I play a lot of COD, right? You know, say what you will. Don't act like I don't play a lot of COD, although maybe that's true with this one. And uh, uh, I watched your aim and I'm like, that aim's not bad. You know, like a, on a scale of 1 to 10, my aims drop from like a 9.9 nine to a 9.7. This isn't really working out. That's just not what suck is. But carry on. <laughs> I, I felt like I sucked because when I first got on Xbox, like I was like a 3, I was a 357 on PS3, and then I was like a, a 2 starting out on Xbox. You're talking about KD? KD, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of it, I was just the controller itself. Like I couldn't snipe whatsoever with the Xbox controller. I'd hold down the breath, and then my hand would always slip off because the different sticks and stuff. But after about eight, six months, I can use them both. Like, yeah, I don't want to train for six months being shitty at Call of Duty. So if someone can do that thing I wanted, I would love you, and I would pay you monies. I'm just saying, it, it, you'll save yourself time. you get used to the controller. And maybe you and I could go into business together making these controllers. I got you a guy, Kyle. I know a guy who can do this stuff. He's probably one of the few people on this world that will be able to do this stuff. Bastard Brook. You're asking. No, it is not Bastard Brook. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Bastard Brook can drink you. Bastard Brook can drink you a beer. That's what Bastard Brook is good at. No oh idea. Um, Woody, I have a technical question. I'll do my best. Or well, I guess practical eventualities, considering the technical aspects of next-gen consoles. Is it possible 
that the the use of the ES RAM in the Xbox One is akin, not exactly the same thing, but closely related to the uh, the uh, bright ideas Sony had with using the cell processor. In that, it's going to change things just enough that developers, it's going to quote hold back multi-platform titles in development, and um, you know, while like let's say. Xbox One only titles will probably towards the end of the generation look a lot better than PlayStation 4 only titles. It will take longer and, and perhaps hold stuff back because they don't really know how to use the ES RAM. Um, not exactly. Here's my prediction. I don't think the ES RAM makes the Xbox actually better than the D GDDR5 RAM that's in the PS4. There are people who quote it and say, look, the bandwidth on the ES RAM is actually higher than the GDD, GDDR5 RAM in the PS4. Therefore, it's better. It's not. The bandwidth is only higher if you count it in a particular way, which is the fact that it uploads or you can read and write to it at the same speed at the same time, if that makes sense. So I think the number is 206, 204. I think it's 204. And it can do like 102 both ways at the same time that's not how cash is used right cash is essentially read from the, the idea that you're writing to this cash as often as you're reading to it that's bullshit <laughs> who would write to cash as, as, as often as you read to it that's not how you do cash cash is the thing like you know all right i have to get this thing all the time so i'll keep it right here well you don't freaking grab you know i'll need this all the time i'll need this all the time and just swap them out all the time that's not what cash is cash is the thing that you read 10 times for every time you write the idea that you have the same amount of bandwidth that you do on the PS4 because you can read and write to it simultaneously. That's just off target. That, that's not how cash is used. So um, uh, it's just not better. That's that's the answer. And um, uh, I think the GPU is just not better. It's not just limited by the RAM. I do think that the gap can close once you know what today effectively utilizing a cache might be a skill set that the game developer community is kind of getting a grip on tomorrow will be something that everybody knows so the xbox and ps4 gap will close some also the cloud computing platform that xbox offers is supposed to be much more and maybe the game developer community will just get good at taking some of that physics calculation and taking it off the console and putting it in the cloud. And they can close the gap there somewhat. But um, I don't know that they're going to be better than the PS4. We are dealing with slower hardware. Huh. And there's only so much you can stick in the cloud. You know, a lot of things need to be real time. The problem with taking your processing power and putting it in the cloud is it comes soon i guess you know you're mailing away for your physics results and if the if you're talking about a cape blowing in the wind as your character runs across the plains that needs to be now you know that needs to be pretty recent time i can't take the you know bullet reaction computation and stick it in the cloud somewhere because that needs to be right now there are certain things like lights and shadows that maybe you can push that off scenery uh, scenery um you know that you can push off but a lot of it needs to be really current and i uh you know what about I, stuff like rendering far off i can like fall exactly. out that's what that's exactly what i we're think that's the sort of thing you can push off but um yeah. uh i we'll see i, I the mm -hmm. it takes a more clever developer to leverage things like cash and cloud to do you know to maximize the xbox and uh you know but when they do Maybe it'll catch the PS4, but I don't see it passing. All right, graphics-wise, the PS4 has got the advantage. But what about like stuff like the voice communication and the Kinect software and things of that nature? You think that can like, you know, level the playing fields? You know, I almost want to turn that around and say, Wings, do you think the Kinect will level the playing field? I don't know how the Xbox One Kinect is going to work with it. Like, I... if they worked it into like every game and like gave like so. Wings described a scenario to me in which if you were playing, say, Skyrim, Skyrim. you could say the words um, "map glass battle axe, and your character would simply equip a glass battle axe. And in games like Sky Skyrim and Fallout, they have lots of menus with sub-menus within them, and you know, you're know you oftentimes in a battle, but you want to switch to incendiary ammo instead of full metal jacket or something like that. It'd be cool to be, be like Robocop or something, or, or Judge Dredd, and just be like, Full metal jacket, and it just happens. 
it would have to be really good and i don't think it will be right even pcs don't have voice recognition that's at the level that you're talking about imagine your frustration if you yell glass battle axe in uh, the heat of combat and you don't get what you expect oh if it fails if it fails more than one out of 20 times it's a nut, it's a non issue like it like, like it's, it, it's, it's no a good starter right it's, it's not starter yeah. Right? yeah um the one area where i think the connect might be pretty interesting if they finally really get the no remote control menu thing working, you know, yeah. if you get that mission impossible, is it mission impossible? Am I going minority to... report? Maybe I think it is minority. Mm-hmm. Thing. Yeah. If they get that minority report experience where I start sweeping the menus across and picking what I want and saying this matrix is had a little bit of that in the third one. Okay. Yeah. That's cool shit. If, if Microsoft gets that, that'd be really interesting to me. And as much as gamers fussed at their, um, like, you know, television integration and stuff. I think it's an advantage. If they have a better Netflix client, that might be the one I boot up more often. You know, Netflix it, would be really interactive with, with Connect. You, I'm going the other way. Swiping. The, the one that has the better Netflix client, just a second, I'm sorry, Jordy, um, is the one that might get my HDMI port one. You know, the one that can play my TV channel might get HDMI port one. And the one that's not on HDMI port one is the one I switch to only for games. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, I, was, I was going the other way. I was going to take all my PS3s and just use them as dedicated ex- Netflix players in other parts of the house. Yeah, I mean, my hope is that the next-gen Netflix player makes you not want to use the, the PS3 one. Yeah, I hope it's fancy. Yeah, I want it to be next-gen, you know. I, but in terms of a gaming machine, like, it's just hard for me to get excited about what the console offers. And, I'm still yeah, and most then, excited about messages. The, one of the things the consoles does well, the consoles do well, is they're like you know, attached to your TV and it plays in the living room. But for me, that's not where I game. Like I actually, I run wires through the ceiling and stuff, and I, I game on this monitor that I'm looking at in front of me. So when I switch to a console, it, it's the same chair, the same seat, the same everything. I just choose to use a console instead. And you know, so you have to be better at the other thing that I've got sitting right here too, which is a PC. And then it's uh, you know. The consoles our, didn't leapfrog PCs this gen. They didn't even go PCs, halfway. Well, our PCs held back by consoles because most games are made for consoles and adopted over to PC. Yeah, I've been picking the games that run better on each platform, and I think I'll continue to do th- do so. I don't know. Like, it, yeah, um, right now, Call of Duty. Sir, you're not. You're certainly not going to play Call of Duty on PC. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh my god, that thing. Easy I, decision. I haven't done it myself, but like, you can't find anyone who says COD runs well on PC this year. It's just it's just a miss, you know. But Battlefield does, and that thing's pretty cool, even though I'm not the player I want to be on it. Oh, I love playing Battlefield. I don't care that I suck. Are it's you fun. any good? I, do, I mean, I'm average, maybe a little bit above average, just like Call of Duty. You know, I'm, I can I'll I can put a hurting on you once in a while, not all the time. I need to step up my decision making. I mean, like I I can almost see my mistakes on my worst games. It's like, well, what do you chose the wrong place to spawn all night long? That's what mm-hmm. you did, you know? It, it, why'd you do that? It, it, you know? And I, I know my thought process, like, oh, this guy's in trouble. You know, it's a seven on two on one. I'll jump in there and fight side by side. Let him die, Wood. You know, when both of you are dead <laughs> yep. 10 seconds from now. You pick the bad spot. Don't make the same mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, be that spawn ninja, right? Push up. Get near the flag. Stay alive for a minute. Oh, and use the vehicles, by the way, Wood. This isn't COD. You know, mm-hmm. those vehicles are there for a reason. Get a tank and then play the game that the tank does well. Get a, you know, whatever. If you're on an ATV, don't take a tank on. That's not going to work out for you. And if it's not like, like my mouse and key, I, I just, I think I need a little more discipline. And mm-hmm. if I just bring that, I could get, I think I could be above average overnight if I just, made the decisions that I know I should be making anyway. The thing I learned from a from a good Battlefield player, I, I was just watching a stream, it's not like I know the guy, but hmm. um, he said, you know, a lot of people make a fuss about kill-to-death ratio, and like what you're doing in a game, and if, you're, if your KDD sucks, they're like, oh, you suck. But it's about the points. It's about the score that you that shows how you're doing in the in the server. Like, I joined a Rush game today, actually, before the show, and I was playing, and it was like the last four minutes of the game, mm-hmm. right? And I went 6-0 and oh because I got revived a few times, but I was, by the end of it, it was a 64-man server, I was number three in the server because all my teammates were around me 
needing ammunition, and I was just a support guy throwing ammunition packs down. And I was getting like 600, 700 point sets because the, the points add up, you mm-hmm. know. And like I was like all of a sudden I only had six kills, but I had like, I don't know, three or 4,000 score. Because you made everyone else on your team better. Well, I make sure they have ammo. Whether that made them better, I don't know. But Sounds... they have bullets and grenades. <laughs> Can't hurt. And, and explosives to throw at people. So. That's an area where I could get better too. Now, as you say it, and I self-criticize... A couple things a, a Battlefield player, Battlefield 4 player should be doing. You know, he should be sort of looking at the map and figuring out what the team needs to make them more effective. You know, mm-hmm. and I don't know that I always do. Like, I, I kind of look at where I want the team to be pushing, but am I healing enough? Am I dropping ammo enough? Am I dropping health packs enough? I should be doing more of that. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be a better player over time. Yeah. And it's also fun. God, that game is just so beautiful. Oh, and you got a Titan too, right? I do. Oh, it's so many frames. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got the Titan. I was really excited about it and stuff. And then I played and I was like, the truth is, 680 worked too. Yeah, my 680 runs it pretty well. But, yeah. Oh, man, just to say that you have a Titan. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel stupid to have a Titan at this point. I, I bought a Titan and then like a week later, the 780 Ti came out. It's like, oh, so it's $300 less and faster? Good call, Woody. Yeah, they, that's, that sucks. I feel like graphics cards go out of date so fast. They do. I, I should have bought so it. So fast. Titan came out, and I was like, should I get this? Should I not get this? I don't know. How do I feel? I wait like six months maybe, then I get it, and it's like I could have had it for the last six months. Now, I, like if price didn't drop or anything, I should have just bought it. I got the 690, and I swear, like I got it in the first week it was out, and I swear it felt like two weeks later that new ones were out yeah that's the nature of pcs yeah you know assholes they <laughs> took away my grin <laughs> my happiness you know who would never do that thinker games never never, never. not <laughs> once would he ever <laughs> think he was shit like that he's a cool guy plays grand theft auto call of duty you'll like him play. he plays the shit out he has of the enthusiasm i don't have he stole my enthusiasm yes he stole wings that son of a bitch <laughs> now he's the best channel on youtube <laughs> Wings of Redemption is going to go to him for counseling. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I feel like I've been bashing consoles tonight, and I don't mean to. I it, but if I'm to be honest about where my enthusiasm lies lately, I'm like, ah, what? The best thing about consoles is that there's a little. It's lower effort. There's lo- less overhead in your energy. You know, to do it. Also, it mm-hmm. it's cheaper. PC gamers, you say it's not cheaper. Um, I think they're doing some like funky math there. They should work in Congress. They're doing that doing that Jedi Zohan math. Yeah, they're doing that voodoo economics. They, you know, PC gaming's actually lefty. You're a PC gamer, right? Mm-hmm. More expensive, right? Uh, what do you mean, PC gaming is more expensive than console gaming? Yeah. Uh... No. Look at him trying to defend it. Look at his face. No, I, I, I think he's being honest. I just didn't expect this. It, I thought it was an easy call. If you want to have the best of the best all the time, yeah. Right. Well, of course, yeah. But you can right now for about $1,000 build a PC that is only probably only going to be outclassed by not the, not the next-gen generation of consoles, but the next next generation of consoles, which could be what? Five Eight years, years out, like, something like yeah. that. Your PC will, will last that long, at least in terms of relative performance. Now, your PC will be piss when, you know, eight years of PC goes by. But for right now, for a Geno, yeah, you can build a something that outclasses the PS4 and the Xbox 360, like or the Xbox One combined. Um, and then all you got to pay for games on top of that. So, no, not really. Steam it depends on what you sales. want. And Steam sales. Oh, my well, God. Steam, Steam sales. sales. Most people would buy a Steam sales waste of money, though. Like... Oh, yeah, because I buy games I've never intended to play. You but they're on Kitty's sale, so Steam. fuck it. Kitty has a Steam that's like this long, and all yeah, I've seen her play is Minecraft. No, I play Team Fortress 2. I play Call of Duty on PC. It's a free game, though. Play fr- uh, Monday Night Combat. So I, I have a Minecraft server. I probably never have mentioned it on my channel. If you guys don't know, oh. you can go to Woody Creek. You do that? <laughs> I do. I've, I've heard of that. Minecraft. I didn't know you did that. I've never heard of uh, Woody's server. Well, cool. that actually came you in. You like it? How do you tame a pony? <laughs> yeah, you give him an apple. Um, 
Oh. Anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, oh, Steam sales. Steam is incredibly successful with their sales, and I try to apply their model to my Minecraft server. It's like, how often do you have a sale? Do you tell people about a sale in advance? If I tell people, hey, the last weekend of every month stuff goes on sale, does that just mean that no one's ever going to want to buy anything unless it's that weekend? Steam seems to do that, though. You know they're having a summer sale and a fall sale and stuff coming, and they sell stuff. Do they put stuff on random sale? Like, how the hell do you work sales in a way that makes your business and your customers really happy about you? Because Steam has that. Steam is crushing it in terms of you know, business success, and no one hates them. I want that. I wonder yeah. how you... How do I emulate the Steam sale model? What, what, what can I learn from what they do? I don't, I don't know. know. Except just get awesome games for cheap. It's amazing. <laughs> They're all I awesome a, games. Usually. I have a question about PS3 since we're on still gaming. Okay. PS3, was they took away the backwards compatibility from the first big models. And later on in the console's life, they gave you the ability to download PS2 like, like datas. So you could play your PS2 games on your PS3, but you had to install like the the PS2 memory onto your PS3 machine. Can I interrupt? Yeah. I, I'm sorry, but I thought it went the other way. I thought when the PS3 first came out, it was backwards compatible, it and was. then when they went to like the PS Thin, it stopped it, being that. It stopped right, but now, but just like the last six months, they gave you the ability to download the like the, the BIOS of the PS2. Okay. And onto your console, and that, and now it will play PS2 games through the Blu-ray. So it was backwards compatible, then it was not backwards compatible, and now it's backwards compatible again? Right. I didn't know that. Okay. And, and I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing for, like, your like PS3 on the PS4, where they allow you to download the PS3's BIOS and play your PS3 games later on, if that's feasible. So. It wouldn't surprise me that the PS4 has enough horsepower to handle that task without breaking a sweat and just throwing stuff out there. Minecraft was going to come out with a PS4 version. They decided not to, and they're targeting the PS3. I think they're targeting the install base. This is where they think they'll get the sales. I just wonder conspiracy theory here, if they know that PS3 games are going to run on the PS4. So by targeting the PS3, they're targeting both platforms. Just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like backwards compatibility ain't a huge issue for me, but there's games I'd like to continue to play and not have my PS3 hooked up. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's my concern with the Xbox. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to give up all the current Xbox 360 games. Like, there are some great games. There's some out there. Like, I don't even play them very much, but I want a to COD be able 4, to. Yeah, in my library, I want actually pretty much all the CODs. Uh, I, I might go back and play the Gears of War like campaign one day. I want to be able to do that. I don't, I don't want to the... be separated from Halo Reach. <laughs> I don't think the world has reached the point where they say Black Ops 2 was this great, great COD. Um, maybe that'll take two more months. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I'm there now. I think Black Ops 2 was... I always thought all year long I thought Black Ops 2 was the greatest COD ever. And um, uh, I, I think I'm the only one who thinks that, but I do... Um, I don't want to lose it yet. And with the Xbox One, I'm gonna. I think Treyarch does a much better job than Infinity War, but I've always said that. Yeah, I've only agreed with you since Black Ops 1. I feel really let down by Ghosts. I know it's going around in circles, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like I shouldn't talk that much about Ghosts. I only have four or five hours in the game right now. Like, I'm slacking. But uh, um, that that also... You know the four or five hours I had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I say you could give Call of Duty another year, give them one more year if you're on the fence, because this was a first. I mean, NeverSoft did the single play. I was I was wrong, remiss. I thought I thought NeverSoft did the whole thing under the guise of Infinity Ward, but it was NeverSoft did the single player. Raven did the multiplayer pl with Infinity Ward. Mm -hmm. or never I mean, NeverSoft did Extinction Mode, one of the modes. Anyway, um, but this was this was a a, a ragtag team doing a title that's going to span two generations of console and PC. And so they had to develop for something that would run on current gen consoles, but also get an uptick. Yeah. I'm on, done with on the ragtag thing. At some point, your, your organization just sucks. Oh, did you hit a bump in the road in 2009? How many billions of dollars do you need to hire some professionals? Yeah, 
You know, yeah. since then you've had two and a half billion dollars in sale and four years to get your act together. I, I think, think I, maybe you're a bad actor. Yeah, I think from what I'm hearing, the single player of the campaign, whatever you want to call it, was really good. I've enjoyed I've heard so the far. opposite. Really? Because oh, I've just, only heard. Oh, okay. Until, let, me, let me tell you this. I have it 100 percent. It is atrocious. <laughs> atrocious. Now, okay. Well, I'll ask this. Do you think that your opinion is the normal one? Like, is that what everyone? Okay, saying? so so here's my view of the single player thus far. Let me just say this: it's really big, it's momentous. It, it I don't remember any of this stuff from the previous story. What level it are you like a on brand now? new chapter. Just let me talk. There's a scene where you're on the space on the space uh, station. You have a you have a shootout over this like space weapon. The enemy takes it and it starts blasting cities of Earth. They well, kill the 27 million people at the beginning. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's there's really the, cool. There's less than yeah, ten the group of guys that you are, that you're with game. the ghosts. There's this whole monologue that the main that one of the main characters gives, describing who the ghosts are, and they sound they're so badass they sound like like Spartans or something. You know, have you, like, just, have you met the main Wings? Would you please let him talk? <laughs> terrible. No, terrible. He, no time in the game. He doesn't. Even, who's the bad guy, Kyle? Who's the bad guy of the campaign? Uh, Rourke. Rourke. So you've made it at least to level three. Yeah. Calm down over there. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's um so far I'm enjoying it. I like the group of guys you are, and there's a family element to it now. Instead of you know, this is the lieutenant and this is the captain. Now the the commanding officer is your father, and your partner is your brother, and you're trying to get into this elite unit of ghosts. You are, and you know you're trying to earn it. So and I'll, they're just they're okay. super badass. Let me ask you the same thing, Kyle. You seem to enjoy the single player game campaign. Do you know is your opinion the majority one or is Wings? Because I'm. My friends, who I play Minecraft with, God, don't get me started, um, they seem to think the campaign is one of the weaker ones. It's um, it's not one of the best, but uh -huh. it's not poor. I wouldn't. I would say. It's, I would say it's a decent campaign. Just I actually, any... So I didn't love the COD two campaign. Aside from that, I loved, loved every Infinity Ward single player campaign. I, I, I mean, it, all of them. I, I would give up hygiene and nutrition to finish those games i i thought infinity ward made the best campaigns maybe in all of gaming like i really like those games and people say oh it's a shooter on rails i love shooters on rails oh it's predictable you have to do this and that this is fantastic it's like a skill-based movie that's what i want from a single-player campaign always loved infinity ward campaigns i'll have to give that i've been waiting to give this one a go for the xbox one I'll buy the ten dollar upgrade or whatever, and uh, and play it on the new graphics. Yeah. So the in one of the new elements is the dog, of course, and you get to control the dog, and like you control it through some sort of camera operation system where like the you you use it like a kill streak, like you guide it in, you press mm -hmm. the button, it attacks mm -hmm. and kills the people, and the dogs, you know, the dog's got heightened senses, so he stalks around much better than a person could and gets intel. The the review I read said the dog was actually really cool, which I wouldn't have expected. But yeah, that uh, they really only use it in the beginning. So, yeah, maybe that's true. Yeah. Cause, cause, but right now, I, if I press my left bumper, I think I can target anyone on the map, and they like highlight yellow, and the dog goes and kills them. Uh, I've seen that highlight yellow effect in the multiplayer. It's similar. It you realize it. the dog is out of the game by level four, right? I I, I don't care, man. I, I'm just talking about my experience about the game. Wings, Eighteen what? levels in the game. Wings is counterattacking. Wings I know, I know, right? Just saying, like, it's a confrontation. I, I, I understand your, your your value in Kyle's opinion, but he hasn't played the campaign. I'm no, I'm I'm here in the same house with yeah, him. Yeah, but it's you plays. though. You don't experience much joy in life. We don't know how much we can't <laughs> experience. We don't know about your opinion on this. How could you enjoy it if it was one if, space battle? If it was a, wonderful, an, I don't know. It's an annoying it. underwater level, and that underwater level is a pain in the ass. On Wait, wings, wings. Well, let me interrupt you. How was the fish artificial intelligence in in the in the water campaign? Well, it's, very, it's very poor because there is sharks that you can that can bite and kill you in the campaign. It's like, oh, there's other hunters out here, and like I got bit by one time because I went the wrong way. But overall, they're not going to fuck with you too much. But like, there's a there's like a almost like a dragon fire kind of movement thing you have to do underwater, and you have this rifle that really sucks. It's a pain in the ass. It's drudgery. It's what it is. Um, well, I'm looking my for problem fish with the campaign. Out of your way. That's how <laughs> I do. judge a campaign. <laughs> <They> do. <laughs> um, but my problem with the campaign is this: sixty or seventy percent of the campaign itself is really like Fallout Three 
gimmicky, busted up, you know, Los Angeles or San Diego, wherever the hell they're at, and it's just bland, 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 bland. There's no color in it. The characters are one-dimensional. You're in this war. It feels like you're playing like World at War again. You're running through like this trench versus Japanese half the time. And, like there's really nothing special you do in the campaign in, whatsoever. In Modern Warfare 2, it was the first shooter I played that came to a neighborhood like mine. Right. There were it's called medium density housing. It looks crappy. Right. But it, it's like that's what cul-de-sac and subdivisions are. Right. High debt. People don't know. High density housing is like apartments and condos. Medium density housing is neighborhoods and low density housing is like, uh, you know, acre plots and we're all living. I live in medium density housing and there were tanks and jets fighting in medium density housing there were there were there were people going door to door helicopters flying over cul-de-sacs it impacted me i was like mm-hmm. like yeah. my jaw dropped like i suddenly they brought the war home and that was really rare because the wars usually take place in some brownistan place you know i don't know it's the desertistan unspecified stand whatever you want to call it um but when they took the war and brought it to my house, it was really cool. Uh, it, it, taking it underwater in submarines and stuff, like, I don't know. I, I, I look, I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll check it out. I'm just saying, it, it doesn't give you that feeling ever. I like, shot people in space. Yeah, I like the epicness, too. And I felt like that's something that Infinity War didn't. Like, for Treyarch, if they want something to be epic, you, like, bring out a snowmobile or something. In Infinity Ward, if they want something to be epic, you you are in fucking space on like a space jet ski, like zooming around, <laughs> blowing up you know satellites out of orbit or something. Like they 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 do epic right. It's and a bit it, like James Bond. Yeah, well, you just you, you destroy that satellite in less than two minutes, and this there's less than ten minutes of actual veteran satellite gameplay. There's satellite gameplay. Well, you get to use the uh, the uh, the low satellite to blow up like some of your enemy tanks toward the end of the game and you got to destroy the Odin satellite there are some big epic game. battles that I've played so far where you're like defending a beachhead against a massive modern day invasion with home, crazy home battleship coming. fire and like a, like helicopters and jets and A-10 warthogs yeah, I'm, I'm actually saving the Infinity Ward campaign like a dessert like I'm, I'm you're really going to be disappointed like the best, the funnest stage in the game to me is the one where you blow up the oil rig and if I recall, Wings, you actually really liked the Modern Warfare 2 and 3 campaign. I did. I loved them. Yeah. I like a lot of the Call of Duty campaigns. I, I like this one. It, it, it's what it is. It's a Call of Duty campaign. Mm-hmm. But it's... Blah. Like, they did nothing new. I expected something fun and new to happen into this campaign with this new technology. Nothing. There's no, like, rocket a, you have to guide. There's this is a total woody question, but is it all gray and brown? It is all gray and brown. The entire thing is gray Lots and gray brown. Damn brown. I can confirm the gray and the brown. God damn it. Come on. I mean, the grass is brown and the trees are gray. Somebody get these people a box of crayons? Like, are you... the, color, the most color you're going to see is outer space. I it's seriously want to go and put like do like an intervention with their art team and see what the fuck is up with them. Oh my god. It's a bunch of suicidal yeah, like, so it's drab. Like red just doesn't exist in post apocalyptic America. Yeah, and my subscribers always tell me when I say like, Oh, it's gray and brown, rubble, gray and brown. Woody, it's war. War is gray and brown. Really? Is there some freaking like borderland sucker? Apocalyptic and it's shiny. <laughs> like, does the grass die in war? Do, do, does the sky turn gray in war? There was a chemical strike. <laughs> I'm just but, saying they should. Uh, it, you're still right, though. I they also, should. It's, also it's a, a video game. game. It ain't a chemical yeah. strike, Cloud. It's a satellite strike. They use no Odin. one cares anymore. There's a chemical strike in the multiplayer, though, right? Right. There's in the multiplayer. They don't chem strike in the no, campaign. No, they I use don't satellites. Care about your chemical spike. Strike, I mean to say, in Modern Warfare 2, they went to my neighborhood, and there were tanks rolling down the street. And... You had to defend the Burger Boy. <laughs> yeah. That, that was a, um, a Spec Ops mission, right? Well, it was two places. You had to, you had to do, one, one, you had to go in like an Applebee's type thing, and then you had to run across to the fast food, and you had to destroy the tanks with like the rocket on top. They did Wasn't it again in Spec Ops. Spec Ops. Oh, it okay, it was in both? All right. It was also a mission. Yeah. Uh, I don't recall. The mission was a couple years ago. But, um, yeah, that that's 
what I want from a Call of Duty campaign. Something like Modern Warfare Two. You know, that that kind of colors, that kind of Remember in Modern Warfare Three where the where the big Eiffel Tower falls? I guess we can do spoilers of Modern Warfare Three, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I yeah. like my fa- I like the end of Modern Warfare Three when you're wearing that juggernaut suit and the music. Yeah, and, you, and, you and then you hang Makarov. You never get that shit in the Ghost campaign. That shit just doesn't happen. Hanging Makarov was awesome. Like that was really like like the game was over, right? You're like, all right, it's over. This is where we are, etc. And then they're like, no, <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> and then you come out in a goddamn juggernaut suit, and you're like, it's go time, bitches. You've and got two just, guns. You've yeah. got two guns. One of them's a fucking light machine gun, all picked <laughs> out. <laughs> it's got like 300 rounds in it. Uh-huh. The other one is like an, a pimped out M4 carbine with like a grenade <laughs> launcher <laughs> and like 15 or 20 grenades. <laughs> And and they can barely do any damage to you, even on the harder difficulties. And you just storm in, and the music's like, and you're like, like, this is the fucking Matrix, bro. Let's get some justice. <laughs> it was so say this. good. It was so good. I, I, I know Wings didn't like this campaign, but on the strength of those previous Infinity War campaigns. You never get that. This one never deserves a chance. Never get it, huh? It was awesome. I, I, I want to drop a spoiler right now, but I'm gonna let y'all get that that disappointment. Yeah, yourself. man, don't don't be spoiling current the, the ghost. You're game. gonna be horribly disappointed at the end of the campaign. Well, I just... think I am gonna be horribly disappointed because I am gonna actually play it. I, I just right now I'm getting psyched about it. You know, it's... <laughs> I played on that that PS4 you got behind you. It's, oh, it, you know, but if, it, it loads kind of slow on the on the Xbox. You're only saying that because you're currently ahead of me in achievement points. That's why this is a saboteur <laughs> move. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that. I mean, I might not even get the Xbox One, and I'll be ahead of you this time next year. <laughs> I gotta get my wife some more Lego games. <laughs> I'm at thirty-four thousand. Where are you at? Step up. Right I think more. I could catch up to both of you just with the strength of my Connect game. Um, or not Connect, but um, yeah, my my Connect game collection. I got, I've got I got, I got Kyle, all kinds of all kinds of Connect score the other day. Yeah, we were stomping bunnies the other night in this exercise Connect thing, and 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 that's a fucking workout. You Wings, sucked. Wings, can oh, you I'm twist your chair so you're uh, on camera in the center? Thanks. That's better. Connect game's awesome. I, uh, I I did not like the dancing game. Um, Titty is a great dancer. She uh, <laughs> she, she she did like a ninety six hundred out of ten thousand, and I did like a forty eight hundred or something. I got yeah, but I that. couldn't walk the next day. <laughs> it was a bit of a mistake in hindsight. Yeah, they sore. They beasted me both of them. My I'm wife would get like a higher score than me while wearing a wedding dress. I can't even detect her legs. It's like she gets every step wrong, and she can beat me with just her upper body. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it would suck. We had this game where you had to slap rabbits, and I'm so fucking fat. That it won't detect my jumping. Like I don't literally jump high enough for the connect. Yeah. You can't jump high enough jumping. to register a jump in the connect game. That'll that'll change. So I slapped a lot more rabbits than he did. <laughs> you <laughs> both like, lost to me and Jeremy. We were the fast. I only lost to you team. because I I don't discriminate and I slap those fucking cows too. And I don't care I, if you're negative hundred. My, my score could have been a lot better if. Because the bad thing about that game is if you miss the first jumping rabbit, they give you that fucking jumping rabbit until you hit it. And I can never get it to hit. <laughs> unfair. <laughs> Kyle had like five grand, and I'm over here at 470 points because I couldn't hit that goddamn rabbit. <laughs> it's not it's a game rabbit, designed but... for five-year-olds, and you're complaining that it was too I hard. I own that fucking game. I, I complain it's unfair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gold, I'm a gold medal athlete. I'm a white boy. Oh god. Oh goodness me. I would like to see white boy compete against you. In, in some like in rabbit slapping and challenges <laughs> of any kind really why is it in my um, head why does my mind make rabbit slapping a euphemism for something like, I really think we because made you're a sick like, fuck yeah, I think if we put rabbit. like 150 pounds on white boy that would be about equivalent you gotta, put the, you, gotta put, you gotta put the atmosphere mask on my, like, the I feel atmosphere like... mask it's not good enough that he weighs as much so Wings you got the PS4 are you getting the PS4 tomorrow Kitty, yeah. Kitty, my homegirl Kitty held us down. So, what's your plan like, for recording? Um, I guess you got to do an HD, HDVI splitter or whatever. I, I probably won't record anything this month anyway. What? I went to all that freaking hassle, and you're telling me you're not gonna? That's not happening. You are totally recording. I made like fifteen phone calls. You're recording. <laughs> Now you None know. of this. You know what? Um, no, <laughs> yeah, bullshit. You're recording. All I have is Ghost Kitty. I don't give a shit. That's, That's all I got. 
Yeah, I don't even have that. But um, the game that's getting high reviews, does anyone know, Lefty? I, for some reason, I think you'll know. Is it Rezogun? Mm, no, I don't, I don't know. Can we, can we explain how cool Kitty is, though? No. Sure, Before stroke me, my ego, go for it. Me and Kyle, we went up to Walmart, and we got at Walmart, and as we go to the electronics line, I see nobody there. I'm thinking, score! Nobody fucking showed up. <laughs> like, oh, the line starts in toys. So we walk down to the toy line, and, you know, we keep looking at it. I was like, are they fucking with us? Are they fucking with us? Where does this line begin at? All right, so we finally find the line. It's actually in, like, the, um, the layaway department. There's six people, so I think, fuck yeah, score again. There's six people. And they tell us, there's no more ready for public sale. Oh, like, well, are you fuck? So we go over to the GameStop, which is right beside it. And then the la- the person right before us bought the last one. Uh-huh. We're all depressed driving back from uh, the GameStop. And Kitty's like, there's like, all right, I got the last one here for you. I just need you to see if we want it or not. So Kitty had called all the Walmarts, like 15 Walmarts in the general area, ahead of time, and then she was, like, monitoring them on eBay, I mean, Amazon, as they were running out. Nice. So I'm Best Buys. The game I want to check out is called Rezogun. I assume it's pronounced that way, because the, the O in the middle is a zero, but I, I think mm. it's pronounced Rezogun. And it's kind of an arcade space shoot, spaceship shooter, almost like Defender, that 80s game. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, the pace of gameplay is reminiscent of Geometry Wars. So... Probably the first thing I check out. I want an RPG. Is there any of those? Um, yeah, uh, you know, they're launch titles. It, it's like I was crazy excited about the consoles dropping, and a lot of the launch titles I was most excited about. I'm, I'm basically thinking about Garden Warfare. It's gone. It's not a launch title anymore. Um, Titanfall never was a launch title, but there was a time when I was mistaken and I thought it was. So, you know, that's a thing. And now it's like all the launch titles... Or just a bunch of cross-platform held back by existing tech, nothings. So they are they are morphing Diablo three up to the PS4. Does that excite you? Um, I like the game, and I wanted to play the expansion, and I didn't want to play it on PC. I feel like it plays better on console. I I, I want an RPG. I want a Fallout or a Skyrim type game. I might get this Assassin's Creed Black Flag. If you man, I feel like. I, am I supposed to be playing Fallout? Is this game? Yes. Is, how amazing can this game be that years later it's the one to get? Like, it's pretty good. Dude, did you see the announcement? No. Yeah, so no, they, I, saw, I saw something about a website. I saw yeah, they, they, they Force just, coming in. Zenimax has a website with a countdown on it, and it's just something like December 13th, and, and it has Morse code going over the back of it, and it's basically hinting at Fallout. So I, I, We don't know what... Is my transformation to a douchebag complete? Does Fallout have a PC version? Oh, yeah. It's yes, Fallout it does. 3. Yes, it does. It's superior on the PC. It's superior on the PC. Much, much, very much so. Mm-hmm. Don't pay 3 because you got a Titan. But get New Vegas. Because 3 will not work on the Titan without a lot of background surgery. I, it's, designed for that, a, yeah. it's designed for a dual-core processor. Mm-hmm. And like when it's, it struggles with like when you have like 8-plus cores... And, and forgive more. my Fallout noobness here, but Fallout New Vegas is not... Latest re- it, It's Fallout 4, essentially? No, it's, no, a, it's, it's like a it's, big it's expansion like of Duty. 3. It's deeper than that. Just, but call it New Vegas. Call, Fallout. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas is the, the one you want to get. There's but, a lot of expansion stuff. It's, if it's, it's an crazy expansion stuff to 3, to doesn't that mean it is 3? It's, it's not an expansion to 3. It's, it's, it's built all within the same. engine. He's... But it's a completely separate game that came out. It's a completely it. separate game, but it's it's basically the Fallout 3 engine, and they <laughs> used the same engine without like creating a new one and made another game type. They added oh, key, with it, kind of like COD does every year. But no, they added yeah. key gameplay mechanics. They added the ability to aim down sights and mm-hmm. uh, and and some other things that made it a much. It's a better. great game. Okay, so yeah. Fallout New Vegas is the one that if I have some yeah. time to poke around with, try it. It's like ten bucks right now on Steam. It's and you want to get like the ultimate super duper edition or whatever it is because yeah. it's got a lot of DLC. Yeah, and you get goodies that come along with it. 
Mm-hmm. I've been saving my money since the start of YouTube. I got ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna show up next week. Woody's gonna be in the same clothes as he is tonight. He's like, I started playing New Vegas. Fallout was Fallout everything was you said it was. <laughs> like, I, it was see, I, I don't know if Woody'll like it. He didn't like Skyrim. I don't. I, I, I bet. But there's a thing. What Fallout's was it? better. Fallout is better than Skyrim. What it was since Skyrim, I played another game. It, like. Better when I played Skyrim, the only kind of game that I really had appreciation for was the on rails game, right? Like Bioshock, I wanted better rails, but I really liked it. Call of Duty campaigns, loved it on rails. Um, uh, I wish I could go on. And I, I, every game I played, Borderlands, Borderlands. You know, it, my problem with Borderlands was that I didn't know which missions were in my mind only side missions, but since Borderlands 2 came out, since I started playing Minecraft, since I started playing you know, other games, like I got a little, I, I guess I understand how to have fun in RPG better than I did when I played Skyrim. I love RPGs. That's, that's Fallout the is the kind of game that's so, so you know, there's, there's three different ways you can play it. There's the main quest. You can stick straight to that. Then there are such a multitude of side quests that it's ridiculous. There's there's if, multiple cities, multiple fa- uh, factions, and it gets really complex. A lot of RPGs, then, if you don't do the side quests, you struggle in the main quests. Is that the case? No, yes. no, no, it's not. You can you can be you can go from level one all the way to the end of the game and not struggle. Really? I think what I thought what you were asking was if the, some of the side quests affected the the end of the game. No, so in Borderlands, for oh. example, if you skip all the side quests, you're going to find yourself underleveled. Your your weapons won't work oh, as well. No. You won't qualify for the right weapons. You need to spend some time in the side quests, or you, you know you're going to be it, using a piece. Between Fallout and Borderlands, is Fallout you want to be in the side quest, whereas Borderlands you need to be in the side quest. Yeah, and, and you you do not need the side quest at all. You could completely level up to a high level in Fallout by hanging out in the desert and killing wildlife. Like like oh. you don't have to do anything. Like you can max out shooting. You don't even have to you don't have to shoot the wildlife. Your your companion will do it for you. Yeah. You could just, I, I have often thought that the way to boost in Fallout is to like turn the difficulty down a little bit and just crouch in the middle of that um, that sandy racetrack where all those giant ants are and let Boone go to work. Well, he'll do that on he'll do that on on you know very hard, dude. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I'm gonna play it on very hard. Is very hard the top level? Not yet. Yeah, just play it on. I play it on. Play I play it on normal, normal or hard. There was a time normal. when I had kind of a gamer pride, and I, you know, would beat everything on the toughest level because that's the kind of elite badass gamer I am. Nah, no. But now it's like you know, I, I, it kind of feels like work to me sometimes to do that. And yeah, I don't want to be measured. I, I just want to have fun. Fallout on very hard. It, it's too much. It, so. It's not a sophisticated enough game to, to make very hard what it should be. Instead, the enemies are just bullet sponges who do massive amounts of damage, which isn't fun. So well, normal or hard is the way to go. If, if it, I'm hoping the next Fallout game, very hard means very smart. Here's the thing, Kyle. They don't, the numbers don't change. What happens is you, you take a percentage. and like On hard, you take negative 25% damage on your bullets, and you take 25% more damage. On very hard, you take fifty. I'm aware. So that doesn't, yeah, that 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 actually does line up with what Kyle said. I think. Um, it, it's just, it, it's just dumb. I feel like in Call of Duty, when you step it up, you just your character has less health. I don't know that anything else changes. Call of Duty, yeah, they're better, better shots, tougher. Is the enemy tougher? The enemies um, are you're way weaker. better shots. Your guns do less damage, and your enemies are better shots, and they. And one of the ways to do it is how long it takes your enemy to snap on target and how ferocious he is. Sometimes, like on very hard, man, it's it, it, it's challenging. I'll tell you, I, I, the exception of Black hard. Ops Two, I've never played COD on anything but veteran. It's um, it, Fallout is a really enjoyable experience Black because Ops you. Can, what I was getting at earlier is, you know, you can do the main story, you can do the side stories, or you can just wander the desert doing random, random crazy stuff like hunting. Imagine if I start participating in this Fallout talk. <laughs> It'd be great. It's, it's really good. The storylines are great. They're like they're they're really in depth side stories with lot with with so much background. And it's and better on PC. So, so yeah. the next Fallout uh, here, I'll ask this. I always thought of Fallout as a console title. Maybe I just embarrassed myself there. And um, it, like it came out later on PC. Is that not the case? No, it comes out on PC. 
at same, the same time. time. I yeah. wasn't aware it was out on console. Yeah. Really? Fallout it's, is a um, game you should play on PC. Like, it's what yeah, it is. there's numerous reasons why. For one thing, with all the new texture packs and everything, and, and everything they've done. Load, to just the load times, dude. Like, on, yeah, load, load times, times are severe. So, there's like a 10 second, there's like a 10 second between every door. True. Like, my PC, the I areas are all one. <laughs> I didn't like Fallout, but it looks spectacular. The, the like, I probably king. played it for, like, a couple of hours. It looks incredible. Really? The thing with the boy and the watch, the green and black screen, looks yeah. good? I just liked it. It yeah. just felt like I was boy, in the thing. Pit I boy. liked it. Fuck that. I got a I just... pit boy. <laughs> I wish I had a My pit boy in real life. I just didn't you can get make on with it. the game. I've seen it done with an Android. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, I'll be like, click, 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 click. I hate I'll to take get us all fallout here. talk. How fucking amazing are smartphones? Awesome. To, like, I feel bad for people without smartphones. It, it is like a debit card, an airline pass, a camera, a phone, a video a camera, debit card machine. a flashlight, <laughs> debit card machine. It we is... buy our movie tickets on the way to the movie theater and they scan our phone at the front of the line. A smartphone is like the entire world's collection of knowledge thus far in your pocket it like smartphones are freaking amazing I, I like i never saw this coming i heard about phones that had voice recognition that was what they pitched in like the early 90s like you know, someday you'll be able to tell the phone the phone number and i'm like oh that'll be so cool i played a game at disney world uh in epcot where you could tell it to go up right left and down and your little character would go through the maze, and you could play Snake. I played Snake that way. That was what they said the future was. The future is so much better than they told us it was going to be. Smartphones are incredible. Smartphones are amazing. I, 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 I like them. I agree. Uh, I think we all agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel bad. I feel like I've wasted years of my life before I got, because I didn't get a phone until right before Billionaires Bash. I didn't even buy a phone. I didn't. I didn't have a cell phone mm -hmm. until that point. I'm like, well, I gotta travel. I need to get a phone. And I you, feel like every year before that, I've wasted opportunity to have a smartphone. You know, it's so, so nice. So I have an Android. It's an S4, dude. I'm so likely. I almost showed a secret phone number. I want to not show secret phone numbers for one episode. Let me just triple check. You're killing me, Woody. I know that was me. The secret phone number? No. No, it, it wasn't you, actually. Uh, I'd have to look again. I think it was... I think it was Pwnstar.com I almost showed, but I won't. I'm just double-checking. All right, so I have this Android. This is the one that I have. And um, mo on my, in my daily life, the battery lasts all day. It's down to like 40% at night or something, so I just plug it in and I'm good. But when I go to conferences, like when I just went to Minecon two weeks ago or I go to E3 or wherever, Paintball, those are days where I feel like I'm on Twitter and YouTube and stuff so much on my phone that the battery doesn't last all day. And I've been waiting for a while. Like, should I get a new battery? Do, I don't know. It's like $70 and it's only useful like a couple weekends a year. I don't know. You know how much a new battery is for the Samsung S4? $5. $8. $8. Wow. For 21 really? I got this. This is great. I, I've actually got a spare battery, but it's only because I went through two of these phones. <laughs> so I keep this in my backpack. Ignore the little, you know, plug thing. But um, it, it's this. It's a charger. Let me put myself on the big screen. I've been looking for this. This is eight dollars. Or I'm sorry, it was twenty-one dollars. The battery itself is is eight, but this one came with a battery, and it just plugs in. It's good. This I keep it in my backpack when I go on these trips. And you just like whip it out and you drop in a new battery and suddenly your phone easily lasts all day long under toughest use. I, I um, one of the guys I play Minecraft with is he's in high school and he's like, yeah, that, that is like a really big deal for him because being in school, he's like, you know, I'm on a, on a, this computer all day long. This kind of where I live. And, uh, but he, you know, he goes to school all day. So like his smartphone is like this big thing. It's his connection to the world. It's communication. It's his planning. It's, it's whatever. And uh, suddenly for, you know, eight bucks, he's got a second battery and now he has all day battery power. Like, I'm kind of surprised. I thought they were going to, like, rip me off and make it a $70 yeah, it battery. It's not. It's I not. want one now. Yeah, they're on Amazon. Not... Kitty, Kitty, tell us about the coin. It's ordered. You got a coin? Oh, 
I, I got I a coin. That. No, it, you pre-ordered a coin. Yeah, I pre-ordered a coin. Yeah, so a coin is the size of a credit card. Um, you, you plug it into your smartphone. You, all right, you plug this scanner into your smartphone where the headphone goes in. You scan your credit card, and then I guess you scan your coin, and it's also a credit card. It looks just like one. But it can hold five credit cards, and your phone can hold, like, unlimited credit cards. So you could put, like, 12 of them in there, but you choose any five or six, whatever it is, to be on the coin. It's a credit card that is five or six, and you just press a button on it, like business card, personal card. It's got an LED screen. Private card. Well, yeah, and you, and you see it change, and you're like, all right, this is the card I want to use. You hand it to the waiter. They run it. It works with all the legacy equipment out there in the world. It's a credit card that is five or six credit cards built into it, the coin. And it looked pretty neat. I, I don't know. I, I, I hate buying, I hate pre-ordering these things because it seems like they don't come to life half the time. Yeah, I've pre-ordered like that because you can just push that button on the side and flick through your card so you know which one's swiping. And uh, the Nest smoke detectors, have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Where they like, they'll be like, heads up, there's smoke in the kitchen. And if it's just you cooking bacon or something, you can wave under it and it'll be like, alarm hushed rather than just beeping at you, and it will, like, notify your cell phone when your fire alarm batteries are going it's dead. It's always smoke in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you it, this, this house is funny with fire alarms. There's literally, in this hallway outside this room, there's, like, three of them. <laughs> fire safety wings. We're keeping you protected. Um, but I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, the Nest thermostat. That's supposed to be this amazing thing, but I don't think it's good for my house. My house doesn't have sophisticated HVAC. I have one. Do you? Yeah, uh, I can, yeah, can I, I, like if I'm away, I can like freeze them out in the house from my smartphone. I, I watched Kitty adjust her heat when she was like three steps away from it with her phone. <laughs> the, problem, <laughs> the problem with the Nest thermostat for me is like it, it watches to see who's walking by to figure out if the house is filled or not. But my thermostat isn't in the living room or it's not in the dining room. It's it's next to the stairs where it's in the middle of the home, but it's not like a commonly used walkway. Also, we have one thermostat for the house. A lot of people have an upstairs and downstairs one. I don't. I got one. And it's just, it's like, it's in the wrong spot. All the things it does, like detecting to see if somebody's home and automatically figuring out your patterns and giving you the temperature you need, uh, it's not going to work for me. You, you know? can still set a schedule and you can have it to like, uh, cool when it gets certain degrees outside and heat when it's certain degrees outside you can set it to away or if you're away from home for a long period of time you can program it to go down and then up a few hours before you arrive home it does way more than that some of those features are useful to me the notion that no one's home is pretty rare at this house like because i work from home and colin goes to school at home and jackie's a stay-at-home mom someone's home most of the time yeah um so that part isn't that good. But the thing about switching from heat to cold, that seems kind of nice. Uh, our thermostat is programmable, but it, it doesn't have like the outside temperature. The other awesome thing is you can lock people out of it yeah. if they turn it down too much or up, they need a pin. Yeah, so you can yeah. give them like a four degree allowance, and if they go outside of that, they've got to type a pin in. We have to lock Kyle out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a question about wings living at the, at the house. Okay. Does Dax like wings? No. He does. He's fine with wings so long as Kyle isn't around. When Kyle isn't around, he will give wings hugs and sit down with him and play with him. As soon as Kyle walks in, he is angry. Yeah, that dog does not like Kyle. That, for people that don't know, <laughs> they have a dog. I, I think Kyle, Kyle, did you pay for the dog? I bought a very expensive attack dog one time, and he has turned against me. Yeah. And he is an attack dog, so that's a little scary sometimes. He's an attack dog that hates He's a Kyle. big softy. He's awesome. He's he not is. a big softy. No, I met him. This dog is a lean, mean fighting machine. He's he's yeah. he's, he's, he's aggressive. Exactly that. He's scary as hell. And and you know, if he doesn't like you, it's a concern. I did everything I could when I was there to, to get on his good side. <laughs> and and Kyle, he just doesn't like Kyle for some reason. Meanwhile, Kyle's the only reason this dog still has his nuts. Is it? Does he still have his <laughs> yeah. nuts? Yeah. He's still going to get fixed. I'm going to do that. With you see this? What's right. happening right here? Kitty's ready to take him to the vet and make him a her. And Kyle's like, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm protecting him. That dog doesn't know who who is saving his, his 
Balls. Hey, he's balls. not going to get to use them regardless. I mean, like, it's it's such, a ra- <laughs> such a rare breed. You couldn't really find somebody to stud him out with. Not he fair. might not be that choosy. Maybe the dog's not racist. Get it? Is it actually a race? I don't know if it is a race or not. It's a breed. He's not breedist. That's a fancy dog. I, uh, he's I, so I, sweet. I love him. I wish he's yeah. very sweet intelligent. Is not, sweet isn't what he is. He's very intelligent. That <laughs> I dog, wonder he, if your dog could beat up my dog. I don't think so. I think I'd give the Great Dane the winning. My dog's yeah. big and he bites hard. Yeah, That's I imagine good. a Great Dane bite yeah. is quite something. It depends on the teeth too. I don't know what Great Dane teeth are like. The, the only problem with the only problem with Jack is he's very skittish. Like he like. Mm-hmm. He's, he's an anxious dog. But, he, the, but I, he's very anxious. Like he, he he wants to run away a lot. Well, let's fight him. Let's find out. It's the only way. <laughs> what the hell? That's the, I, sometimes I ask myself, what would Michael Vick do? <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't no way. There ain't but one way to find out. <laughs> Into the pit. <laughs> we still supposed to do the bike costume, Kyle? Bike no. costume. It's a video idea. The video oh. I, do, I get into a bite costume and have Dak attack me. We well, don't I, have a bite suit. You don't we have a bite suit. Sleeve. I've got a bite sleeve, but I don't even know if he'd be down for that. I think what's better is to put the dog shock color on you and to have you do boxing yeah, drills. Yeah, we thought about doing that. We're going to do that. I'm, we're going to put like the, the dog shock color around my wrist. So every time my so hands drop, point? he has to shock me and I have to put him back up. Oh, do you so, have a, I a do. remote activated? See, oh, very good bark one. activated. Mm. My yeah, remote did. activated, and it ha- it, the 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 calibration is like from one to like two hundred and fifty. I d- you better not say it so it just makes my arm go numb, because then it'll be the feeding of purpose. Oh, don't worry, wings. I'll turn it up. <laughs> and but the question is, at what point do I shock him? Like I was thinking, maybe he could do boxing drills, and if he drops his hands, he gets zapped. I think you should incorporate this to a lot of his exercise routines. I agree. I am often thinking one more. Yep. Right? How many times do you watch him hit the bat? You watch him flip the tire? You're thinking one You're more. You're thinking of day one stuff here. I've maybe we should ditch one. Maybe we should ditch the riding crop for when he's pulling me around in I've the wheelchair. I've been wanting this man to have that dog call on for some time. I think tomorrow is the day. Because here's what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day when we um, we show improvements over day one workouts. Note so that's to That's what the self. next video is going to be. Charge. Yeah. The next video color. is just going to be most of the day one workouts. On week three, and, and we're like, getting Gonzo Man involved. Yeah, and like, like for example, like All the right. day we shot the rope pull. I don't know if you remember the Jeremy rope pull. Mm-hmm. Well, I did a lot more. <laughs> yeah. What's like, um, I was, What's Gonzo Man? Gonzo is a Gonzo a Muppet, from the Muppets. And we oh. have a Gonzo Man costume, but he's a super Gonzo. We gotta so bust out the. We gotta bust out Stay Puff, dude. He's the best yeah. costume. You wanna get Stay Puff Marshmallow Man out tomorrow then? Yeah. I do. I was super right. excited to find that costume. We have to Wings use it. would so pick the cool. food one. <laughs> I didn't pick him at all. What We're if like... we had Wings chasing him around trying to eat him? That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Get your confectionated ass back here. But he, he, he's so cool. It's a costume, and he's got like little fans inside there, and they make him like puffed out so he like looks really big. Mm. We had so yeah, much like fun searching for these costumes. Yeah, Jeremy, I, 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 I like said it earlier in the show. Costume. Jeremy really hates the costume. <laughs> I, I think that adds to the better. show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. He was thinking about getting White Boy to do stuff with me. If I can, I pick. You know, I'm gonna be weight weight lifting because I know I can outweight well, White Boy. That would be the area where you're stronger. Yeah. I I, I picture because it first came up in the context of the bunny swatting game, and that's a thing I think White Boy would really excel at. So here's what I think White. I, I would like to see this. I bet White. Does, Kitty, does White Boy have a gym at his house? No, unless you can't. He would count his bar downstairs. If I have met White Boy. I can get my hand around White Boy's wrist. Here's what I wish. I wish, and White Boy, if you're up for it, let us know. I'd like to see you on like a weight machine, something that's like the bench press machine I have, and from the videos, the yellow one. And I'd like to see who could move more weight in a minute. Mm. Right. So White Boy the might Gauntlet go with has been like thrown down. Fifties. And we'll see if Wings can do 10 hundreds or something like that. Yeah. I ain't going to do no 10 hundreds. Well, I guess I could do 10 hundreds. I might be able to do 10 hundreds. But I'd be more comfortable with 70s. Like a 70 I, I pounds. Throwing, I just did that because the math was easy <coughs> on 10 hundreds. Yeah, versus that's, that's the decision you made. Do you want to. I think I would put 100. I think I would put 100 pounds on there. And what? I think that. 
I mean, you need but, uh, to choose the the exercise, right? Um, like, like, oh, I was, I was thinking, like, um, is it called? Like, what is it called? A, is it a like vertical bench? I think we just yeah, opened up a new line of videos another, for this thing. Is there another term for that ex that movement? Is it like soldier press or something? Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, we well, always call it just a vertical house. bench press at work, but it's all right at school. But that's not a bench press; it's a weight machine. It's a little different. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, that's one that wings can do fairly easily without having any major issues. So that's a good, that's that's one we did before. I was thinking about we did, we should get those little hand weights too. I've got them in the car. I've got ten pounders. I was, I was thinking more of five, but yeah. God. I think they are fives actually. I think I'm way ahead of you. They're five. <laughs> I was going to say now. you're a bitch. I use five pounds, and I've got arthritis but, in both my arms. It depends I have, what you use them for. I'm having enough trouble just keeping my hands up. Doing this, so five pounds is going to be extreme. This is this you is know, five just shadow pound boxing. Weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, the boxers in my gym would use between three and seven and a half. So five yeah. is, seems like a normal number to me. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go crazy with tens. Like I was holding fives out like this, and when you extend your arm with fives out, God, that really sucks. And then Jeremy tried to one up me with twenty fives. It that didn't work out for him. <laughs> <laughs> So PS4 came out today. Uh, a week from now, the Xbox One comes out. We'll see how it goes. It's hard to get excited. I'm really not excited about either of them. Really, I'm not, I, I feel I'm not like excited I'm either. The bad guy. Like, like somehow I became this PC jerk. I, nah, they just mm, came out too excited. late, right? Yeah, it took them too long to do this shit, I, and, and it's too little, too late. I'm, I'm just too one year into my PS4. I guess my newfound PC brethren would kill me if they heard this. I don't care about Half Life Three. Half Life Two. I never two played the other two for whatever. That was like, I was a baby, and I'm older than Jesus. Like that. <laughs> I, I don't know Half why Half Life Three is two thousands, didn't it? I don't know why Half Life Three is this big thing. I, I, I hardly am attached to the game anymore. It was like it's like Duke Nukem coming out, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think anticipating Half Life Three is the big thing, not necessarily Half Life Three. It's the anticipation of Half Life Three. Yeah, it's like Call of Duty. I, I enjoy Call of Duty more when I'm looking forward to it than when I'm actually playing it. Really, I, tell you, I, like, I like the last two CODs. I, do you I feel, feel like, like they undermarketed Ghosts? Like you look at Black Ops, Black Ops Two, the commercials were. Am I don't know. They just got your heart racing. You were like, "This is gonna be badass." Mm -hmm. And then you look at the Ghost ones, and you're like, um, "Meh." I feel like Mom. And I think, yeah, yeah, they were good. I, I I don't know. I'm not exposed to that much advertising, um, but I will say this season it was it Ghost was just a harder sell than it's ever been before. There were a lot of people who didn't like Black Ops Two. And um, it, it's it's just caught again. Hmm. I know. I just was really excited going into the other cards, and I think their advertising did it. And then this hmm. one, I just I don't know. I didn't think their commercials were anything special. Which ads did you like? Was it the soldier and all? It's of not even thing? one particular ad. I got one I liked. It's just. Obviously, I'm going to say the surprise trailer for Black Ops 2, but ignoring that, it was they 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 kind of pumped you up. You know, you were saying at the end of was it the MW3 campaign? You felt like a badass, right? You had the juggernaut, the whatever. That's my daily feeling. Carry on. <laughs> whatever. You can't do splits reversing on a Volvo semi. Oh, that was so awesome! <laughs> <laughs> John Clare Van Dam. That was awesome. <laughs> Um, but I, I think you, you just became excited, like you were pumped. Um, even, I don't think you had the ad over here, but for Modern Warfare 2 in England, we had a really cool ad. It was an old guy sat in a, in a sofa going, you know, millions or hundreds of thousands of people are doing it and dominating and, and spraying everywhere. And and it was just a funny yeah, ad. He made it sound dirty. He's like, some, t some people do it by themselves. Some people do it in a big group. Some people do it three at a time, some people, you know, he's like, some people do it. the uh, domination. Yeah, some people are into domination. Some people use steady aim, others just spray it everywhere. And I, it was like, it was really good. I liked um, the pro versus the vet. No, no, no. That was cool. that Pro the versus noob. Noob, noob, noob. Pro versus noob, is that what it was? That, yeah. I loved that commercial. So that commercial on YouTube was a skip commercial. 
I watched that thing all the way through all the time. <laughs> I was like, oh, pro versus noob coming on. Play, play 83. Let's watch. And I'd watch that thing to the very end where, you know, he starts off like struggling. And by the end of the video, he was also pro. That, that, that was a great, great commercial. It was yeah, fantastic. It was really, really shitty game multiplayer wise. This is Modern Warfare 2? 3. Oh, I, I like 3. I like three. I like 2 and 3. I did. Oh my god, like 3 two. was a pile of trash. I Yeah, when I get more time in Ghost, I'll make a call as to whether I think 2 or Ghost is worse. Probably 2 cuz 2 was buggy. 2 was unplayable for 5 months almost. Yeah, maybe. 2 had new tubes. So Are you wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt, Woody? This has been bugging me for a while. I have to not. ask. It looks like it's some sort of um, American, Eagle. American Eagle. Oh, okay. Mm. For, it yeah. looked like Mickey Mouse for a while. Yeah, Woody's got to... a YouTube money. American I, Eagle threads. The, the actual truth is my my wife finds 40% off coupons for American Eagle. And that she tends to like buy a bunch of stuff at one time. That, what, that shirt costs like $80 after 40% off? No. I really God, no, no. no. It's a lot American Eagle's pretty affordable. Yeah, you're... You're on the wrong direction here. I think most of my T-shirts I get there like four dollars, and a yeah. collared yeah. shirt like this would be like nine or twelve, maybe less. I bought I bought stuff for my sister, American Eagle, and it's not very cheap. Wings, how much do your T-shirts cost? This T-shirt? Oh, that's not fair. I'm a bigger dude. <laughs> <I know. laughs> no, no, my... you did the same thing though. This um, shirt right here is twenty six bucks. I do have some nice clothes. I wear them when I go to conferences. Kitty can attest. Kitty? Yes, you were looking very sharp at Minecon. I, I was. I was very aware uh, that Jackie had taken you shopping. <laughs> but can't wait, I can't wait basis, to get back into this. My clothes are cheap. That's a sharp looking shirt. I like that. Yeah. This is this one shirt so I'm ready to get back into. Are you close? Uh, I can I can button it up again, but I can't sit down with it. Getting there? Getting there. You know what would help that, Wings? What? Eating, Eating five times, times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lefty has spoken. Oh, the lefty, mm -hmm. dude, I'm going to get so much hate for this PK, it's going to be ridiculous. No, <laughs> nobody's, I don't think that's going to no. be true. I don't no, think you're Teflon, think... dude. No, I think people are going to be like, people are going to support you. If anything, think... if the hate is going to come towards us for. for I think I'm going to have Kitty hit me with a riding crop tomorrow to get an HD splitter. Oh, that's going to happen. But, Wings. I mean, you know, we're talking about the audience right now. I think if anyone gets hated on, it will probably be me. No. Everyone loves no. <laughs> no. I don't no. care. My job is to be a bitch occasionally. I'll give you one Sometimes more guess as to who hurt. gets hated on for this episode. Oh, Woody's here. Hang on a minute. He's a default fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You are fucked, Woody. I'm sorry. Oh, it's Woody's fault. Maybe. Everyone made good points, but when Woody got on, it seemed really acidy and, and like, like he had some venom in his <laughs> like voice. I was... think I see deep seated issues in Woody. Maybe he's the one who needs the psychiatrist. <laughs> Maybe we should get those kids out of there. It's a dangerous home. Like that's where it would go. Like, like... Woody was faking speaking from the heart. Like he actually had one. Everyone oh, knows he doesn't. All have the a time. Heart. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Every <fucking thing> I <laughs> do. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. No, I think it's gonna be a good one. I think you're gonna get a lot of support. I think everyone can relate to just having a downtime in their life. But yeah, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you if it continues for much longer. Well, I'm gonna get slapped. That's fine. I can keep him coming. He likes beating. <laughs> I'll send you the bill. There's a bill. <laughs> <laughs> she, she oh goodness! She does that for free. Um, <laughs> at the well, you know, along the lines of me taking all the hate and venom and angry, is this time to call it a wrap? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. It was a good show. Very good. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out Thinker Games. Now is a good time. Um, is it done? Uh, no. Do you want to talk in private? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I, I end it. Well, end it. Okay. All right. So you heard it. It's all Wings' fault. <laughs> Bye. Um, no. Wait. Most it, awkward. It doesn't seem to be. The click isn't working. <laughs> the click isn't working. <laughs> <laughs>